Hello everyone, I'm DSP. I got news for you. I'm wearing silly stuff because you're gay. They chose this. So anyway, welcome to my Game of the Year Awards countdown for 2022. My second top three game for 2022 is Elden Ring. So all of you out there who are Elden Ringers, everyone raise your arms above your heads and do the Elden Ring pose right now. Uh, what was that? This game is fucking stupid. For I am indeed am also an Elden Ringer, along with all of you. Let's do it. It's so stupid. It's so fucking dumb. Fuck this. All right. If you needed any more evidence that I love Elden Ring, this is the longest playthrough I did this year and one of the longest playthroughs I've ever done. I really don't care. When, when the game is set up to be that stupid, you don't care. It clocked in at over 100 hours of gameplay. I fully explored every nook and cranny of this game. How about this? Fuck you, FromSoft. No, really, fuck you. You guys are lazy. It's just, that's the truth of the matter. You're just lazy. You don't want to make a fair game anymore. You just want to make, look at this. I can't move at all. I literally can't move. Look, I can't, I can't even move the camera, look. I did every optional dungeon. I fought every super boss. FromSoft is, has become lazy, is what it is. They wanted to make a game that was giant, but when they did that, it lost its polish. And now what they've done is they set up all this bullshit to the point where it's not fun to have to deal with it. Once you get about halfway through the game, you start to realize this is just meant for extra content. There's nothing really meaningful down there. Maybe every once in a while you get an optional item or whatever, but most of those bosses aren't unique. I'm not, fuck this game. This is the dumbest thing. What a bunch of dumb fuck troll assholes made this shit. Once you've seen them once or twice, you've seen them all. You know what I mean? Really lazily done things that could have been done way better if they had put more effort in instead of worrying about the giant open world and the 400th optional boring dungeon. They could have put way more effort into unique stuff. But man, this game is so cool. And I'm tired of giving these guys a pass for that, you know? They don't deserve the pass. It's got so many cool, unique environments. It's this garbage. It's garbage gameplay. It's not fun. It's not smart. It's not well-designed gameplay in any way, shape, or form. It's lazy gameplay is what it is. It's got awesome bosses. Literally, the boss sucks. It's got... Oh, great platforming. I mean, platforming is not good. If you want to talk best in class, this is by far, you know, kind of best in class when it comes to the games from software is made. I have to ask from software, why put this in your game? It, fuck this. I give up. I completely give up. I, I'm not going to care about this. I guess I'm never getting the item. Fuck this. No, that's bullshit. That should not be like that at all. There's no excuse for it to be like that. Like, fuck you. Fuck it. Fuck it. I don't want it. I changed my mind. It combines elements from every From Software game. Literally, literally, Elden Ring is called FromSoft reuses everything from previous games. I'm not kidding. You've got the very incredibly challenging gameplay. There's challenge and then there's stupid and it's just dumb. Like, you can't hit the fucking giant enemy in front of you no matter what. Roll! He won't do- Wow! Why is the recovery so bad after drinking? You're so fucking slow after drinking. You're so slow after drinking. It's like... Oh, look everyone, I'm healing. The guy's a fucking alcoholic or something. He won't stop guzzling. Oh, it smells so good. It's such good gin. You've got the platforming now. I believe I can fly. Oh, shit! Oh shit, I wasn't looking! Ah! Oh! Ow. Can't believe you committed suicide. I don't like this! Oh! Those precise controls. Oh no! Could that be something? I think that is something. I can't believe you committed suicide. I cannot believe you committed suicide. Oh, great. Well 
That's of course exactly what I intended. Of course. All right, ready? Oh no! I rolled and still got hit. Stupid game. I had no idea you could fall off the map here. Why would they put that there? Now you have the horse, as you can see. You're able to jump and mount and leap and go all over the place, okay? No! It's instant death! Yeah, you die you die before you even fall. Oh. oh. I cannot believe you committed suicide. <sighs> um, really awesome, you know? You want to talk about bang for your buck? Elden Ring has bang for your buck. You would have to be wasting so much of your time fucking about until you finally figure any of this shit out. And you know what? Another thing that I'm going to call out and praise that a lot of people kind of shat on, Elden Ring is accessible. It's hilarious because the reviewer said it's the most accessible. It's literally the most inaccessible Souls games there there's ever been. Greetings. In history. Elden Ring is accessible to both those who are huge fans of the franchise and want Ultimate Challenge, but it's also accessible to those who maybe this is their first FromSoft game. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. The further I play this game, something has become very apparent about it. And I want you guys to understand, I'm not trying to shit on the game because I like it. This game is not a great open world game in my opinion. The game is too open and confusing. That's nice, right? I like that. I like that basically people can beat the game and not have to be a master of FromSoft. You know what I mean? By literally making it open world, you made it inaccessible. Um, I like the optional gameplay elements of it, like the, the side quest lines and stories are quite interesting. You could have picked the individual dungeons out of each region, and if they were just combined to be Dark Souls 4, I actually think the game would have been better. Um, now I'll be honest, it's not perfect. The fucking impossible hitboxes that make no fucking sense at all. The game definitely has shortcomings. Give me a fucking break, you cheating ass fucking game. All right, first of all, I do feel that they implemented some gameplay elements that maybe are kind of overpowered. Oh, the frame rate's bad. The frame rate's choppy. For example, the jumping, uh, slam, heavy attack, R1, whatever you want to call it, uh, is very overpowered. It's basically, is it jump R2? That's what it was. Seriously, I should just fucking do jumping R2 5,000 times till he dies. There's idiots in this chat spamming jump R2. I haven't done a single jump R2 in this fight. Oh, cool. Let me try this. Let me try that. Nothing works. Oh, let me just jump and mash R2. Works. I haven't done a single jump R2. So, basically, it's a stagger move. You jump and you do this attack that staggers the enemy. I want to die. I was rocking endgame bosses, jump heavy, jump heavy. It's actually easier to attack someone in real life than it is in this game. And that was never previously in the game because there was no jump button before now. Anyone that's played Sekiro knows that there is a jump button. So just implementing the jump immediately kind of made the game kind of imbalanced. Um, wow, that was complete luck by the way. I will 100% admit that was luck. And I will definitely say my major criticism of the game is thus. Don't try and church it up, son. The game is insane amounts of quantity and a good amount of quality, but not all the quantity is quality. Huh? And that definitely, definitely kind of annoyed me, right? And in fact, the entire final third of the game for me wasn't really fun until I basically got to the final slew of bosses that are unique. But Basically, it's kind of like I feel like there was too much content. Halic tree, halic tree, halic tree, halic tree, halic tree, halic tree, halic tree. Hal and if they actually scaled down on the amount of content in Elden Ring, the game might have been better. Boo this man! No! But it is what it is. They did what they wanted to do. The game is still an exceptional value. The game, uh, you know, it's gonna it's gonna please everyone who ever liked FromSoft. It, it, what it is. The, the epitome of what FromSoft has ever done. FromSoft can lick my fucking asshole. How about this? Fuck you, FromSoft. No, really, fuck you. 
they've combined all the elements of all their games into one super game, and that's exactly what Elden Ring was. Have you not noticed that the open world part sucks? Oh, another magma worm boss you already fought. Oh, another random area of shit you've already done. It's not very interesting. It's kind of boring. I'm not gonna lie. So, great game. Longest playthrough I did all year. Loved almost every minute of it. You might have gotten more support if you weren't overleveled and bullying lower level areas. So would you like me to just skip all the content of the game then? Is that what you would like? Just skip it all. You're a fucking idiot. No, I mean it. And, uh, you know, I think it's a game that's gonna resonate with people. Allow me to tell you guys something interesting. The endings don't matter. They don't matter at all. The endings don't, don't mean a, sh a fucking single thing in these Dark Souls games. <laughs> people are absolutely dying for DLC, obviously. The endings don't matter. I am too. I can't wait for a DLC. They don't. It's a complete waste of your time to care about them. And I'm still waiting for you guys to tell me Please shut the fuck up. You're using the wrong weapon. Use a blunt weapon. I don't have a blunt weapon. I don't use, I don't use the blunt weapon in the playthrough, jackass. Because I don't have it. Jesus Christ. Why don't you play the game? <laughs> How is it that we are playing on PS5 and it still looks like, like crappy like it used to? It looks the same. That face looks terrible. Oh my God. Oh! <laughs> Wow. Ugh. Oh, no. Why is the text so fucking small? Seriously, it's so small. I don't... What do you want me to do about it? I, I didn't make the game. What would you like me to do exactly? I, I, you know, I don't know what to tell you. If the audio sounds like shit, it sounds like From Software fucked up. I've been playing Horizon Forbidden West and no one complained, so... If the set, if the thing's fucked up, it sounds to me like they fucked it up. I can't see fucking diddly dick in here. Uh, who needs a tutorial? That's for noobs. I'm heading right out there in the world. Fuck the tutorial. Here's your world map, which has never, ever existed before. I'm a quitter. Everyone knows that. Fuck this. I want to fight this guy. I don't think I'm going to beat him. He's probably kicking my ass. But I want to fight him. He's walking around here. He's being a dick. He's strutting his stuff. And I had enough. I don't want to see this guy. Where's this guy think he fucking is? Look at him. Yeah, I tried to die. Wow. Wow. Jesus. Oh. Tried to dodge. Very different from other Souls games where you're stuck in an arena. I mean, that's open, it's very different. Very different feel from the fight. The shield is stupid. Wow. I was gonna stab. Not for long. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. It oh, what? Input, the innate input lag from some software games that we did. Oh, good, look. The game app just had an error and closed. Of course, okay, you see? When he goes to half health, he's, he uses more attacks now. He starts using that jumping attack, which honestly isn't that intimidating. Jack Anderson says, even though you can beat him on foot, it's meant to be fought with a horse and a mount. That's great. I'm gonna beat him. Well, like, people are like, just keep skipping him, skip him, skip him. Why? Why? This is part of the fun of the game, is overcoming a good, a good challenge. I like this. I'm, I'm getting better at it. I'm gonna beat him. It's just a matter of time. Why are you guys yelling to, to skip the guy? I know I can beat him. Uh, the healing sucked. Yep. The that push. Ah! Oh, I rolled. I fucking rolled. No, I don't think it's dropping inputs. I think this game has in, in, innate input delay. You know what I'm saying? Jesus. Yes, I'm sure all of a sudden now in the middle of the fights, the dodge inputs won't come out at all. Uh-huh. <laughs> Even though they did before. I dodged, dude. Now it won't work all of a sudden. What are you talking about, man? Fucking stupid. Dodge, you piece of shit. Dodge. I pressed it. Wow, I was mid-dodge and it still hit me. Oh, what? I don't know what happened. He jumped over me and I lost control of my guy. I couldn't control him anymore. I stabbed twice, he jumped, and I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna roll. I couldn't control him anymore. It's like the game took the controls away from me. I couldn't do anything right there. I don't, I, I legit have no clue. Again, I couldn't move. It was really weird. I don't know if, but I, I couldn't control my character. He's going for a very difficult shot in T. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. I was way out of range. Look at the distance. Nothing you can do when you can't see. I move. Bullshit. Yeah, that's bullshit sometimes. 
Yeah, that's a new attack. Play cool to the dollar for these. The boss is very challenging for early game. It's totally optional to beat him now. I know. Op focus on finding three sides. Of no, stop it. I want to beat the boss. Can you relax? No, really. Guys, it's a new game. It's exciting. It's challenging. I'm having fun trying to beat this boss. Can we fucking relax and let me beat him? I'm going to beat him. Just relax. What's the big fucking deal? I roll. It even showed the roll. So how did I get hit? Oh, there it is. Oh, my God. Roll. It doesn't come out. Come on. I roll. Dude, I'm tired of getting hit by that when I'm rolling. That push. Of course, Fruits. He said, I wonder if better gear would help. Better gear, more health. Like, everything right now is because this is the beginning of the game. I haven't done a single thing in the game. But I want to take it on now. They put it in front of me. I'm going to fucking beat it. Fuck that. Fuck that. No! Come on. Got him. There you go. See? What are you guys worried about? I told you I was gonna fucking beat him. Yeah, see? I have to admit- Look at that! Now, wait a minute. Are you kidding me? Give me my fucking stamina back. Well, I'm fucked. God damn it. Typical from software. What is that? That is creepy as fuck! No, that is too creepy! Don't- That is so fucking creepy! Oh my god, that's the creepiest boss I've ever seen in Dark Souls! That is so scary. Woo! There it is. So, I, that's the shortcut now. But I'm pretty stupid. I, this is very weird. I've never played a game like this before. I've never played a game with horseback like this. It sucks. It's slow. It's so delayed! Why is the text so fucking small in this game? It's like microscopic. I can barely see that shit. What the fuck? Hero to me four dollars twenty cents is I was here. We Thank you, Hero. You were. The, eternal. <clears throat> the steak of Marika. See the environment's gonna kill you more than the boss. Oh, I wanted to see if I could jump over the fire. <laughs> you probably can if you time it right. It's so different from Dark Souls gameplay. It's so action based. Cause it doesn't play anything like Dark Souls when you're on the horse at all. The head's right in front of me! Hit it! You buffoon! See, I like- it's the thing is, I like these fights. I would- I would stay here for the rest of the night trying to beat this guy. I'm okay with that. But, people earlier today complained when I was beating the fucking horse guy. I'm like, why? It's fun. I like this. Tried to roll. Once you drink, you can't heal. You can't- you can't get out of the way. That's what sucks. This next fight is definitely going to have everything in it. Yep. Try one more. Huh? Oh, come on. What happened? I didn't tell it to go here. That sucks. There is no way to avoid that. Oh, the frame rate. Ugh. Choppy. That was incredibly stupid. Can't do it. What happened? Why? Why did, why did my... Why did the horse disappear? I don't know why my horse disappeared. Ah, oh, I would have won the fight if the horse didn't disappear. By the way, I hate to say it, I've never met a bigger bunch of pussies than some of these people in the stream chat. Like, just leave. You just run away. Fight them later. Go do other stuff. Come back later. Why? Have you ever played a From Software game before? Have you ever played Soulsborne? This is the fun of the game. You throw yourself at it. You learn the patterns. You get better. And then you overcome. That's the fun of the game. Why would I run away like a pussy? Till I'm over-leveled by fighting other things and then come back and steamroll it. This is fun to me. I'm having a lot of fun right now. People who say that, you're a pussy. My God, you don't understand how to play these fucking games. This is the joy of it. Is to learn and get better and get better and get better and then overcome what you're what you're fighting. Not go fucking over-level like a bitch, like a fucking wimp. <laughs> Holy shit. Fun. That shit was fun. Why would I run like a bitch? Come back later? Fuck that. Beat him now. Fuck that stupid dragon bitch. Kill his ass now. We've got a badass over here. We got we need people who are who to man up on the internet. We do. Man the fuck up. Play the game, man. Play the fucking game. Don't run. Oh, I gotta run. That dragon's tough. Oh, uh, that's definitely how stuff gets done in life, to run away from all those difficult challenges and problems, right? No. You go head on, you smash your fucking head against it a million times until finally either your head explodes into a million gory pieces, or it dies. There you go. An anonymous tipper to me dollar fifty saying you can actually resummon your horse if it dies. You don't have to wait. You can actually just resummon it, which I didn't know. 
Oh. Here's what I'm thinking about this game now. This is the the end game epitome of Dark Souls. You know what I'm saying? Like everything in Dark Souls has kind of led to this. So you have all your Dark Souls-esque gameplay elements, but at the very same time, you have a bunch of new stuff to make it open world, and it's a combination of everything. Because some of these things sound, feel so familiar, and then other things are just brand new. And I like that, honestly. Uh, I don't like that it hits the wall. Because you know, here it is, the typical From Software bullshit. All of their attacks go straight through walls and hit you. Your, all of your... Oh, I wasted an item. All of your attacks hit the wall and bounce. It's completely unfair. It's completely one-sided bullshit. They look exactly the same. They don't look any different from Dark Souls. I don't like that I whiff. Again, the From Software game still doing the same old bullshit. I whiff for no reason. He's standing right in front of me. Why is he invincible during that moment? Oh, come on. Oh, Run. fuck me. I definitely rolled there. Bullshit. Why am I getting hit? I'm not even near him. Roll. Fucking roll, roll. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die to bullshit because I'm fucking rolling and the rolls aren't working. Yup, look. It's bullshit. Wow. What? I'm behind you. Your club's not even in the same direction as me. And you're hitting me. What the fuck is that? I'll tell you what it is. It's bullshit. What is he doing? He's beginning to. Believe. Why am I? He's right in front of me. Yo, I couldn't hit him five times. He was right in front of me. What the fuck? I just can't hit him. He's standing directly in front of me and I'm with him. Still can't. Look, it still doesn't work. I don't know. You can only use the summon spirit in areas with lots of enemies or a boss arena. Now, I didn't understand that yesterday. Why? Because the game didn't explain it. That's why. Just like a lot of stuff in FromSoft games, the game didn't explain it at all. So I didn't know that's what was going on. Now I get it. Some people were critical of the stream saying I spent too much time on the optional bosses. And God um, bless them too. I tend to disagree. I feel that I spent a good amount of time on the bosses for good reason. And that it actually panned out being pretty entertaining and fun because I did. And that if I hadn't done that, that I would have missed out on a lot of stuff. Right? But some people are always going to say that one thing, you know. Oops. That's, that, that could have done better and I could have improved it. I do take all of that down, you know, I, I listen to feedback and understand that. Thank you for that feedback. But if I do run into a boss that I'm finding challenging and I want to really tough it out, I'm probably still going to do it. But I understand if someone wants to move on, right? If someone wants to move on and say, I don't want to watch Phil fight that boss for a while, I wouldn't be opposed to you, you know, taking off and coming back at a later date. Seriously, come back a little later and uh, <clears throat> when I'm, I'm ready to do something different. It's confusing. Like, what is this? Can you even get over there? Oh, there's only one way to find out. I don't know. You worry of a trap. Ugh. You triggered my trap card. What is going on? What? What the fuck is shooting? What is that? What the fuck? I have no idea what's hitting me. There's like nothing out there. Ah, what is hitting me? That's disgusting. I've no, I didn't fallen, want to and I can't get up. Ah, I survived. No, I didn't. Ah, what am I supposed to do in this fucking cave, man? Where am I? I'm stuck and I'm fucked. Are you guys trolling me? What the fuck is this? Come on. This is ridiculous. Why is this game so cryptic, man? Why is the game so cryptic? doesn't work. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. This is really dumb. Why would this be in the game like this? Why would this be in the fucking game? It's dumb. It's incredibly stupid. There's something about FromSoft games that are great. And then there's this. Insanely cryptic bullshit. You need to have 14 qualifying criteria to even do it. Because it's fucking stupid. Just let you hit the fucking thing. No, you gotta troll me. You gotta waste my time and piss me off because you're a bunch of fucking assholes. Jesus, fuck. Yeah, it's so much fun wasting my time doing that. Yeah, lots of fun. Fucking asses. It's like, I want to play the fucking game, not waste my time with your dumb cryptic shit. Because you can't make something self-explanatory in a game for once. Fucking morons. That does piss me off. That's moronic.
What do you want me to do with this enemy? Just tell me. Just give me a hint. You know, no. <laughs> it, it, it pissed me off. Dude, I don't know how to do this. This is stupid. Why even put this in the game? No, really. I have to ask from software. Why put this in your game? It, fuck this. I give up. I completely give up. I, I'm not going to care about this. I guess I'm never getting the item. It's not obtainable for me. Alright, fuck this. No, that's bullshit. That should not be like that at all. There's no excuse for it to be like that. Like, fuck you. Fuck it. Fuck it. I don't want it. I changed my mind. How the fuck are you supposed to know where to go? I don't know what to do. At this point. It's confusing to figure out what to do because you don't know where you're going or what you're doing or... Shortcut? Look! Look! Shortcut, it says. Oh, yeah. Shortcut. There's an item down there. What happened? But obviously this area is way high level for me. It's a From Software game. There's no explanation for any of this. I have so many items. I have no idea what any of them do. I have no idea what any of these do. This is so confusing. Who knows what you're supposed to be doing? The game is so open world at this point that I'm just... It's like a labyrinth of shit. Right? What the frick, dude? So yesterday, I focused in on two tough bosses. And everyone complained that I was focusing too much on the tough bosses. I should have been exploring and seeing the rest of the game. Today I'm exploring and seeing the game... And now people are complaining. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Oh, why are you doing that? Why aren't you fighting anything? It doesn't really explain what you're supposed to do with that, though. This game is so weird now. I don't know what's going on. What a game, dude. There's so much to do, and you have no clue. This is so odd. Land squirts? It's Dark Souls 4, for sure. It, it's 100% has so many elements from Dark Souls, it's Dark Souls 4. That is so annoying. Sometimes you swing and you miss wildly, which makes no sense because the enemy is directly in front of you, but the game acts like they're not. And then you miss with... It's nonsensical that you miss. One button says you're used to other Dark Souls games where the hitboxes are less accurate. In this game, they're way more tight and accurate, except the enemies aren't. It's true, the enemies are not. So it's very unfair in that regard. I love this game so far, man. There, listen. I'm always going to have gripes, but understand that when I have gripes, it doesn't mean I hate the game. It just means that I'm trying to be fair and critical. Right. There's definitely some things in this game that I, I wish they improved instead of just literally copy-pasting from Dark Souls. But, you know. We keep missing each other completely. We both suck. We both suck ass. We both miss each other. I'll be honest. Is it cool to have unique fights like that? Yes. Is that anything like Dark Souls combat? No. It's completely different, and it's kind of messy. I literally just, just kept fucking riding and, and smashing the dude, and it, it, he couldn't really do anything. He couldn't stop it. There he is! Patches! Block this, you bald fuck. Finally get my revenge on this piece of shit. Concede this, you piece of shit. What a shit show. Oh, now people say don't kill him. What the fuck? It was a boss! You fucked up- Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> Don't kill him. Oh. Well, you see what I mean about these games? How fucking cryptic and annoying it is? How was I supposed to know not to kill the fucking boss with the life bar? Well, let's see. Well, oh well. These catacombs seem identical, right? We already did one that looked just like this. Are they all the same? Maybe they're all identical. I hit the fucking wall. Ugh. I'll be honest, I've been playing this for like eight hours now. And you guys have helped me a lot on the stream. If you weren't helping me, I'd probably be confused as fuck and pissed off. That's how these games are, you know? Am I missing stuff that is critical that I should be doing around here? Or do you think I've done enough side stuff that I could just go to the castle? I feel like that's a question I need to ask. Beast's blood. They literally copied everything from the other games. They reused almost everything in this game. Wow. He's glowing. Wow, look at his rain. He doesn't let you heal. Every time you heal, he pokes you. Dude, always pokes you when you heal. I don't think I can beat this guy. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to beat him. He literally is programmed to do that charging pierce when you press heal. The, the area of effect stomps and shit are broken. By far, the stomp is his most broken move. It goes ridiculously far. 
I rolled. I rolled. I absolutely did. I rolled. Shit. Oh, see? Every time he does it, he does it on reaction. That's bullshit. Why wasn't I in range? He doesn't always get the rollout in time, which is stupid. It's so delayed. The typical from software delay. The typical from software delay. It's so stupid. Like, come on. It's ridiculous range. Are you out of your mind, man? Come on. It's rare when you get a boss that reacts to your healing like that. Usually Dark Souls bosses, they do patterns, but they don't react directly to what you're doing. He does. <laughs> Every time I try to find an opening to heal. Bullshit. I roll. It hit me anyway. What? <laughs> He hit me so far away. Roll! He won't do- Wow! Why is the recovery so bad after drinking? You're so fucking slow after drinking. You're so slow after drinking. It's like... Oh, look everyone, I'm healing. The guy's a fucking alcoholic or something. He won't stop gu guzzling. I roll. I roll. Roll, didn't roll, didn't roll. It, it seems to be like if you're drinking and he decides to counter hit it, your drinking recovers slower or something. Because it seems like it's faster than that. But then all of a sudden he's like, I'm going to do an attack. You can't fucking recover from the drink. It's like slower. I don't understand that. He has the ability to make you drink slower. Oh my god, the delayed swipe. Wow, well, that why did that hit? It sh plainly showed me dodging. I dodged, it didn't work. I dodged. Sometimes it doesn't come out. I don't get it. Sometimes I'll do it. Okay, time to dodge. And it doesn't come out after the stab, which it's supposed to. What the fuck? What? Oh, here we go. He reads it and then counter hits. Bullshit that it misses. It's such bullshit. What? Why am I getting hit? I was completely out of range. What the fuck? Fuck this. I'm under leveled. I'm fighting everything that I come across and I'm under leveled to fight most of it. Oh, it's so tedious. It's so annoying. I rolled. It didn't even come out. I rolled. It didn't work. He's a complete idiot. He's a complete fucking moron. Oh god, the range. He literally- What the fuck? This is insane. I rolled right there. It didn't work. What? Wow. This guy literally- Literally reacts to what you do. Making it a tougher fight. I rolled. I fucking rolled. That's bullshit. I rolled. That's just not fair. Alright, fuck this. Fuck this shit. Bullshit. Roll. Didn't roll. I dodged. Hit me anyway. I don't know. There it is. You can't hit him. That's pretty fucked up, man. And then you fucking can't... You you can't... Op He's never open. What <laughs> the fucking bullshit? I roll, dude. Come on. Jesus, fuck. I roll and it still hits me. Oh, I'm rolling. What are you talking about? I rolled there. It's not rolling now. Come on. I'm in the middle of rolling and it fucking stop. It won't do any. So dumb. I'm I'm rolling and sometimes it doesn't roll or it must be rolling late and then I get hit even though I'm definitely doing exactly the same thing I've done a million fucking times. So dumb. Skip this. Go to the another boss. Okay. Thanks for nothing. Oh great. I'm in the roll. Right through the roll. I'm rolling. Why am I getting hit when I'm rolling? I don't know. I dodge you piece of shit. I'm dodging. I rolled. I fucking rolled. There's not. What the fuck? Oh my god. So ridiculous. The controls of the game are so delayed. Because look how delayed it is. You ready? Ready? It's about quarter second of delay. So, how are you supposed to jump over something on reaction? What? I'm out of range. That's bullshit. I was out of range. 
Yeah, no, fuck this. Fuck you. You're not even gonna let me fucking heal, man. Pain in the fucking ass. Of course, I whip, but then I can't count. Fuck this. You cheating piece of shit. I jump. It doesn't come out. I knew it. It doesn't come out in time. Oh no. The jump is super delayed. Ridiculously delayed in combat. The the jump is completely worthless. It's so slow. You can never get it to do anything in combat. I'm waiting for him to do the stab and then do the spin tail. And I jump. And the jump never comes out. I'm pressed it. Nothing. It's so delayed. See, look at this. Roll. Now jump, jump, jump. It's so delayed that if I'm dodging the stab, which I'm doing, I dodge the stab, then I want to jump the tail. It's too late. You can't jump it. I rolled. It didn't fucking come out. You guys are kidding me. Like, dude, I definitely rolled. I fucking did it a million times before. Why didn't it come out? Fucking from software, typical shit. I don't know. It's a good question. Lambs Gaming says, why does no one ever call out From Software for their button delays? It's true. It's every From Software game has always had input delay. Always. And it's like they built it into the game as part of the game. But when you're trying to react to a boss like this, you need your buttons to come out and you just gotta get used to it. <clears throat> it's dumb as hell. It should it should react when you press it and doesn't. I'm actually not fatigued at all, Zoya. I'm not. I'm not fatigued, I'm just pissed. But this is this is what happens in games like this. You get so tired. I'm actually not fatigued at all, Zoya. I'm not. I'm not fatigued, I'm just tired. Yeah, I'm, do I'm doing worse and worse because if you can't tell, I'm trying to do different things. I'm, I'm tired. I'm not fatigued. I'm just tired of the first half of the fight. The first half of the fight is incredibly boring. I'm not fatigued. I'm just incredibly boring. Well, I have no healing. Now, fuck this. He would not let me heal. What the fuck? I was so far away. Are you kidding me? Now the things I used to be able to do to hit him don't work anymore. Seriously. I dodge. I can't even dodge the dragon tail. I try it and it doesn't work. It's too delayed to dodge it. I couldn't dodge. I did, and it didn't come out. This is so stupid. It's so annoying. I really just want to fucking... There's no opening. This is so shitty. I'm not even near it. He says he hit me. Right. This is trash. It's trash. You have to overlevel. Essentially, you can't outplay him because he cheats. And there's nothing you can do about it. Unless you overlevel, then it's not that big of a deal. I was nowhere near him and the shield bash hits me. Fuck off, dude. This is just trash. I dodged. Didn't work. Fuck this game. No, I'm dodging and it's not coming out. And there's no way you can win if it's gonna drop your shit like this. Fuck this. This is complete fucking bullshit. Fuck this fucking bullshit. You what? You work that hard. You seriously work that hard. And then the fucking game drops your input and you're fucked. And you can't come back from it. Z, I understand. Why are you fighting this boss? Oh, oh, oh. I get it. Thanks for the tip. I rolled. I rolled right there. The game's full of shit. tired of it. I'm never gonna win. I can beat this guy if the game would work. But it doesn't. It, it'll drop inputs. It's delayed. It's stupid. This is a fight that if the game had responsive controls, I could beat this guy. And it pisses me off that I can't. Like, I want to beat him right now. But I just spent like two and a half hours on it. Like, how long am I gonna wait? try to spend fighting an optional boss? Because the game made a boss that can react to every input you do and continuously attack including interrupting your heels, including a tail whip that can just do it after anything. 
and then you try to respond to the attack and it doesn't come out because the game has such bad input delay, you know? And I know, yes, this is the, the franchise, but Jesus fuck, I should be able to play the game and fight every boss and beat it. I should. I fucking should be able to do it. Not <clears throat> artificial difficulty on top of artificial difficulty, you know? Tarnish to me $1.50, so I think you'll enjoy the game more if you learn to accept sometimes you can't beat bosses when you get to them. Sometimes you have to come back later. I don't like that. That pisses me off. I want to be able to beat everything as soon as I see it. I feel like through learning the patterns and, th and through, you know, reactions and timing, you should be able to beat every boss. Apparently, the game... Alright. Have you ever played a From Software game before? Have you ever played Soulsborne? This is the fun of the game. You throw yourself at it, you learn the patterns, you get better, and then you overcome. That's the fun of the game. Why would I run away like a pussy till I'm over-leveled by fighting other things and then come back and steamroll it? Apparently the game doesn't like that. The game thinks, no, you should go grind and shit. I don't want to grind, but the game seems like it wants me to. Fuck. People who say that, you're a pussy. My God, you don't understand how to play these fucking games. This is the joy of it, is to learn and get better and get better and get better and then overcome what you're, what you're fighting. Not go fucking over level like a bitch, like a fucking wimp. <laughs> Holy shit. Fun. That shit was fun. Why would I run like a bitch? Come back later? Fuck that. Beat him now. The Starlight Knight, the Cerulean Knight, whatever the fuck his name was. The Dickless Knight of bullshit spinning dragon tail fuck nut. Fuck that stupid dragon bitch. Kill his ass now. Nonsense. I don't care about him anymore. I you know, Seriously, I'm so upset that I couldn't beat him like a pussy. That's baloney. He is oogly. Margit. Terrible name. Oh, the frame rate's bad. The frame rate's choppy. I roll. I tried to roll, really. The problem is I'm trying to roll on reaction, and I keep forgetting you can't do that in Dark Souls with the leg. I can't dodge on time. I just can't. I can't do it in this game. There's too much fucking delay in the roll. Can't I just roll forward? It, it doesn't come out in time. It's so delayed. I can't get it to come out on reaction. I really can't. Fucking lag. It's too laggy. The inputs are bad, man. It's not the boss that's tough. The boss's moves are easily dodgeable, but the dodge doesn't come out. Fuck you. This is so disappointing. I want to play the game legit. I want to react to what's going on on the screen and dodge, and I can't. I literally can't play the game that way because the dodge is so delayed. And that's not what I want. I want it to be... De it, it, what are you supposed to do? Pathetic. Honestly, that's pathetic. 20, we're in fucking 2022. And from software hasn't figured out how to get rid of that terrible input delay. Every fucking time I try to dodge, it comes out late. So I can't dodge. Because I can't dodge anything in the fucking game right now. And I honestly don't know why you're having so much trouble dodging. It works fine. It's delayed. I'm telling you it's delayed. I showed you. I'm not making this up. There's actually input delay. It's quite bad. It's not the worst I've had playing Dark Souls, but it's definitely uh very noticeable. That was totally fair. Damn, dude. Move. Move. You're stupid ass. So some people are saying they have no input delay. I have tons of input delay in everything that I do in this game. I can prove it by showing you. So here I am, I'm standing completely neutral. Ready? Watch how long it takes for him to swing. So I fully pushed it, unclicked it, and I wait a small bit and then he swings. Same thing with the roll. See, watch this. So I have to actually hold, release, and wait, and then the roll comes out. Now, I'm not saying it's never been like this before. It's been like this in, in some uh, Soulsborne games before. But people are telling me, oh, Phil, it's just you. It's just me? How could it just be me? I, you know what I mean? Like, I'm sorry, but my controller's not broken. My, <laughs> How could it just be me? I'm not inventing this up. I'm showing you guys firsthand what I mean. It's bad. You know? What the fuck? This is ridiculously stupid. Now, some people now are telling me they think the reason that I'm so slow is because I'm using a big sword and makes my movements clunky. Uh, listen. There's three types of movement in the game, okay? There is light, medium, and heavy load. I'm not heavy load. I'm medium, okay? Maybe if I were light load, completely light load, then I'd be a little faster. But still, that doesn't stop input delay. You're, you're, you're misunderstanding speed of movement for, or you're mistaking speed of movement for input delay. You understand what I'm saying? But again, just to give you guys some perspective on this, all right? I will show you something, okay? So I'm running, ready? Ready? 
it's still delayed. Ready? Ready? It's still delayed. I'm gonna get my hand off the controller as soon as possible. Ready? Watch this. My hand's in the air by the time that he rolls. You see? There's input delay. How can you tell me there's no input delay? I think it's the PS5. I think that the PS5 version of this game has way more input delay than other versions. Ah, fuck it. Why do I care? What do they expect me to do? Alright. I'm so fucked. Look at this shit. Well, fuck you too, you pieces of shit. And I'm actually starting to get lost and confused as to where I'm supposed to go at this point. When it when there's so many ways to go, everything just becomes confusing. I'll be honest with you, I'm kind of not liking this dungeon. There's so much going on, I don't even know if I'm going the right way, right? I don't know. I don't like this. I'll be honest, I don't like this. I wanted I wanted to, to at least have a general idea that I'm doing the right thing. It's so confusing. What just hit me? What the fuck? No, from software. You, you're that's fucking stupid, and you suck. That is completely stupid. I just don't care. At that point, I don't care. I'll quit out. Seriously, every time that happens, I'm just going to quit out of the fight. That is just the dumbest thing I've ever seen. No. It's a, it's supposed to be their best game ever. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I'm going to rage when it's deserving. That's deserving of rage right there. Oh, my God. Oh! What I'm thinking is you purposely have to drop and then make a run for it because this is going to follow you, but if you drop, you'll get some extra time. Oh shit, I wasn't looking! Ah! Oh! There it is again. Every time I press heal, he hits me. Literally, every time I do anything, he just hits me with his face. I'm just going to get one more bite the next bite. Devour, devour. Now there's nothing I can do. There was absolutely nothing I could do there. He saw me heal and that's when he did the attack. He waited for me to do the heal and he did the attack. Literally nothing to be done there, just die. How are you gonna tell me the game's not broken? They fucking don't put effort into improving their engine ever. It's a broken combat engine. That is not how a game is supposed to play. It's, it's dumb as shit. Yes, everything's unfair. This game is completely fucked up. Why are they, why do attacks you're nowhere near still hit you? Explain you piece of shit, explain. How am I missing? Oh my god, I fucking missing. This is bullshit. <laughs> fucking dumb. This is so dumb. I know, I can't see shit either. It's so dark, I can't see anything. Why is it always dark? I can't hit him. Are you serious? Here we go again. Insanely huge enemies that you can't hit. For no fucking good reason. Oh, uh, can't really do anything. Not enough to do shit. Dude, this weapon is so good. It's so good. I got poisoned again. Fuck your mother. Now I have no healing items for it. Neat. Now I don't need the torch anymore. Whoa. Why did it hit twice? That made absolutely positively no sense. It hit twice for no reason. You already hit me. I was down. There was no second hit. You hit me with nothing. There's a second explosion for no fucking reason. Whoa! What? He's floating. I died because he was floating. 
Oh, fuck it. I almost killed him. And then he hits me with some bullshit that's always area of effect. Do it help? Wow, he insta-killed me. He insta-killed me that time. It's to this point where I'm just gonna skip him, because I know he's just a normal enemy. He just deals way too much damage for no good fucking reason. What? Yeah, he was flailing wildly and hit me. Whatever you say. That's how it works. If someone's gonna attack you on a horse, just take your, your knife and start flailing wildly into the air, and you'll hit the guy on the horse. It totally works every time. This is bullshit. So what it is is they made it so that these enemies who really have no right to be able to hurt your horse and shit can. They're little wimps. And they're fucking stabbing my horse. Like, what are you, crazy? There's a big boy. There's a big living tree. That's interesting. I love nature. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. That kind of sucked. Damn it. I definitely should have one-shotted him. That's annoying. Now I know what's going on. Where is he? Wait, where is he? <laughs> oh, he's straight ahead. I rolled. I swear to God, I rolled on that. Stupid. I jumped over it. Oh, shit. I didn't know you could jump over it. It stopped. I jumped over that attack, too! I jumped over almost all those attacks. I jumped over that attack, too! Well, I got a human bone shard. Which I need to craft. Wait, what? I took damage? Oh, what the fuck? There's a skeleton in here! You piece of fucking dog shit. Nah, this doesn't go up. I wish there was a way for it to go up. It doesn't, so... This is also complete bullshit with the guy hitting me from that fucking far. Dumb shit. When he attacks you, you can't do anything. He literally just keeps wailing on you till you die. Like, wow. Okay then. He literally would not let me hit him. The only problem is I don't remember how to get out of here now. Fuck. How do I get out of here? I can't remember how to get out of here. This sucks. And he's pissing me off. Doink. Oh my god. I don't expect anything in this game to be easy. I really don't. Something ain't right. Oh, you fucking fuckface. That was dirty. I killed him in midair. You might have gotten more support if you weren't overleveled and bullying lower level areas. So would you like me to just skip all the content of the game then? Is that what you would like? Just skip it all. So today what I should have done... Instead of checking out the entire southern peninsula, and instead of checking out the eastern area that apparently I missed out on, you want me to just skip all that content? Just completely skip all the portion of the game? Why don't I just, why don't I just teleport back over here and do this instead, right? Forget it. Who cares about the content that's put into the game? Ignore it. It doesn't matter. Just go to the places where I'm underleveled and I die a thousand times. You're a fucking idiot. No, I mean it, Griffin. You're a fucking idiot. You're a dunce. There's times when there will be challenge, and there's times when there won't be. That's the not. That's how this game is. It's open world. You're gonna find things that are easy. You're gonna find things that are really tough. It's not all supposed to always be tough, 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 and ignore the rest of the content of the game. Do you buy a game and ignore eighty percent of the content that you find too easy to do? You're a moron. Thanks to you. Holy you fuck, man! What a dumb thing and an insulting thing to say to a streamer too. Damn. There, are you happy? I'm challenging myself now. I'm poisoned, I have fucking scarlet rot, and I'm trying to fight two fucking bosses at once. Are you happy now? Alright, now where's the support? Huh? Oh, well the reason that there's, there's low support today is because Phil's overlooked. Okay, where's the support? Huh? Huh, genius? <laughs> what? He had eye frames. Did you see that? Because I hit him and he had eye frames. Good job. That's bullshit. Wow, that's that's not dude, they game cheated. I jumped, it didn't even work. Yeah, see he has I he has certain times when he blocks and he can't hit it. Which is annoying. Without a cure for the Scarlet Rod, there's no way I can kill these guys. Seriously, even even if I killed the spear guy, I'd probably run out of health before I killed the other one. And then he gave me Scarlet Rod! What the fuck? How could he have seen me through the trees? What the fuck? Yo, this is bullshit. This is bullshit. What the fuck? It's impossible what they're doing. That's fucking bullshit. That's not fair. 
Ow. Can't believe you committed suicide. How stupid was that? That was incredibly fucking stupid. Wow. Full speed, full gallop, double jumping. They still hit me. These fucking asshole Vikings. Why? Wow, that's completely unfair. He fucking hit me. You gotta be shitting me! That's the most unbalanced thing ever in a fucking video game. I don't like this! Oh! You fucking fuck! Are you out of your fucking mind? What the fuck? How did I just take that much damage? What the fuck? Why am I taking this much damage? Fuck off, man. That was incredibly stupid. He interrupted me not looking at me. He's so- Dude, I'm sorry. These facts are so stupid. Dibber says, I think from software doesn't expect anyone to do the quest in Souls games. Just stumble upon them accidentally and share details with friends. I like it. It makes it feel more meaningful rather than completing a checklist. I mean, I don't know how in the holy hell you would just find it naturally. Seriously, without a checklist. I don't know how you would find the vast majority of the, the side quests in this game. Or any FromSoft game, for that matter. I'm, I'm tw over 25 hours into the game. Like, I want to do new stuff, but they put way too much content in these areas. But I do feel like there's just too much. Like, why is there so much early on? What the fuck did I say? Why am I missing every attack now? I had no problems landing attacks, and now all of a sudden I'm in a new area of the map. Every enemy dodges every attack. I can't hit anything. Get the fuck out of here, man. I'm so tired. Didn't come out. My jump attack didn't come out. I had the stamina for it, and nothing happened. Great, I have no healing. Why is the game- it refuses to- it refuses to select the enemy standing in front of me. It does, it wouldn't target him. There's nothing I can do. No healing. Yeah, this sucks. My problem is, I spent all my stats leveling everything else, I never leveled my health, so now I'm a weak-ass motherfucker. Now that there's actually enemies that are skilled to me, they're super rare. Like, I'm- super rare, excuse me, super- I'm super weak. And I'm not really doing anything effective, which sucks ass. Do you remember me? How did it miss? It literally shows the fucking thing stabbing through his body. It missed. Sure it did. Why did that not stagger him when it always staggered before? Get it. See? Of course I traded and 50% Right. <laughs> I need help. I this is so bad. This is real bad. Deny. What the fuck? How did it miss? I jumped directly into both of them and did a giant slamming attack. It did miss completely. Uh, can you please fix your fucking hitboxes? Holy Christ. That is terrible shit. They do seem to be getting more fair with the, the fact that you're not just constantly bouncing off the walls. That used to be a major problem. And yes, you do bounce off the walls with your weapons, but not as bad as in previous games from what I see. They're actually letting me hit things. Oh my god. Not- Oh my god! It's completely unfair! Fucking let me play the fucking game. I didn't jump! Nah, this is bullshit. I was just gonna keep doing jump attacks and stunning him. It would- It just stopped. It literally just said, Stop working. Huh? Why couldn't I attack? It didn't make any sense at all. Trying to move to the next room where we can make some space. No, now the camera kid will get stuck in the wall. Fucking shitty. Of course I still get hit even though I dodged. Oh, what? I just... 
All right, I didn't roll. I'm not sure if there's anything important in here. We can just skip it. So would you like me to just skip all the content of the game then? The lobster fucked me. Jump attacks are the key to this fight. I have almost no health compared to most other people playing. You fucker! Holy shit! Ah! What is going on? Now I can't hit the enemy. How does that make any sense? That was dead on and it showed the fucking uh, the halberd going through the body and it fucking doesn't connect. Suck my Suck my Armor's never good in FromSoft games. I've literally watched, no exaggeration, five different people play this game on, on YouTube and absolutely none of them are asked by their viewers to do this. Uh, only I am asked to do a fucking death count because idiotic people think that it's funny to laugh at how many times someone dies in this game. And by the way, I'm not exaggerating either. I'm serious. No one has to use a death counter. I'm not... I, I, I watch so many people playing this game enjoying it. No one uses a death counter. Everyone just insists I do it. Oh, let's make fun of Phil constantly, you know. Still got hit by it. Wow! Come on. Now that was fucking stupid. I'm just not gonna lock on. Fuck this. What the fuck? What? I jump attack the guy in front of me. Why are you locking to the guy behind me? Because we're trolls. We want to fuck you. Oh, thanks. Thanks for fucking my I appreciate it. What? It didn't hit me. The bow, the arrow literally didn't hit me. And the game said it did. It went behind me and it claimed that it hit me. Yeah, see, this is just dumb. They did it on purpose to piss you off. It's definitely not a fair fight. Look at that bullshit. Look at that. So let me get this straight. They can use their arrow. I go to, to punish the arrow. They can roll out of the animation for their arrow, immediately attack after the animation for their arrow with a magic attack that goes three, four times and insta-kills you. Just think about this. So it doesn't follow its own rules. By the way, you notice this guy never runs out of magic. He always has magic, which makes no sense. It's an NPC. It's supposed to be the same rules as you. Right? So it should run out of magic. Never runs out of magic. Just keep casting spells endlessly. Complete bullshit. How did that miss? I'm directly in front of him. I can't hit him. Again, I jump and attack. The, the attack passes through his body, not connecting. So then he does his stupid mash melee attack and insta-kills me. It's just, it's dumb. It's not fair. It's not made to be fair. It's made to say, here's un insurmountable horseshit odds against you. Let's not make a fair game. Let's be a bunch of dickheads to fucking troll you. And they do it in every fucking FromSoft game. Yes, I jump attack a giant area swing attack, right? Going right through his body. Zero hit detection. Zero. Fuck you. Oh, by the way, now if I lock on to him, the game says, well, you can't lock on to the enemy standing in front of you. Lock on to the guy on the stairs behind you instead. So now you also miss because the camera fucks up. It's like every little stupid thing to piss you off and make it not fair is what they do in these fucking games. I roll. Didn't work. I rolled forward. Didn't work. All right, I'm not done with this. There's no point in wasting time. I know I can beat him. It's just going to take a million chances of him not doing the cheap shit. But what's the point if I can't complete anything here anyway, right? Like, they're telling me I can't complete it. So what's the point? What hit? What hit me? There's nothing there. Why can't I hit him? Are you shitting me? He was right in front of me and wouldn't let me hit him. Again, with this stupid bullshit. I rolled right there. Nothing. I rolled right there. Nothing. Can't roll. Roll. Finally comes out. Giant enemies that are standing directly in front of you and you can't hit them with giant swinging weapons. Yeah. Completely stupid. Like I said, he's easy. He's easy. He's not hard at all. It's just the game is being fucking dumb. Yes, he's standing directly in front of me. Swing, miss, jumping attack, miss, heavy attack, miss. He's right there, you fucking dumb game. Enough with your bullshit that your hitboxes are so elusive. He's a giant enemy. I have a giant weapon. He should be dead. You're fucking dumb. Jesus, fuck, it's so stupid.
No, there's no possible way he could have missed. Fucking die. So dumb. Why can't I attack? What the fuck? The game once again doing bullshit. I couldn't attack and all of a sudden I'm just like wobbling all around and I can't move. Wow, you want to talk about stupid? I hate that shit. Why am I wobbling around like I made of jello? Just strike the fucking guys. You're on a horse, you idiot. You should have all the poise, not them. No, I mean like the game, it, it's like basic concepts of, of combat on a horse are lost on this game. The whole point of horseback combat is that you're at a massive advantage to the enemy because you have giant poison speed and they can't do much about it. So you just ride around and you're able to hit them easily. This game's like, no, you get hit once, you're rocked. You can't move. You all of a sudden can't swing your weapon. Like, what are you talking about? Like, that's the entire point of the horse. Do not understand it. Answers, no, they don't, apparently. When they made the game, they don't understand how fucking horseback combat. How are you a pussy on a horse? Doesn't even make sense. Blue flame insta kill. Glintstone dragon. It is exactly the same as the other dragon. It seems to be the same attacks and everything. I tried to jump off of my horse. Wait, I died too? What? I don't know. And I don't want to keep riding back. This is annoying. The riding back is super annoying. Why is there no fucking checkpoint? Right? There should be a checkpoint here. This is super annoying. Eventually. All I have to do is find it. There you go. We oh, I tried to roll. Excuse me? You cannot dodge with the horse. There's no iframes. Okay. That's important to know. I don't like that I have such a limited range of my magic. That's stupid. My wife and I have been watching a few people actually playing this game. So I'm like, there's no way this guy's gonna, like, spoil anything for me. Here's what he does. He goes right here to this place called Purified View Ruins. He starts rolling around and he finds a secret passage, which leads to an item that I want. And I was like, well, I mean, it was completely unintentional, but I'm not going to lie to you guys about it. No, I'm not going to be like, oh, I magically di I, I discovered it myself. I got minorly spoiled. The, tr the truth is, it was ridiculous luck that this happened. Like, I don't even know that how he did it. It was a complete chance that this happened. So, I want that item. I'd like to reveal something to you guys that you may not realize about this game. Literally, literally, Elden Ring is called FromSoft reuses everything from previous games. I'm not kidding. Most of the bosses I'm noticing in this game fight exactly like bosses from previous Dark Souls or Bloodborne games. He's literally the stray demon. Ow. I was watching someone else play Limgrave, all right, after I'd already beaten it, and they went to fight the Erdtree Avatar, and guess what? The Erdtree Avatar is... The stray demon from Dark Souls 3. I roll. Fucking delayed. I can't roll sideways. Look why. I'm stuck in a root. I couldn't dodge his attack. It was impossible. I was stuck in the root of the tree. Magic missile. Oh, fuck. I roll. Are you fucking shitting me? I fucking pressed roll and it delayed so bad I couldn't do anything. Ah! Oh, I did like nothing because I had to defend. Good. Oh, he did a jumping attack. He can do it too. He did a tubby jump. I hate that he has to freeze in place to throw it. That is bullshit. Why does he freeze to throw the bolt? That is terrible bullshit. Don't freeze in place to throw the bolt, you fucking idiot. Why does the horse have to stop moving? Think about how dumb this is. The horse has to slow down and stop moving for you, the human riding the horse, to cast and throw the bolt. How in the fuck does that make any sense? It doesn't. It doesn't make sense. That's a, a bullshit game mechanic that shouldn't be in it. No, you should not be fucking slowing down to throw the bolt. The horse doesn't slow down. The horse isn't casting the fucking spell. That makes no sense at all. The tear. Oh, there's a big bolt. It missed, you piece of fucking shit. You're kidding me. It missed. This is out of control. What? I can breathe. I can smell the fucking thing. I can smell its breath. This is fucking stupid. Finish him. Are you out of your mind? Oh, there's more guys up there. 
Maybe that. Oh, what is going on? Why are you so ridiculous? Oh! Ow! But, um, ow. What is that? Fucking ass balls! Oh! You know what I forgot? I totally forgot to do jumping attacks there, which I should have been doing. Right? You guys are on the ball, I'm not. I think I made a bad choice. You know this is gonna miss. You just know it. You ready? It hit? Okay. I took damage for no reason. I'm completely behind cover and got hit. I didn't want to throw it at him. I took damage again. Fuck your mother. I'm obviously fucking safe up here. How could it be any more safe? Jesus, fuck. This game is dumb, man. All right, you know what? Fuck this. You threw it the wrong direction, you jabroni. What are you doing? Right in front of you. Fucking idiot. Why can't I hit the enemy standing in front of me with a magic spell? No, really. He's right there! Why is aim so poor? Thank you, you fucking idiot. Why was that so hard? Why couldn't he just hit the thing directly in front of him? Dang. Stupid. Still, the wonky hitboxes, the bad reactions, and all the fucking bullshit that stacks against you makes you lose because the game is fucking stupid. Amazing. Get What an amazing boss. Revenge this. He fucking goes through me with invincibility for no reason. Again, why do his jumping attacks have invincibility when mine don't? It doesn't make any sense. An anonymous tipper to me $1.50 accusing me of using guides. I'm not using guides, as I've already stated. Right. I don't use guides. Now, I have openly admitted that I'm watching some other people play this game, but I'm only trying to watch people who are behind me. There's been one or two instances I admitted this last night, but no, I'm not using a guide, and anyone who says that I am, you're a fucking idiot. Speculating shit just to try to prove your own narrative, that's completely incorrect, so fuck you. Every little thing that I do is something wrong, I'm cheating, or, you know, fuck you. Seriously. Oh, I did it again. Got him. I got nothing? I got nothing for killing him. Fuck you. I am a little upset, I'll be honest with you guys, that here we are in optional content, right? And the optional content still is the same shit. It's still the same looking catacombs. It kind of makes me feel like they didn't put a lot of effort into these side uh, dungeons. But why are these side dungeons all the same? Also, what the fuck is this waypoint I'm staring at? Look. I'm now staring at a waypoint. Where is this waypoint? I didn't set a waypoint. Apparently, I'm accidentally setting waypoints on the map. Yeah, I did it again. Look. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. How do I keep placing beacons on the round table? I don't know how that's happening. It's the second time it's happened in the playthrough. It's annoying. I have no idea why I lost a giant chunk of health. I doubt they're going to explain it either. What? Oh, I lost my entire health bar for no reason. Wow, I can't move. Look at this! I'm stuck! I can't move at all! I didn't even press that! What the fuck? I can't move. The camera stuck me in the corner and I couldn't do anything at all. Congratulations, I didn't even get to see the boss or fight him because the game stuck me in the corner and the camera wouldn't fucking unstick. So I couldn't see or move. Wow, that's great gameplay right there. That's top tier stuff. That's classic from software bullshit. It's fucking terrible. How are you keep telling me that was a legit fight? I couldn't move my body or the camera. I was stuck in the corner. That was incredibly fucking stupid. What just happened? Once again, I can't control my character. I seriously can't. I can't control the character for some odd reason. The game won't let me use anything right. And I can't get stamina back. Fucking dumb. What did I pick up? I don't fucking know. Sadly, this is what's kind of starting to annoy me this game now. As you can see, it's not clear how to get around areas. This all looks like elevated. So how the fuck do I get to this Erd tree? Right? Do I literally have to go, like, all the way this way? Nope. All the way up here somehow, like from here, right? All the way around, down, 
across somehow. Like, how the fuck do I get to this fucking Erd tree? All I want to do is go to the Erd tree. And it's not apparent because the maps are shit. It just shows this cliff with no apparent way to get across. Could there be a jump spot there? Yes. Is there? I don't know. When you press triangle, gestures are enabled by motion controls. That's really stupid. I don't want motion controls. No one should ever want motion controls, ever. In anything. The game is good. Listen, again, I like the game. There's a, there's a lot of things I, I, I criticize as I play it. Because I do feel the game has lots of opportunities for improvement. But I do really like the game. I certainly wouldn't be playing it every day if I didn't like it, right? You tip me a dollar for these. Are you tipping to get as over level as possible before you go to the academy? No, I'm, I'm exploring. Got it. Have you heard of this term? I don't know if you've heard of this before. If you're playing an open world game, a key to enjoying a game is exploring. Yes. It's not just running to each main dungeon and turboing through the game under leveled and doing an insane challenge run. Maybe some people like to do that. I like actually enjoying the game I bought. So that's why I'm doing this. I was trying to fucking see down there and the game purposely dicked me over and put this fog here to be a d an asshole. That actually pisses me off. This is bullshit. This is fucking bullshit. Why do they do this shit? It sucks. It sucks. I don't know. Why do they do this in their games? Oh, yeah, there's a hidden area. Oh, yeah, well hidden. I have no idea. I really have no fucking idea. This is stupid fucking bullshit. This game is pissing me off. Now, where the fuck am I? Why was it so dark now? I can't even see. I don't even know where it is. I can't find it. Look, where did it, where is it? I can't even see it now because I'm in the dark. I can't find it. This is great. Oh, this is just fucking grade A game design. So once again, is it tough? No. Is it annoying because of the environment? Yes. Stupid as fuck. Not even tough. It's too fast to dodge. You can't dodge four times in a row. Stupid shit, man. Why does it get to attack four quick attacks in a row and teleport out of them when I can't do anything about it? I rolled. Fucking stupid shit. I'm actually really pissed off about this part. This is not fun at all. Fuck you. This is a dex weapon. What the? What? Do you see what I see? If I level up one into dex, the weapon for the damage for this weapon goes from 59 to 123. Why? Why does it more than double the damage output with only one level? Quack. Quack. Oh, I'm glad that he threw it out of the way of that. He will not throw at the enemy in front of him. Ah. That's what I mean. I love your singing. Can you tell me the story of how you learned how to sing? No, you can't do that with a lightning spear in your chest. But I expect you to die. I died. You gotta be kidding me. Why did they all hit me? That's ridiculous. They hit me for way too much damage. That was incredibly stupid. I was doing the right thing trying to hit him with, with ranged. And they fucking all come down and hit me for insane damage for no good reason. Fuck! You fucking asshole! I can't hit this fucking thing. Look, I can't hit it. Finally. These fucking bats are much harder now. They have new attacks and shit that latch onto your body. They're super annoying. Damn, that was a pain in the ass. Whoa, that was area of effect. Oh my, I didn't know he could reach that far. You know, maybe I'll just say fuck this and just run past him and grab the items and leave. I don't have to fight him. Serpent God Scepter. I gotta run and heal. Fuck another item. God damn it. Or maybe I can lure him over here and he can't hit me. That is working tremendously. Good night. That's how it's fucking done, baby. Okay, so, Martin says, Lightning staggers. The Flame of Frenzy is the best one for that. Works great on bosses.
of them shoots magic. Killed one. Oh, what is that shit? Ooh! Spooky scary skulls! I do not like the spooky scary skulls. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. And the Oscar goes to. I rolled and the game says I didn't because it's fucking ultra delayed again. Stupid shit. Why am I poisoned? Why am I toxic? I'm diseased. Why was I poisoned? Okay. Oh, what the fuck? I didn't even see him. He blends it with the wall. Hey, what the fuck? Ooh. Stop chasing me! Ah! Let me heal now. Don't hit me. Yeah, I'm not Don't spew fire! Ah! Ah! La, la, la. Ah! La, 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 la. Ah! La, la. Ah! How did I miss? How did I seriously miss right there? I was right on him. I can't even move. Like when he hits you, you get staggered. When he hits you, you can't move. You just get stuck in place, so then I can't roll or recover. I'm just stuck standing there like an idiot. I roll. This is such bullshit. I counter and I'm rolling right through it and it hits me anyway. They won't let me hit him! <laughs> another giant boss I can't hit. Literally another giant boss I can't hit. His body is like this. My sword just passes through, passes through. I've already complained about how bad this game is with its hitboxes. Literally, I'm passing through his body multiple times. They won't let me get the hit. Unbelievably stupid. Like, dude, you are a giant monster. I have a giant sword. How the fuck could the giant sword miss the giant monster that's standing directly in front of the giant sword? Because the hitboxes are terrible. The boss hitboxes are amazing. My hitboxes are shit. It's so bad. As you saw, I was able to hit it a ton with this, this sword just stupidly. Oh, you're whiffing. No, I'm not, you fucking dumb fuck. I'm not whiffing. It's right in front of me. Your hitbox is suck. You missed every arrow. You're one of the worst archers I've ever seen. And then he immediately hits me. Trying to heal. I can't move. I'm stuck. No, you're not. I was stuck in place because of the camera. The camera was locked onto one of them, and it wouldn't let me move because the camera was stuck. So I almost fell off the edge of the fucking building because of the shitty ass camera. Oh, uh, no. Fucking bullshit. I slammed him, and again, it claims I didn't hit him. The game is so full of shit sometimes. I can't move. Why does he have so much stamina? Done! Oh my god, that shit is so sick. Dude, my ability is insane with this weapon. It steamrolled him. He didn't even have a fucking chance. Oh, I gotta fight? What the fuck? Oh no! Oh come on! Oh that was totally fair. Instant death. Jesus fuck. Instant death. Not even a chance. You stupid bitch. Now of course I gotta do the whole fucking first form again. God damn it. Finish him. Luckily it doesn't last forever. Oh what? I was running sideways, but should have avoided it, and it hit me anyway. I have no idea. What was I supposed to do there? I was running full force to the side, and she still hits me with it anyway. So do you have to actually dodge? Maybe you have to actually dodge it. I avoided it at first by just running, so I don't know what happened there. I did the same thing, and it worked two times. didn't work the third. It's cool that she summons the minions, but they don't last. That's good, because if they were there forever, that would be a real pain in the ass boss fight. But... It's gonna be annoying if she keeps hitting me with that beam and I can't avoid it. That's dumb. Maybe the key is just to stay in her face, you think? Maybe if you stay in her face, she never does the beam. Oh, come on! Then I get comboed by a bunch of little shit. I'm missing? What? Why am I getting hit? No idea. 
No, I'm just... Okay, so the heavy attack doesn't work. The heavy attack whiffs on her, which makes no sense. I just got hit in the ass by bullshit. You know what I could do? I could try the gold halberd. It'll probably do, like, double damage. Seriously. The gold halberd will probably do way more damage to her. Technically, I'm... I'm totally challenging myself by not doing ash summons. You fucking dumb kid. Look at that damage. Yeah. Look at that damage. I do insane damage to her and then she just insta-kills me. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god, so dumb. Oh look, I did insane damage to her. Oops, I'm instant killed. Oh, okay. Now I gotta do the whole fucking thing again. And again, this is from classic FromSoft. It's not the boss that bothers you, it's the tedium. The tedium of having to walk back to it. The tedium of having to do the whole first phase first. You know what? It's super boring. I just want to get this over with. <laughs> I seriously just want to get it over with. Alright, now someone's going to get fucked. I pulled this. The hell? This thing is insane. Oh, you fuck face. Oh, not good. I got killed? You're serious. Wow. Not even, it's not, she's not even tough, it's, her attacks are bullshit, because if, if even one glancing hits you, you can't really get out of the way, and then they all combo. Yeah, she's not hard, she's just not, it's, it's, they built her magic to be kind of cheap with the way that it hits, look at this bullshit. They built her magic to be cheap with the way that it hits. How many extra runes do you get for this thing? It doesn't say. Not much? Then what's the point? Those precise controls. Those very precise from software controls. Fucking stupid shit. I know, I was praising the platforming. Did you, you remember? It's much like everything with from software. When it works, it works well, but it doesn't always want to work. It fucks, ar fucks around and gets fucking weird and glitchy and shit. Tell me what I did wrong there, seriously. Oh no! What a dirty trick! That was just mean. That was serious. Bullshit! Looks like the island you started on at the beginning of the game. I think it is. So I think the reason that said revenge, we may be fighting that first boss who killed us. We may actually be able to kill him now. I'm back, motherfucker! That hurts. Oh wow, he insta-killed me. I couldn't even do anything. Well, fuck that. What is with this game? Why does it have to be everything so hidden and cryptic? God damn it, man. Now we gotta go back again? This fucking sucks. It pisses me off. It does. It's too cryptic. It's annoying as fuck. Boring. Why did I get hit with madness? Oh, uh, I don't get it. It's gone now, but I don't understand what that was. It's happening again? What's going on? Oh, what the fuck? What is happening? Jesus, he hits so hard, man. He hits crazy hard. It's just a pain in the ass to reset the fight, right? It's a real pain in the ass. I couldn't roll because of the stupid column. That's stupid. I can do giant damage to him, but the problem is he does insane damage to me, too. That was so annoying because I think it's going to be hard to fight him here because there's all this shit in the church, you know? Very annoying stuff in the church to block you when you're trying to move around. My problem is he kills me with one to two hits. I can't ever even take a hit. I just die almost instantly. It's fucking stupid. Like, well, how much of a health pool do they want you to have to fight this guy? This is so annoying that I have to keep grabbing my grace and then go resetting time again. It's fucking annoying as shit. Wow. Can't do anything. Can't do anything. Instantly kill. How the fuck did I miss him? I can't see. The fucking tree's in the fucking way! He kills me from behind. Jesus, dude, come on! Where, where's my grace? You knock him down. As he gets up, he's completely invincible. Why are you invincible when you're getting up? I'm not! I get hit when I stand up in this game. This motherfucker is always invincible. I hate that shit about the game. Oh, you, you fucking staggered him. Guess what? Now you can't hit him. Of course. Look at that nonsense! Are you out of your mind? So I'm doing a jumping attack. He attacks through it as if I never did it. And then it's a two-hit combo and I can't avoid the second hit. Come on, man. It's fucking dumb. And that's the problem. I get hit once, that's it. I'm gonna die. Get over here! I dodged and it still hit me anyway because it tracked. Fuck you, man. I 
can't see. Great. No, really. How does every enemy in the game know exactly where your roll is going to end? What direction you're going to roll and where your roll ends? Every enemy has tracking. It all cheats. How the fuck does that miss? I don't know what's going on. I never did a heavy attack. I seriously never did it. I never did. He just did a heavy attack out of fucking nowhere. It's literally 100% cheating. Because there's no way an enemy would actually know that. Is he going to roll left, right, forward, back? How would I track him to know where to hit? The game auto locks on and aims and hits you after your roll. It's complete horseshit. Does the death counter still annoy you? Of course it does. Like I said, I, I actually have been watching a few other streamers play this game. Um, some not notable Souls players. Some pro Souls players. And out of the few that I watched, absolutely no one has a death counter. No one asks them for a death counter. No one bothers them for that shit. They let them just play the game and enjoy it. Because they realize, like, especially a game like this open world, the deaths mean absolutely nothing. That you're going to explore, you're going to experiment, you're going to die, and it's fine. There's no competition of who has more or less deaths. It's just dumb. The whole counter is completely worthless. But people demand it. And I said I didn't want to do it. Ah, oh, you gotta do it. When well, you do it, you always did it. Yeah, it's tradition. It has no point to it. It just wastes everyone's time. But you want it, I guess you can have it. I don't fucking care. I can't... I couldn't jump. I was stuck on that rock. The game stuck me on this stupid rock and I couldn't even jump over it. I tried. Ugh. Oh, no! What? I are you shitting me? I dodged the spell. The spell exploded behind me and it still got me. I dodged it, it went past me, and then it exploded behind me and still stunned me. That's insanely cheap. Wow. That is incredible bullshit. You wanna talk about a bullshit enemy? That's the definition. Hello! How are you? It won't let me hit him. Are you fucking shitting me? It won't let me hit the enemy. Dude, how can you tell me this game is, like, flawless? He's standing directly in front of me and they won't let me hit him. How stupid was that? That made absolutely no fucking sense of any way. I couldn't hit him. It's dumb. Oh, you want to do that bullshit too, huh? I couldn't move. He stun locked me into the wall. I couldn't move at all. That's totally fair. I turned around, a guy spawned behind me, and he stun locks me. It's fucking game. He's not even swinging at me. Well, I have a giant sword, and I'm swinging, and I can't hit him at all. FromSoft. Could that be something? I think that is something. I can't believe you committed suicide. I cannot believe you committed suicide. Oh, great. That's, of course, exactly what I intended. Of course. I have absolutely no idea what the point of that was. All right, ready? Oh, no! That was ridiculously bad, man. That was pathetic. Fuck this. What's hilarious is that people are saying I'm overleveled when I'm not. <laughs> I know I'm not. Uh, people have been watching the playthrough and telling me, don't worry, you're not overleveled. People are just making it up because they're fucking idiots. Zoya the Super Jazz says, compared to the average pro Elden Ring player, you're actually underleveled for this area. In, re in relation to most people playing this game, I have an incredibly small health bar. I never really leveled it. In reality, it makes the game more, ch more exciting to watch because any boss or any enemy can kill me within like two hits. Oh, what? They won't let me go this way. It's glitched. What the heck? There's an inadvertent invisible wall here. I don't think they meant to put it there, but it's glitched out and you can't walk there. Wow. Wait, I can't walk anywhere. I'm stuck. What the hell? Why am I stuck inside the ring? Look, I can't leave. Oh, people saying you gotta go back up and talk to Ronnie again. What a fucking asshole. Look at this bullshit. I can't hit him. I can't. I can't do anything. I'm swinging, and my sword just going right through his body, right through his body. Yet every hit he does connects fully. It's the dumbest fucking thing with this game. That every enemy 
has insane reach, insane hitboxes. They can go through every item in the environment. You can't do any of that. You just get fucked up. Everything you try to do passes through them. It's bullshit. They really should have made the hitboxes fair. I can't believe how unfair the hitboxes are in this fucking game. The motherfucker move. Come down here. Yeah, I'm not doing that. He's fucking bullshit, man. Enough of this nonsense. He hits me no matter where I am. Fucking so annoying. No matter where I moved, I still got hit. Sniping me perfectly. I can't move. I cannot fucking move. Unfucking believable. I can't move. Every swing fucking misses. I can't hit him. I literally can't hit him. Are you fucking. Dude, this sucks. What is this bullshit? He's right in front of me. I have a giant sword. It swings through his body 400 fucking times. Seriously, the fucking hitboxes are terrible in this game. What great gameplay. Outstanding. They're still hitting me. They're still hitting me. Again, I can't do anything. The attack pattern is complete bullshit. It Nope! There apparently are some secret optional bosses that appear in the game at certain times. Someone clued me in and said maybe I want to check some of those out. No, I saw a post about this on fucking Twitter the other day. I'm gonna see if this is true because I didn't try it yet. So there's no point in complaining that, it's, oh, Phil has a guy. No, someone sent me an email said, here's a few optional bosses you missed. Check them out. If you got a problem with that? Yeah. Oh, come on, the landscaper just shows up outside makes lots of fucking noise now. I got butter and I got cheese. Yeah, I couldn't taste anything else but butter and cheese in that fight. Son of a bitch. Come on! Why are they so cryptic? Why is this game so cryptic? Why is it so cryptic? I just want to know what to do! <laughs> oh. This one has magic! And insta-killed me. I don't even know what happened. I have absolutely no idea. I died out of nowhere. I got hit by what? It didn't- The magic didn't hit me. The magic absolutely did not hit me. So I don't know what happened there. Oh, that's fair. He still hit me. He still hit me. What the fuck? I- Are you shitting me? It was an instant kill. I ran away from it. It still hit me. And then comboed infinitely till I died. I couldn't even move. There was no way to get out of it. No, fucker. Make a boss that's actually challenging, not fucking cheap. That was so dumb, dude. That was incredibly stupid. There, fuck you. Uh, I'm not swinging. I'm not pressing dash. But my stamina's not restoring. Like, uh, any day. Now I'm gonna go back to Blad. Oh my god. Every time I wanna do something, you gotta do something else. What a pain in the ass. I did get Scarlet Rock. You had one job. One job. Oh. Wow, couldn't move because I was hit by the first hit. I rolled and still got hit. Stupid game. I had no idea you could fall off the map here. Why would they put that there? Why would they put a, f a drop right next to a fucking boss fight like that? You bunch of fucking assholes. Now, I didn't even get the steak. They didn't even give me the... <laughs> they didn't even give me the steak that time. You dickheads. That was completely dickheaded. What they just did. Wow. That is not what I wanted. Well, I expected it. Uh, Cause now I don't know where I am, I'm falling off ledges and shit, it's fucking stupid. Oh yeah, now give me a steak, huh? Oh yeah, I really want the steak now. Where the fuck am I? I'm at a steak, I don't even know where I am. This is annoying. Why did he even teleport me to that steak? I'm not even near anything. 
It teleported me further in. Oh my god. You're so dumb. Bravo, Bravo. Of course. Even though I'm running full speed swinging, for some reason I still get hit by the fucking tracking magic and comboed infinitely till I'm dead. I get hit and immediately hit second time. No opportunity to dodge anything. Just dead. 100% damage. Okay. Keep in mind, he hasn't done that yet. He just decides to do that this time. I roll. I pressed roll left. Nothing. I'm jumping. Not we're dumb. Oh my god, it's not working. I'm screwing up. I'm not paying attention. I'm getting distracted. There's too much going on. The whole, when you get the rock... You lose such a giant chunk of your health when you get the rot, it's ridiculous. You lose a huge chunk of health. Of course. Alright, you know what? Fuck this. I'm I'm trying too hard to use all my my tools. I should just fucking destroy him with jumping R2, shouldn't I? Seriously. I should just fucking do jumping R2 five thousand times till he dies. Of course, now he's faster, for no reason. He swung faster than he did before. That's all I'm gonna do, jump R2 wins. I missed, he's directly in front of me. How did I miss? Wait, do you see what I mean about the hitboxes in this game? I couldn't even walk forward any further because I was pushed completely against his body. I do jumping R2 and it misses. What the fuck are you talking about? Seriously, what the fuck are you talking about? He's right in front of me. How am I missing? None of it makes any fucking sense. I tried to stagger, it didn't work. I wish I could get behind him. I'm not fast, I'm slow. My build is that I'm slow. So I can't get behind him in time to do anything. I just have to back away. Of course. See, I can't get behind him, I'm too slow. I rolled right there. I pressed it. Jump R2 wins the fight. You don't have to do anything. I'm trying to use my skill and shit. I'm, oh, let me use my FP skill. Just jump R2. Beats everything in the game. I rolled and it still hit me. What are you talking about? It's so dumb. How did I miss? How did I miss? You're already <laughs> If the hit, if the attacks would hit the body, I, I already won. The problem is the game's hitboxes are terrible. He's standing right in front of me. I'm doing the attack. It goes through his body. How many times is the attack going to clip through his fucking ginormous body? A boss that's not even fucking hard. I can't kill him because I can't hit him. He's giant and I can't hit him. So ridiculous, stupid, bad, it's insanely bad hit detection. But let's just give From Software a pass and say everything they do is perfect, right? Oh, yeah. Uh. If I could actually roll on reaction, the fights wouldn't be even hard either. I rolled. I did, but it won't roll on reaction. It's too slow. I missed. The problem is you have to roll early because of the input delay. So when I have to wait and guess when he's going to actually swing. I can't swing when I see it. It won't roll fast enough. Oh my god, he's doing it infinitely. So I try every reasonable strategy. Like, oh, let me try my uh, my special ability with R2 that's doing magma damage over time. Oh, cool. Let me try this. Let me try that. Nothing works. Oh, let me just jump and mash R2. Works. There we go. So you just go behind the butt slams over and over. Wow. Amazing gameplay. So thank you to Darziak. And thank you to Jack, who both recommended running behind him. At first, I didn't think I could do it. I wish I could get behind him. I'm not fast. I'm slow. My build is that I'm slow. So I can't get behind him in time to do anything. I just have to back away. And then I realized I could. It works. Jumping attack. <laughs> jump, jump, jump. Jump some more. Oh, you come on now. Two at once. What is that? That is creepy as fuck. No, that is too creepy. Prepare for trouble. Make it double. Jesus fuck, I got pummeled with the face again. God damn this game. Wait, what the fuck? Why didn't it, the statue work? There was a boss statue outside the door. It didn't work. What the fuck? 
That doesn't even make sense. The boss statue didn't work. For no reason. I have no idea. Now I gotta go through the whole fucking dungeon again because it glitched. I don't want to do this. This is just a pain in the ass. I seriously don't want to do this. This is boring. I want to go through the whole dungeon again. I already beat it. The fucking checkpoint didn't work because of a glitch. And I gotta do the whole fucking dungeon again. This is so stupid and boring. I don't want to redo it. It's fucking so boring. So is this gonna work this time or what? It better. I don't want to run through the dungeon again. It's stupid. Not even you're in. Oh, I rolled that time. That's bullshit. I definitely rolled. Yeah, they cheated there. I rolled. Finally, the Snake America worked. Okay. You gotta wait for those interruptions between their slams. When they're slamming, they're open afterward. Okay. Wait, it didn't work. Wait, what? I said start at the stake and it starts you at the beginning of the... Again? Again, what is going on? It's a glitched dungeon. It said I want to start at the Stake of America and it starts me here. What is go this is completely fucked up. Jesus, they're du they're dunces. Seriously, what the fuck? Would you please jump towards the enemy one of these times? Thanks. This is incredibly dumb that I have to run all the way back cuz the game is glitched out. Cuz this fucking thing doesn't work. It says start at the stake. You go to the stake. Oh no. Oh, start at the beginning. Sorry, we lied. We're idiots. I missed. Shit. Goodbye. Okay, thank God I did not have to uh, do that again because I hated running through the dungeon to get to them because the stake was glitched. That was really dumb. But I'll be honest, all I can really taste is salt, a little bit of the meat flavor. Gee, I wonder why I died. Because of fucking camera. <laughs> he didn't he he didn't even kill me. He didn't even kill me. I'm I'm dodging him every time and I the camera fucking rotates in a point I can't see, and that's the end of it. Outstanding. I don't I don't get it. He's good. I almost fell. Oh wait, can you I think you can go down there. Oh, oh. No. I thought there was something down there. You know what I'm gonna do? I don't wanna die here after fucking doing all that. No I don't. You fucker, there's nothing here. Sadness. I would kneel and cry if this was real life. Where am I right now? I don't know where I am. Is this where we came in? You look pissed. I don't like the looks. It's like Mr. X coming at me here. The fuck? It did no damage. The backstab did zero. I'm out of here. The backstab did no damage. I am running. So rule of thumb, when you're playing a From Software game, and you backstab an enemy, and you do that much off of their health bar, you run. That's usually what you do. As they say, you don't have to fight every enemy you see. You just don't. That's actually very bad strategy. If it looks like someone you can logically defeat in combat, take him on. If not, run like a bitch. I don't want to see this guy strut. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get wow. Wow. Jesus. Oh. People are like, just keep skipping him, skip him, skip him. Why? As they say, you don't have to fight every enemy you see. You just don't. That's actually very bad strategy. Why? This is part of the fun of the game. Is overcoming a good a good challenge. I like this. I'm I'm getting better at it. Uh, Jesus. I got Oh Dodge, you piece of shit. If it looks like someone you can logically defeat in combat, take him on. If not, run like a bitch. No, stop it. I want to beat the boss. Can you relax? That's the name of the game. No, really. Guys. Bitch souls. Bitchy ring. <laughs> Cowardly ri The ring of cowards. Well, I want to take it on now. No! Oh, that hurt. I'm stuck in the door. I'm stuck in the door. I was stuck in the door. All right, enough of this bullshit. Now I'm getting serious. I can't beat him. I'm gonna beat him. Just relax. What's the big fucking deal? I know for a fact I'm not gonna be able to beat him because I he, he takes too much of my health. Let me fucking relax and let me beat him. There's no way. If they put it in front of me. I'm gonna fucking beat him. Fuck that. I'll never beat him. I would I would stay here for the rest of tonight trying to beat this guy. I'm okay with that. 
I'll never beat him. He hits for way too much. I'm gonna have to come back. I've never met a bigger bunch of pussies than some of these people in the stream chat. Like, just leave. You just run away. Fight him later. Go do other stuff. Come back later. Why? He just hits for so much. What it is is I'm not supposed to be here, obviously, you know? This is for later. There's no way. Stuck at the door. Again. Have you ever played a From Software game before? Have you ever played Soulsborne? This is the fun of the game. But there's absolutely no fucking way that I'm gonna be able to beat this. There's no way. I'm way under leveled. You throw yourself at it, you learn the patterns, you get better, and then you overcome. That's the fun of the game. But my god, there's no fucking way I'm gonna survive his hits. You know? But I definitely don't think we're gonna be able to beat this guy. Why would I run away like a pussy till I'm over leveled by fighting other things and then come back and steamroll it? Yeah, there's no- it's impossible. People who say that, you're a pussy. My god, you don't understand how to play these fucking games. I just definitely looks like I'm under leveled for it. This is the joy of it. Is to learn and get better and get better and get better and then overcome what you're- what you're fighting. I get hit once, I'm done. That's it. Like, literally, it's one hit. Like a bitch, like a fucking wimp. <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> Holy shit. Definitely a comeback later, boss. Why would I run like a bitch? Come back later? Fuck that. Beat him now. Okay. This is definitely a comeback. We got we need people who are who to man up on the internet. We do. Man the fuck up. Play the game, man. Play the fucking game. Don't run. Oh, I gotta run. That dragon's tough. Oh, that's definitely how stuff gets done in life. Sure. To run away from all those difficult challenges and problems, right? I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on anymore. No. You go head on, you smash your fucking head against it a million times until finally either your head explodes into a million gory pieces, or it dies. There you go. Jesus. I was holding it. Someone did give me a tip, and you should more thoroughly explore around here that there's another area here to look at. So I'm gonna do that now. What the fuck does that say? I mean, someone wiped his ass with it. Look at that. Oh shit. Yeah, that's not how you don't do it. Well, I'm fucked. Oh, now I have to drop. I had to. I already slipped. Uh, this isn't good. Oh, this is very bad. What? No. It's instant death. Yeah, you die, you die before you even fall. Now, I hope you guys don't understand why the death counter is completely fucking worthless. It doesn't mean anything. Oh, you go, you die easily. So why- wait a minute, why are these guys so low level? Right? This so- this place does not seem scaled right at all. It seems like you make one wrong turn, you're in an insanely high level part that fucks you up. Now it seems like everything- I, I just killed him so easily, right? Boost God Slayer Incantations. I don't know what a God Slayer Incantation is. God Slayer Incantations are the Black Flame. Nah. I can't even hit them. They're right in front of me and I just whip. Why am I missing? They're standing directly in front of me. I'm swinging a wide arc and it's passing through their bodies and not hitting them. Those hitboxes suck ass. You know, I understand it's three on one and they give you Scarlet Rot. That's the challenge. The challenge shouldn't be, oh, all of your attacks that should be hitting all the enemies standing in front of you with completely because they fucked up the hitboxes because they're a bunch of fucking assholes. I can't even move. And that's exactly what it is, like the ultimate challenge of not only are you at a monstrous disadvantage at all times, but now all your attacks also suck. They have to stop with that shit and make it fair. There's three giant enemies standing in front of me. I'm sure my giant swinging attack would hit one of them. Why? Why do I jump and go the other direction? That's the stupid part. I'm jumping straight at them. I jump and swing, all of a sudden you jump and you move the other direction. Because the camera rotates, and the game makes you move in a different direction, defying the laws of momentum. This is dumb. It is. It's so dumb. That, you, you know, the reach too is ridiculously stupid on that fucking spear. It doesn't look like it's going to reach you, but the fucking camera angle is so dumb that she stabs like 40 feet. Wow. How the fuck did I miss? 
That pisses me off. You tell me I fucking missed. Of course it didn't come out. I can't. It just pokes the fuck out of me. They always stay together, too. Oh, my God. See, she stays with the spear. They programmed her to stay with the spear user. That is so fucking annoying. Wow. This is terrible. What the fuck do they want me to do? They're always on each other. This is the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Wow, what a great boss fight. Two enemies that stay on each other and cover each other perfectly. Then I try to hit and that, and then it spins. When I'm supposed to have an opening, then it spins. I didn't do that. What's going on? I didn't even do that. I have no idea what happened. He just like froze in place and wouldn't move anymore. Yeah, I'm not gonna win. I'm not- Fuck this game. This is the dumbest thing. What a bunch of dumb fuck troll assholes who made this shit. Yeah, wow, well, this is a fair boss fight, all right. You fucking moronic dickheads. You fucking ass- This is total asshole. Like, how is this fun? Wow, what quality gameplay this is, right? It's real quality. Really thought out. I mean, yeah. Oh, we totally don't want to just annoy the fuck out of you. It's meant to be- It's meant to be challenging. Fucking challenge my- You're a bunch of dickheads. Fucking dickheads. What just hit me? From that far away. Jack G did a super chat. He says, the fight's designed with ashes in mind. The fight's designed with asses in mind. A bunch of fucking assholes who made it. I'm so angry. Why would you make the fight like that, you fucking jackasses? At least, okay, you're gonna fight three. Have them all have individual attack patterns that don't coincide. They literally made the attack pattern coincide so they cover each other. Couldn't hit them. Look at this. Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck your mother. Fuck your fucking mother. They did it on purpose. And the thing is, this hurts. Like, my hand now, of course have to keep running with the weird claw technique of playing the game, my hand is, is starting to hurt. So after another couple attempts, if I don't beat it, I'm not going to be able to. This serious bunch of fucking assholes. Well, I would have hit, except I got hit by the fucking spear. Yeah, so you have to use the ash summons. I don't want to, but you have to. If you don't, they're always all on you and they always defend each other. Dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. I want, I don't want to summon. I seriously don't, but I'm going to have to. Because the way they designed this boss fight, there's no way to really do it. it. Sucks ass, man. It really does suck. It's shitty. Hey, I got an idea. How do we make the game a little bit more challenging? I'll just put three of the bosses in the room instead of one or two. Well, I would have hit them right there. That's bullshit. Well, what about the fact that they're going to be, you know, completely covering each other? Making it almost impossible to hit each other? Oh, who cares? Just tell them it's fucking... It get good. It's from soft, right? That's, that's, that's high-level game programming right there. Oh, that was fair. Why did I miss? I want to die. I tried to tank it out and get a couple hits in, and they just fucking combo, combo, combo. Stupid shit. Bullshit. Look at that nonsense. Can't see where it's coming from. Can't roll out of the way. There's nothing you can do about it. It's just bad luck. It's a bad combination of attacks. Nothing you can do about it. If you just kind of circle for a while, some of them just kind of stand around. Wow, that was a great run. They really, that was fair. Immediately they aggroed to me when before they just stood around. Now they just immediately aggro to me. All do the, the attacks that lock me down and I can't get uh, stop being stun locked. Yeah, it's very fair. Very fun. I rolled, didn't work. What the fuck? A giant wind-up miss. <laughs> the targeting is terrible. The hitboxes are terrible. Fucking trash. Standing directly in front of me, giant enemy. Giant swing. Miss. Then fuck this. Why even use the weapon? Why not just fucking fart on him, right? At least you have an area of effect with your fart. This is fucking dumb, man. You know what? The, you know the reward for this will be terrible, too. You know the reward for this is going to be like 10,000 runes and a weapon I'll never use. Or a fucking spell. Nothing I can do there. You, can't, you can never dodge that crystal attack she does. No matter what, if you're running full speed one way and you dodge, it still hits you. It's completely undodgeable. They actually put a magic spell in the game that's completely undodgeable. And that's really annoying. Even if you're ready for it and you're running all around the edges of the arena, it still hits you no matter what you do. You cannot avoid that, that magic attack. 100% guaranteed hit. 
which is incredibly stupid. No, I haven't avoided them. Not once. I've never avoided them once. They always hit me. I, I dodge to the side. I always get hit by the first crystal no matter what. It always hits. There's zero way to avoid it. I don't know why they fucking made it like that, but you cannot avoid that spell. See? Hits you no matter what. You can't avoid it. This spell, even when you're running and rolling, it, she tracks, and there's a zoop, and it has an area of effect you can't get out of the way. The only thing you can do is run back from it, which is impossible when you're in a room full of them. See? Full running, dodging to the side, still get hit by the spell. Can't avoid it. Just, you just can't. It's impossible. <laughs> Oh my god, I avoided it! First time! You're not always gonna have the distance to put between you and them. And even if you do, then you're at a major disadvantage. You can't run up and hit them afterward. You basically get like one hit in and then you gotta fucking run away. There's nothing you can do about it. Super annoying. Full run to the side, full dodge to the side, still get hit by the spell because it tracks. It's so annoying. You can't backstab until they're stunned. So you have to get the armor down and then you can backstab them, but again, Everyone's trying to give recommendations, none of which are going to help. The only recommendation is use ashes. Yes, okay. Yes, using ashes will work. They will be distracted. That's a, definitely a game mechanic there. If you cannot beat a boss, you use it. What's hilarious is people are yelling, don't jump attack. You can't. You can't even hit them without the jump attack because they move too much. You see my point about non-jump attacks? It whiffed. If you don't jump attack, you won't even hit them. Oh my god! Are you shitting me? I dodge and it's still trapped. This is insane. How are people not realizing how broken that spell is? I see what I mean? I missed somehow. How did I miss? I have to do jumping attacks. The regular attacks are terrible. The regular attacks against a normal enemy, a regular attack will work. I get by the stupid ring. They're tanks. They absorb everything, and they never interrupt their animations, and they fucking just all gang pile on you if you do normal attacks. You have to use the jumping attack. Oh my fucking god, let me fucking heal! I got- <laughs> Yo! She literally just stood there and said, tracking, uh, tracking projectile, tracking projectile, tracking projectile. What do you want me to do? I can't do anything. There was nothing you could do. You couldn't ever heal because you just stood there, just kept throwing them. Never stopped. Oh my god. This is insane, this fucking bullshit. Oh my god. That's the one you just can't die. It doesn't matter what. And now Scarlet Rat from that distance. Huh? I'm not doing anything. I didn't attack. I never attacked. It queued up my attack from 100 years ago and acted like I was still attacking. What a piece of dog shit. There's nothing I can do about any of this. It's all guaranteed hit. I'm not even I'm not attacking. I attacked way before they all hit me, and the attack continuously kept trying to come out. When I only did it a, a half a second ago, it's still coming out. Somebody better call an exorcist! Yeah, so there's nothing I can do here. I just gotta get lucky. Is that spear? is ridiculously unfair and makes it insanely difficult wow that's fair i can't move what i don't know what's going on now the ring person all of a sudden decides they're gonna do a bunch of tracking attacks they've never done before <laughs> of course the ring person literally said oh you're gonna get your final hit to get rid of the armor on the mage? Well, I'm gonna fucking do a, tr a combo now that tracks you and hits you repeatedly. Well, I'm finally making use of these runes, but they're not really helping. I'm not trying to hit three to four times. At most, I'm trying to hit twice. You don't know what you're talking about. In fact, I'm not even pressing the button more than one to two times ever. Just because the game continues to do my animation doesn't mean I'm pressing the button. That's the shitty ass input cues of Elden Ring slash FromSoft games, where they purposely make your attack come out even if it's interrupted. Nothing I can do there. I said, oh, I'm gonna try to fight the spear this time. That's who you need to take out, but my god, dude. Fucking ridiculous. Watch, if I use the other weapon, it's a complete waste of my time. I'll try, but watch how bad this is. Yes! <laughs> this is a complete waste. It's underleveled. For this fight in general, this this blade is underleveled. Jad effects, please shut the fuck up. Use the wrong weapon. Use a blunt weapon. I don't have a blunt weapon. 
I don't use I don't use the blunt weapon in the playthrough, jackass. Because I don't have it. Jesus Christ, how long are you playing the game? It's like this weapon made their attack patterns change. As much as that doesn't make sense, that's exactly what's going on. This weapon it made their attack patterns change for no reason. But now I'm doing no damage, you see that? Now I'm not doing enough damage to effectively kill them. Yeah, see? Oh, what? What are you even talking about? What hit me there? See? Look at that nonsense. Are you serious? Wow. Now I died of Scarlet Rot. Who cares? Seriously, the toughest bosses in the fucking game are optional bosses that are dicks like that. What are you doing in my swamp? Look who's back. Commander O'Neill. Oh, now that's... That is some cheap bullshit. Wow, it's worse on the horse. It literally is. Got him. No, I think I'm lost. So, until I... Oh, shit. You fucking tricky son of a bitch. Take this. You mi I missed. You fucking fucker fuck. You know, them being invisible really is a pain in the ass. You fucking son of a bitch. There was another tank. There were two of them. Oh, shit. How am I missing? I hate this shit. Yeah, this place is pretty fucked up. What's funny is, you know, this is an end game. This is relatively middle game content. And it's this fucked up. Again with this stupid shit. It's a normal enemy. And it can hit you like that. I can't even move. A normal fucking enemy can do that shit. Oh my god, you ass. Is it gonna be a boss room? Wait a minute. It's gonna be a boss room, isn't it? They're gonna make me fight him. Oh shit. Because I want the item. But watch them make me fu fuck this. I'll come back later. No, stop it. I want to beat the boss. Can you relax? I want to get a plunging attack on him if I can. Get a cheap hit to start. I've got an idea! Actually, could I just cheese him with magic? Wait a minute, I can. Dark side cheese? I got- hey! <laughs> oh, no. Then how do I start this thing? I got- I'm running out of time. How do I fucking start this? Bullshit. Now Mr. Ritubi, $1.50 and said, heads up. The Radon Battlefield, you're gonna see several NPC summon signs. You can summon them all at once. The entire fight is built around this very mechanic. Trolls will try to convince you not to do it, but you'll hate yourself if you do because it's supposed to be you and a group against them. All right. I, I agree with everyone here that that is stupid. That was bad. There's really, and that sucks. Like, what can you even do about that? Nothing, damn. Yeah, there's supposedly a hidden catacomb out here. I'm aware of this because it was actually put on social media. Uh, a bit ago, like a week or two ago, someone had posted about that, so I already knew about it. But most people didn't know about it until uh, someone posted about it on Twitter that everyone's like, oh, and everyone went and did it. Swagman says, Radon's armor is some of the best in the game. The headpiece is what you see a lot of people using, mainly the dickheads in PvP. People are screaming at me. They're saying, hey, you gotta go back, because apparently now something has changed here since you beat Radon. Oh, what? I couldn't see this stupid fucking thing. Yeah, that's bullshit. How is that my fault that the camera rotated around the fucking corner, right? The camera rotated around the corner, I couldn't see anything. Like, okay, that's fair. How'd I miss? Alright, this is bullshit. The dude's directly in front of me, I slam the ground in front of him, no hit. And then I get ganked from behind. This whole dungeon is fucking stupid shit. Holy shit, man. This is dumb shit. Oh, why are they all doing so much damage to me now? Man increasing damage taken just doesn't seem like something I'm interested in. This is insane. Every enemy does, does ridiculous damage to me now. Why is the Radon boss fight so easy, yet every enemy in here hits me for 80% damage with one hit? Oh, that's really scaled well. I rolled, it still hit me. I rolled perfectly, and the tail still hit me. Stupid. 
I rolled. I definitely fucking rolled. I rolled. I'm rolling through that, and it's still hitting me. I rolled, dude. <laughs> Every time he does a big sweeping attack, I'm rolling through it, and the game says, Oh, you delayed it. No, I didn't. Your fucking inputs are delayed, you stupid fucking game. I know how to beat this guy. I beat him twice already. So dumb. Completely stupid. Like, I know how to beat him. He's pretty easy. Almost all of his attacks are telegraphed for a very long time. All I need is for the roll to come out when I push the button. Nope. So I gotta guess and I gotta press it early because of the fucking stupid input delay. I would go as far to say it's harder for someone like me to play a game like this because after playing Street Fighter for so long, having a game where the, all the inputs are actually delayed distinctly is a major pain in the fucking ass. It just is. Like, give me my move when I push the button. And it doesn't. It's that stupid. Jeez. I rolled! I absolutely rolled! And it didn't fucking roll! That is complete bullshit. I fucking pressed right and roll, and it doesn't roll. What a piece of shit. 100% bullshit. I definitely fucking rolled. But when it takes this long to roll... Literally, I press the button, release the button, wait, and then he rolls. Yeah, there's an issue there. Incredibly fucking stupid. Oh, I couldn't see! Are you shitting me? The camera rotated in a way I couldn't see the boss. How the fuck is that my fault? Oh my god. The beginning of the fight, the camera rotates and puts the boss off screen. And then I can't fucking see what's going on. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Roll. Oh, I'm actually behind the tail. I was behind the tail, and it spins around and hits me anyway. Oh, God. You got me. The wall was in the way. It's not cheap. The bite isn't cheap. The bite's easy to dodge if the fucking game works. If the camera will fucking stay where it's supposed to, if your button rolls come out when you push the button, it's actually not a big deal. But they designed these bosses around actual responsiveness that doesn't exist in the fucking game. And I got a golden seed. Maybe every time you beat them, you get a golden seed. Maybe. So, anyone know how to activate this fucking castle so I don't waste all my time? I'd like to just do it so I can fight it. This is completely... Bye. I said bye! Grant me strength. Weapon buff. Flask of Tears. Flask of Wondrous Physic. Now we are ultra buff. I can't move. I didn't jump! I didn't jump! That was impressively bad. He's not gonna come down, is he? Uh... Oh! He has a different attack. That goes super fat far that I didn't know. Oh. That's a big rock cloud he's shooting at me, and I got rock. There's nothing I can do about it, because I can't get away because of the way that it's set up here. If he was on flat ground, I could have got away. I can't get away when he's up, up there, you know? Got him. Easy. Like I said, the only challenge is the rock. Are you oh, kidding me? Oh. He dies. The ultimate fuck you. I'm stuck in the wall. I'm gonna die. I'm stuck in the fucking wall. Stupid fucking room. The room sucks. I didn't jump. I rolled and he jumped instead. The fingers you have used to dial are too fat. Okay. I'm not gonna be able to beat him. The damage output is still ridiculous. I, I, if he hits me once and takes 50-60% of my health, I, I can't beat him. I couldn't roll all of a sudden? Wow. Yeah, look. It's preventing me from rolling and, do and healing now. <laughs> what the fuck? What? Hit, hit. Jesus fuck, dude. Yeah, I can't beat him yet. I gotta come back later again. Stupid. Why the damage output is out of control. There's no reason at this point in the game for him to be in this tower and doing that damage output. Ridiculous. I'll, I'll come back later. What am I gonna do, right? So there's like 13,000 souls in there or whatever. I don't give a fuck. I really don't. It's fucking bullshit. Oh, uh, apparently it's not a very hungry bear, right? Oh shit! Oh my god, it roars and hits you. He hits me. All right, this is dumb. His hitbox is coming out of his ass and shit. All right, you know what? You can have your fucking cave, you asshole. I 
don't even know what just happened there. I can't move. <laughs> I look like it's stun locked somehow. Alright, I'm a fucking wolf of all things. What is going on? I'm getting hit. I don't know why what and I can't I can't heal. Oh my god. Are you serious? He has homing projectiles. He sits in the back of the room just tossing homing projectiles at you. And every one of them hits you. Every single one of them hits you and you can't get away from it. What the fuck is that stupid shit? He just stood he's just stood just there. Okay. What exactly would you like me to do about that? I can't heal because he's throwing the projectiles. I can't move! I'm stuck on- look at this! I was stuck on that rock. Wow. Dude, pride rock! That tiny little fucking rock. The funny part is these enemies are weak, but they deal too much damage. It's almost like instead of scaling it properly, which should have been, okay, if you're under leveled for this area, you shouldn't be dealing enough damage to fight them. I'm dealing tons of damage, but they are also doing insane damage to me. So it's every, like everyone is weak as fuck when it comes to your own defense, but everyone's powerful as fuck when it comes to the melee. Like what is going on here? I've never experienced this in a From Software game before, where everyone can just do insane damage, but everyone's a weakling. I've never seen this before. It's an interesting build for sure, but I don't know how much I like it, because obviously I don't like getting one or two shotted every single enemy, and it just keeps happening. It won't let me hit him! He's right in front of me! That's what I did! And mine whiffed, inexplicably. I'm not doing this! I'm trying to jump, he wouldn't jump. It missed! Are you shitting me? My hitbox is going right through him, and I can't hit him. Fuck you. I'm not doing this, I'm trying to go back to magic builds. And it's fucking doing that. My hitbox keeps going through him. That's not my fault. I'm way into his body, way into his body, and it won't let me hit him. It's a fucked up hitbox. Twice that happened, he's wide open, and I'm slamming, and he goes right through his body and does no damage. So fuck this. You wanna fucking fuck, fuck around and be a pain in my fucking ass and cheat? You could go fuck yourself. Fucking stupid fucking game is gonna be full of shit and cheat me out of my victory. No, I don't think so. I was trying to be fun and ha use the worm fucking sword. Fuck this. Oh, you just keep missing. You keep missing! Yes, my giant fucking sword keeps missing. Didn't want to have to do it, but the game wanted to piss me the fuck off. Fuck that shit. I really don't enjoy having to do that, but what am I gonna do when the game wants to keep fucking being a, a, a cheating pain in the ass? You guys are all talking about stuff, you're spoiling the game, and you need to shut the fuck up. I was like, you gotta fight this boss, for a certain boss, I don't even know what you're talking about. You're spoiling the game for the streamer, shut the fuck up. And stop being whiny and demanding about what I should absolutely need to do tomorrow when I play. When I don't even know what you're talking about. Grow up or get out. And I mean it. Because if I see that kind of spoiling again, you're out of here permanently. This is, it's pissing me off that people keep spoiling the fucking game for me. Jesus Christ. Like, common sense. Don't fool, fucking spoil a game for the streamer, man. Another stray demon. Exactly. Same boss again. I remember I was supposed to go behind him, but I couldn't because I have no health. I missed. How am I missing? It doesn't even make sense. There's a giant boss standing in front of me, and my attack misses repeatedly. Yeah, this is dumb. Disappointing. This, this, this weapon is bad against bosses. It's good against regular enemies. It's absolutely terrible against bosses. It misses consistently now. 
consistent whiffing. <laughs> Once again, everything one-shots me. I can't dodge it. I try, and it always hits me no matter how I time it. I couldn't get behind him. I tried. Earlier, the earlier one, you could run right behind him and get several shots on him. This time I'm doing it, it just it fucking tracks and doesn't let me go behind him. I wonder if it's di a different attack with him, if they change it to track. How on earth does it track in midair, by the way? Just think about that. He jumps and against all logic, not to say this game is logical, but he changes direction in midair and, and changes the trajectory of his butt stomp. How? How? How does he do that exactly? Am I not two-handing? I'm not! Why not? I never... Oh my god. I never undid my two-hand. Yeah. Somehow it undid the two-handing during the fight, even though I never undid it. I need to lure him away, because now I can't get behind him when he does the stomp. Why did I just get hit? There was nothing there. Suspicious. I rolled, you fucking piece of shit! Roll! It won't roll! It's so delayed, I can't fucking roll. I missed. It missed for no reason. What a pain in the dick. I can't kill that guy in the basement. God skin dick face, or whatever his name is. Jack G, who says, Apostle is the boss in the tower you're fighting. No, he's not. His name was like God skin something. That was not Apostle. We got the smaller bridge. I cannot believe you committed suicide. How could you have done this? How could you have committed suicide? That was stupid. That was absolutely stupid. That did not at all look like I was gonna die from that fall. I would argue that's pretty deceptive when you don't, you can't tell when you're gonna die from a fall or not. He says, if you wanna see if a fall is lethal or not, throw a rainbow stone. If the stone does not break, you'll survive it. This game has so many items, I literally don't know what I do with 99% of them. Are you kidding me? They put my souls up there. Fucking idiots. That's really fucking stupid. They put my souls over here, so I gotta climb up to get them? Wow, you guys are- st that was really dumb. Alright, fuck it. We're out of here. There's nothing to do. It's too boring. I'm tired of seeing the same fucking dragon fight over and over. You fuck. Take this. I missed. Take this, I said. Ah! I got 30,000 freaking souls and, uh... Oh no! Oh no! 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 <laughs> He must be like level 400 or some shit. How much HP could he possibly have? Apparently a hell of a lot. What the fuck? What the fuck? He's me? What the fuck? This guy's got a face fused to- It's- ah! Oh! It's my face! Whoa! Did so much damage, dude. Are you serious? He is me. He doesn't jump attack enough. He got all his fucking health back. Now I can never beat him. That's such horseshit. Why did they make this a boss fight? How am I supposed to beat him? This is complete garbage. This is dumb. I'm gonna have to unplug my PlayStation. I have to game generate someone. Because this is completely unfair. Fuck this. Watch this. You want fucking cheat, huh? That was easy. You want fucking cheat? Now watch this. What I'm curious about is people had told me that Mimic Tear is an ability that you can get that's incredibly overpowered, and apparently they they nerfed it. So I don't know it, when you get it. I mean, that was obviously what it was supposed to be. Okay, Jad effects says it actually works. There's items below. How could that work? What are you gonna land on? Only if you land on like the columns, maybe. <sighs> Maybe now the fucking point of grace will work and then I can go on break. How do I get down there? It looks like I'm gonna die, right? No matter what, it looks like I'm gonna die unless I land dead on the column, which I don't think I can do. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow, so just do it! Oh, no. Oh, well that was convenient. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Wow, how did that miss? Ha <laughs> ha! Seriously? I didn't mean to interrupt, but uh, I got some, some work to do here, alright? 
If you could get out of my fucking way, fucking asshole. I want to die. I definitely roll. I rolled through it perfectly and it still hit. The game is so full of shit. Of course I did. Of course that hits from that range, right? How close were you to the big real close? Huh? What killed him? I'm being told you could have examined him again. Uh, Alright, I'll go back. This is so stupid. Why is the game not fucking just do something originally? Yeah, I want to stand here mashing the button ten times in front of his dead fucking body, stupid game. So dumb. You're like, examine him. Why didn't you examine him? Because I looted him. And if the game had something to say, it should have fucking said it. <laughs> stupid shit. So dumb. We'll go back. I'm so... I, I really hate the cryptiness of the bullshit they put in this game. So fucking stupid. Oh, you defeated the boss where you're actually supposed to spin on its corpse 14 times, hop on one foot, piss, shit, vomit, and then fucking a, a little bug will come out of it. You eat the bug, and then you can crap out a fucking weapon. Oh, these quest lines are fucking weird and annoying and so cryptic. You want to know what I'm going to do? Nothing, right? I already did it. I already did that. What you're telling me to do, I've already done. I don't know where the fuck it is. I don't know where to go. If you want to tell me exactly where to teleport and how to get to it, thanks. Outside of that, I don't give a fuck. Oh! I don't know. I don't know. I don't think... I don't, unless... I have no idea. I don't know. Oh, come on! Oh, what the... By the way... Without help, I don't know how anyone could find any of this. I just don't. You would have to be wasting so much of your time fucking about until you finally figure any of this shit out. I have been enjoying watching some other content creators play this game well behind me. I'm not spoiling myself on any content. Right. I'm watching them explore, uh, you know, just the way that I did, but I'm, they're way behind me. Right. Jesus, fuck. This range is ridiculous. I really can't hit him. I seriously can't. Like, he's right in front of me, he's giant, and I swing and miss every time. I roll through his attack, his attack spins three times and still hits. Yeah, this is dumb. There's challenge and then there's stupid, and it's just dumb. Like, you can't hit the fucking giant enemy in front of you, no matter what. But every swing he has hits you. Like, literally every swing. So here's what I'm gonna do. Fuck this. I don't care. He's a fucking asshole. I rolled. I still got hit anyway. Look, I still got hit anyway. He's a shit. Yeah, I'm, de I'm definitely not gonna beat this guy now. Of course I whiff. But look how far away he is and it hits me perfectly, right? And then I try to roll, and I can't roll because I'm recovering from drinking. It takes that fucking long. The damage output is preposterous. Preposterous for this fucking thing. I'll try it a few more times, but likely it's gonna come back later when we're higher level. Nothing you can do. It's this fucking ridiculously broken. How did I miss? I'm right in front of him, and I missed. Jeez, what an attack pattern. I'm not doing this. I never even did that attack. How did I miss? How did I miss? He's right in fucking front of me. This is the dumbest fight. How did he hit me? I gotta get more health, by the way. I gotta get rid of my uh, magic flask and start putting into the healing flask so I have more. I can't jump. You know why? Because my stamina's not coming back. You notice that? I'm not even attacking. My stamina's not coming back. Where the fuck is it going? So for some odd reason, I'm not getting my stamina back. I don't know why, but I wasn't getting it back at all. Which makes no fucking sense. I should have been gaining it back and I wasn't. Yeah, that's fair. He hits me with a, a back-up stab, and I can't get out and do anything about it. He threw the follow-up, because you can't roll out of it. I, I fucking pressed it. As soon as I saw the red, it didn't roll. Fucking monster delay piece of shit. 
I didn't- I pressed jump, he never jumped. Wow, that's really fucking fun and fair, isn't it? <laughs> so, at any time, if he wants to do a double stab, you just die. Oh, oh, oh. That's challenge, man. Challenge. I rolled, it didn't roll. I definitely fucking pressed it. I'm dead. <laughs> it's so dumb because he's not- I tell you right now, he's not a hard boss. The problem is his damage output and the sluggish controls. If I could dodge his attacks, I would not ever get hit at all. But every time I press dodge, it's so delayed. And it also seems like for some odd reason, my stamina takes fucking forever to come back. I don't know why. It didn't seem to be that bad in the rest of the game. But now I'm fighting this guy. It's like, you're a fucking slug everything you do. Like you're in slow-mo. I rolled. As soon as I saw the swing, I rolled. This guy hit anyway. Oh, that's fair. How the fuck did I miss? He's an insanely huge enemy standing in front of me. You missed. My jump attack never came out. I... That was a one-hit kill. That was a one-hit kill. Until I have more health, it's just not a viable boss fight. He's doing way too much damage. The game claims I miss a giant enemy standing directly in front of me. Like, literally, he's right in front of me and you're whiffing. Like, get the fuck out of here. It's just more bullshit. You know, he does thrust attacks that aren't super effective. Like, I can kind of get out of the way of them. Ooh, that was a good one. He's charging up. Oh, shit. Whoa, he got even fatter. Ew! Oh, no! No, come on. How am I supposed to take that seriously? I can't concentrate when I can know he can turn into that. Oh, come on. Just kill me. I tried to roll. Really, I did. Doubtful. Tried to roll there. Did not work. Good thrust. Yo, this guy's great. Yo, this is the best enemy design. I love this guy. It's hilarious. Why couldn't all the enemies in the game be like this? Ah, shit. That hurt. Oh, the range! Oh, I interrupted it. The real danger here is this, the, the bridge. Because if you're the wrong angle, then you can't get you can't get out of the way of the thrust. He's gonna roll out! Roll out! Roll out! Oh, roll out! I'm gonna need more healing! Oh, the belly bounce! Oh, another belly roll out! Jesus! <laughs> I love it! Look at that chunk! Alright, I like this enemy, I like this fight. It's not, a, it's not a boss, but you can tell he's supposed to be a boss. And I wonder if you fight him as a boss in another part in the game. And this is supposed to be the second time you encounter him as a normal enemy. I definitely like the, uh, the enemy. Obviously, I'm gonna switch my weapon now. We're getting to serious business here. Let's just fuck him up with the halberd, which is gonna actually have a better hitbox anyway. And uh, better buffs too. So also let's reassign my flasks. That sucked ass. Ultimate insta-kill of Flubber. That was great. Do you see the difference between a boss fight that's challenging but fair and fun? Versus a boss fight that's just a bunch of fucking bullshit. Try the projectile weapon. I think what they're saying is you could snipe the sorcerer from a- <laughs> The rat was completely invisible. I didn't see it at all. Oh my god! What the fuck? I rocked him. Oh, he rocked me! So if I'm interested, if I hit a wall and I want to try to get like the level 8 stuff, I think it's in that area. How do I know? As I said, you know, I'm watching some other people who played this game and gone to the areas I've already gone. And I'm basically get finding, oh, I missed this, I missed that. Oh, I stopped it in his trap. This is exactly how you're supposed to beat it, so it doesn't hit you. It's Vlad. Oh, 
two hit kill. How does it miss? I don't think that they're terribly garbage. I just think that certain bosses, they're absolutely stupid. Like, the, the boss hitbox is a realistic hitbox, while you trying to hit the boss is ridiculous. Like, the boss is giant. How are you swinging and missing? It's right in front of your face. It doesn't make any sense at all in that regard. Do you think people are burnt out on open world games? Yes. At least of the standard formula. People are not burnt out of an open world game like this that's incredibly challenging. People are burnt out on the formulaic, oh, go here, do a quest, go here, do a quest, match, do the quest, do the quest, follow, follow the icon, do the quest, do the quest, do the quest. They are definitely bored of that. Of course. I can't hit him. I can't hit him! They won't let me fucking hit him! Are you fucking kidding me? They wouldn't let me hit him. He literally interrupted me every chance I had to hit him. I'm s over 60 hours into Elden Ring, and I'm not crafting anything in the game. I feel that the crafting is there so that people later on who want to do challenge runs, for most people, it's not a big deal and they'll never use that shit. But if you want to challenge yourself, obviously, it's cool to have those options. But for me, I look at it and I'm like, dude, I don't care about crafting. None of those items are any use to me. People, every single time I've ever played a From Software game, say that I looked up a guide before the stream because they're fucking assholes. I mean, that's really the only explanation for it. They're legit assholes who don't want to believe that I could actually, like, explore and discover and do things right when I play a game. So I just disregard all the assholes and say, go fuck yourself. Maximilian explores as much as you. His chat never says this stuff, but I don't think he's the same energy. Because, because again, I have this, sadly, I have this, this trollish, idiotic following of people who are only here to basically insult me and make fun of me. And they always show up for these playthroughs and it's fucked up. It really is fucked up because, like I told you guys, I have absolutely watched top players top pro level players who play this shit do exactly the same things I'm doing if not even to a more extent you know people super duper over level in their first runs going through this stuff doing this stuff they get zero criticisms for this stuff but I have to take it right I'm the one who has to get abused and be told that I'm a shithead and I'm a, I'm a cheater and it's like fuck I don't give a fuck about those people anymore I just don't do I want to fight the guy in the rot? No, I'm not going to. Fuck it. If you don't like it, tough shit. Here, you want to fucking do it yourself? Buy the game, get to this lake of rot, and go fight that guy. He can go fuck himself. I I know my own shortcomings. These guys are assholes. I got the items. I know one of them was a smithing stone. My fucking mouse isn't working right. Oh, great. He has a grab attack. At least I healed right before it. But he's munching. Oh, instant kill. That was delicious. Yo, I love the magic attacks he has. They're pretty Ah, he got me from behind. He teleported behind me and ate me. When you see the same enemy so many times, it just loses its appeal. Like, I have no desire to fight those fucking dragons. Why do I care? It's a fucking dragon. I've seen it a million times. They really should have done a better job, I feel. It's like, I don't, I really don't care anymore. Like, I don't even care. They're boring. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wish that there were more unique enemies. Just It just feels like they're kind of giving up and reusing assets at this point. He's fast. And very damaging. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Look how dumb this is. A hundred generic dragons. Big fucking deal. So how do I get down here and not take fall damage? Oh, shut up. Ow! Shit! Wait a minute, that's like twice as deep as I thought it was. It's so dumb, they really want you to fight those dragons and waste your time and be bored. Oh! They really want that. I guess you just have to be prepared to die. This is really stupid. Because this is the FromSoft formula that's not fun. Oh, you already beat these guys a million times, but for some odd reason, these versions absorb everything and do insane damage for no reason, even though you've beaten this enemy a million times before. It's not fun to fight an ultra supercharged version of the same fucking generic boring enemy. If you want to have tough enemies, make new ones. Not reuse the same enemy you fought 27 times as a tougher version that's boring as shit to fight. It's just not fun at all. It's actually quite tedious. And how much you want to bet, even if I kill these dragons and the Crystallians, the, the reward will be terrible. It'll be like 2,000 runes each. It's I'll, I'll be honest with you, it's lazy game design. And I think that a lot of people like this game a ton and they're kind of like giving it a pass. But I don't like this. I don't like lazy game design and that's exactly what we're seeing right here. Why am I losing my entire health bar to one hit? Why is this happening right now? It doesn't even make sense. They're not tough enemies. What the fuck?
I'm not even- I'm not doing this! I'm seriously not! All I wanted to do is get up and roll away and heal and it's rolling multiple times and the inputs are fucked up. This is so stupid. Oh my god, this whole area is the dumbest part of the game so far. I hate to say it, it's really stupid. It's not fun at all. I don't want to fight a million tank enemies you can't hurt, right? I don't want to waste my time. I've already fought them before and know exactly what they are. The reward's gonna be shit. This is- I'm just running past all of it. I don't even care. It's badly designed. Incredibly badly designed. Fucking dumb asses. Oh, that's fun, huh? Yeah. Zero effort. So it is. It's a zero effort area. Everything is reused. It looks exactly like Limgrave. Only they put high level enemies in that for some reason hit you for 50 to 60% damage a hit. Or more in the case of the fucking dragon. It's like, wow. You really didn't try at all, did you? So what is this? Hello there. Oh, now the wolf respawns? Are you fucking for real? Could you possibly reuse anything else? Wow, they really didn't try. This is the complete absence of effort. Right! Look at this shit. Yo, this is the worst part of the game. Right now, this is literally the worst part of the game I've seen so far. Which is a shame. Wait, is that where I even was? I don't even know. Yeah, I guess that's where I was, right? The three? That must be it right there. I think? Maybe? I don't even know. Was that it? I don't even know if that's where I was because I can't open the map when I'm over there. Sure. No, there's more? Oh, see, I'm being told there's more. Okay. Why do they- what are they thinking? Seriously. That's just annoying. Why'd they even bother with, with- with- you know what I mean? Like, very lazy. Just fucking work! It won't work. Work. Jesus, what a bunch of assholes. Like, I have no clue what's going on. I'm stuck in the wall! Are you kidding? Look where they put me. I was so close. And the fucking stupid game puts me against the fucking rocks and I can't move. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm being told there's a, a dragon- A dragon boss back at where I was. Oh boy, a dragon boss. How unique. Oh, shit! Oh, come on! How much you want to bet now? We're going to be massively overleveled for the story because I did all the side content of the game. I almost guaranteed I'm going to be kicking everything's ass. Everyone will complain. It's like, yeah, but the side content's there for a reason. You know, what am I supposed to just ignore the side content? Like, it was fun, too. I like this side content. These unique dungeons and stuff has been good. I've actually had a good time with it. So I'm happy I did it. You know, I don't know what's going to happen next. I could beat him. I could definitely beat him now. I rolled, and it didn't re fucking register at all. Bullshit. I rolled, as soon as he landed, I rolled through it, and he fucking hit me anyway. Never registered my roll. I hate that. Because he stabs, and then he pulls, and it's three hits, even though it looks like two. There's three hits there. There's the initial stab. He grabs it like he's gonna pull, and that's a hit. And then he pulls it, and there's another hit. It's a three-hit attack that looks like two. And I don't know how you can roll three times through it. You just gotta kind of be out of the- out of the- the- the way of it. Come on, now this is just getting stupid. Yes, I'm just gonna insta-kill you. I have insane health insta-kill. I'm serious, these fights like this are not fun. That at any time the boss can do a two to three hit attack that's- This is an insta-kill. Well, I don't wanna play- I don't wanna fight him then. Seriously, I don't wanna fight you if you're gonna do that and now there's no chance of me even coming back from it. Like, fuck this. It's so stupid. Look out, at any moment I do insta-kill, but I may never use it and that way you'll just win instantly. I rolled sideways and instead he rolled back, which I didn't do. I held right and circle and the game rolled me in the wrong direction. That attack, there's something about that stab and pull attack that doesn't function right according to how you want to do stuff to it. I can't seem to get out of the way of it. If I'm mid-range and he does it, it always hits twice and I can't get out of it. Even when I know it's coming, I see it. Okay, I want to roll to the right instead of back. I roll to the back. I'm not fucking doing that. How did that miss? I went straight through his body. Zero hit detection. Still hits me even though I rolled out of the way. Tracks and hits. Fuck this. Fuck you. All right, I'll do it. I, I'm already out of time. I've been out of time for 10 minutes. It's stupid. It really is. It's not a hard boss at all. It really isn't. The problem is his damage output is absolutely insane. For no good reason, he's doing insano damage to you. Even my insanely big health bar, he does insano damage to you. It's not the attack pattern that's annoying, it's the damage output. Because every time you fight in a game like this, you're gonna get hit. I dodged that, and it did not react when I pressed the button. I love it. So delicious. So delayed. It's okay. 
then you recover. This boss is just a fucking pain in the ass. He will just insane damage at any moment. Oh, I'm going to hit you twice. Your whole bar is gone. Oh, you want to roll? Well, you won't roll the way you want. Even though I'm stabbing straight and you press right and circle, when you do it, he'll roll the wrong direction and get hit two, three times and you die instantly, you know? I'm definitely beating him next time, tomorrow. Bye-bye! Well, that sucked ass. So where is he? What'd I just do? I accidentally summoned. I didn't mean to. It was a complete accident. Where are you, fucker? I summoned the Mimic? Yo, I totally didn't mean to do that. It's a complete accident. I did not mean to do this. Who is that? Is that me? It is me. It's the Mimic. A complete mistake. Why isn't he hurting me at all? Well, I don't want to hear it. That people tell me that I cheated here. I didn't mean to do this. It was an accident. I swear. <laughs> And I beat him by accident. I summoned completely by accident. This is stupid. This is so stupid. He's insanely huge and 90% of my attacks miss. Great view right there. 90% whiff through his body. <laughs> I have an amazing black flame move I can only use once when he's not facing me. I can't ever hit him with it again because all my attacks whiff. It doesn't make any sense that they made the fucking game like this. It really doesn't. Like, he's a giant boss. How could you miss him ridiculously amounts? Like... <laughs> this sucks ass. Are you fucking shitting me? You're already dead. This sucks. Come on. This is so ridiculously unfair. If they would just let me hit the guy standing in front of me, he would have been dead ten fucking times already. I can't see. What happened? The camera is locked and wouldn't rotate. Couldn't roll. I rolled as soon as he struck. This is just terrible. It really is. It makes no sense. The sword literally goes through his body repeatedly and doesn't ever hit him. This is so dumb. Oh my god. Not beating him this time. Too many completely unfair hits. Oh, really? Completely unfair cheap hits. Dodging, nope, hits through the dodge. Trying to hit him, nope, you pass through him. It's just dumb. I dodged right there, I pressed it. The game's full of shit. It's no, there's nothing super challenging about this boss. It's the fucking garbage fucking game engine. Oh, you pass through him constantly. Oh, your roll gets hit out of. Whatever. Let me do this with responsive controls and actual legit hitboxes. I beat him on the first try. Seriously. It's nothing even challenging. It's it fucking nothing works. Everything misses. How did that fucking miss? He's right in front of me. The sword goes through his fucking body. Fuck you, FromSoft. Fix your fucking game, you fucking morons. Why does everything pass through him? Jesus, fuck you guys are stupid. God damn! Make the fucking hitboxes work! Roll! Fucking dumb! Just work! Just work when I press the button and hit when I swing! It's not fucking rocket science, it's a fucking combat game! Let the combat work! It missed again! The sword missed again? It did! 
He missed again! He's right in front of me! He's right the fuck there! He missed again! This is complete shit! I can't believe how bad I'm. this is! He's literally standing in front of me! How is the sword missing? I'm at a loss! I don't understand this. You got bamboo. I rolled! I fucking rolled! This sucks. It's just not fun. There's challenge and then there's fucking a game that works. It doesn't fucking work. <laughs> He's right there! Pass through. Pass through. Pass through! <laughs> Pass through! Just go right through his body a hundred times. Fuck this game. Are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> Yo, it's so laughably bad. It's so laughably bad. The hitboxes are fucking terrible garbage. Roll! Doesn't roll on reaction. It rolls super late. The boss isn't hard. The game's hitboxes are fucking atrociously bad. The boss broadcasts all of his moves. But you can't ever hit him after because all your moves whiff. And then if you get too close, he immediately recovers and hits you for 90% damage. I'm roll- I'm rolling right through it. I pressed it during the swing. Hits me anyway. So the only reason the boss is tough is because the hitboxes are bad. It's literally the only reason there's challenge to the boss. If the hitboxes worked right, the boss would be a pushover. What a fucking joke. This is terrible garbage. The game is... I hate to say it, like, every big boss fight in the game sucks. All the little boss fights are completely legitimate. Every big boss fight is shit. Because every big boss fight is like this. The hitboxes are laughably bad when you're fighting something giant. The game doesn't account for the size differential. So, it just allows you to... It, his, his hurt box is huge for his swings, and his hitbox is small. He has a small hitbox on his body, which makes no fucking sense. He's a giant enemy. Why shouldn't he have a giant hitbox? They shrunk it to make it completely one-sidedly unfair. It's not fair. It's completely broken. Stupid as fuck shit. And the rolls don't come out. He can move fast and swing fast and do 80-90% damage a hit. When you go to roll around it, it doesn't work. I can't see what happened. Nice camera. Look, the camera won't focus on him. It literally twice rotated away from him. The roll is so delayed, you have to wait for a slowly broadcasted move. You can't roll on reaction in this game because the lag is so bad. The input delay is so bad that you can't actually play it like an action-based game. You have to know what's coming or predict what's coming and guess correctly to dodge anything. It's completely broken. I rolled. I fucking rolled forward. Nothing. Roll! Why won't you roll when I press it? What the fuck? Are you fucking shitting me? Now it's gonna do this. Oh, fuck you. Dude, fuck this. Are you shitting me? I'm doing this well, and the fucking game is gonna have this happen now. What a piece of fucking shit game. Missed. Impossibly missed. <laughs> this game is terrible. This is garbage. It's not a it's not a tough fight. It's every single circumstance against you. Let's make it so that you're fighting on a staircase. There's enemies below that will attack you from behind. All the hitboxes suck. He hits you for 90% damage. It's like, could you possibly make it a worse fight? No, really. Could you maybe like fuck with it a little more? Why don't you make it so that while it's raining, there's acid rain that also slowly drains your health? Why doesn't the ground randomly break and make you fall through and you die? Right? Like, seriously, could you possibly make it more annoying instead of fun? I can't even- look what happened. Where's the camera? The camera will not focus on the boss. Roll! It won't fucking roll. 
Half the time when I do something, the game doesn't do it. It's so delayed. It's not fun. Give me a fucking responsive working game. Please. Anything. The boss is not tough. The game is shit. Roll! Didn't roll. <laughs> I wanted to dodge the last hit and counter hit him. Can't roll. Doesn't come out. Roll. Doesn't roll. I roll and still get hit because he's standing on the fucking gravestone and won't come down. Look at this. <laughs> Fuck it. This is so stupid. This is so not fun. It's just not. Give me a challenging fight where it's a fair fight. Don't give me, oh, everything doesn't work in the game. It's all wonky shit. And that's all this fight is. The entire fight is wonky. Completely stupid. I want to beat him before I go on break, but man, this is so dumb. It's hilarious because this game at some times is very fun. And at other times it's like not fun at all. And this is one of the times it's like the, the absence of any kind of entertainment value. It's like, could you please punish me more for wanting to play a good game? Thanks. Thanks for the punishment. I really appreciate that. Dodge this. Roll! I try to roll forward on the fifth hit so I could counter hit him. It won't roll. Roll! Do something when I press the fucking button, but stand there. Of course. I, I just give up at this point. Like, it's if the game's so unresponsive, why bother? Can't I can't even get to him. His range is insane. I can't get to him to counter hit him when he whips. Roll. I knew I could do it. He's he's fast as fuck for a big guy. For you. You know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to time my roll so I can hit him after with the flame. It's just not even possible. It's just not even possible. Because he's so he fucking recovers so fast. I'm just gonna let him kill me. I don't care. I'm gonna let him kill me and start over. There's no way I'm gonna come back with this. It's so bad. A boss that broadcasts everything, and by all rights, you should be able to dodge every single attack he does and punish it. And you can't because the game's inputs are so delayed and the hitboxes are so bad. There's literally nothing bad about this boss at all. It's perfectly fine, except the game mechanics don't work. <laughs> it's so bad, man. I can't hit him. I seriously can't punish it. I never pressed the- I pressed the button once, he attacked twice. I pressed it once. Can't do anything. I rolled, he hits me out of the roll. What the fuck? I have no idea. I was dodging. I rolled. I absolutely rolled when I saw him lift up. Didn't come out. Monster delay. Roll! I can't dodge the fifth hit. It comes out so fast, the game won't let you roll through it. Completely fucking broken. Why? Why I get hit? I don't know. I can't- Dude! What the fuck? I'm directly in front of him. The game won't let me hit him. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm literally right there. Roll stab. Stab goes through the body completely. Zero hit detection. Zero. This is so dumb. Uh, an anonymous tibber says, if you have trouble rolling, why don't you use a shield instead of two-handing? Because I don't have the fucking build for it, genius. Alice, tell him on to me $1.50 and says, summon the mimic and kill him. He wants me to cheese him out, which I don't want to do, obviously. Because, yes, the mimic would absolutely destroy him. It would distract him. I'd be able to hit him. And I, Leviathan Titan, says, you got to accept defeat. No, I don't. Fuck off. Thanks for the tip. It's like running your head against the fucking wall. Over and over and over. Until finally the game works, and then you win the fight. Because there's nothing to do with me not knowing how to win. It has nothing to do with me, you know, not understanding the fight. It has everything to do with the game being fucking stupid as shit. My trigger dropped. I pressed R2, it did nothing at all. My trigger completely dropped. It's pretty remarkable. Can't see. Why am I crouching? Didn't do that. Mm, is this 
suspicious. Dang. Wow, I got lucky. Couldn't see anything because of the fucking terrain. Got super lucky. Fuck you, you stupid, broken ass fucking enemy. Completely stupid. God, that was stupid. That was so dumb. Seriously, that boss rattled my brain to the point where, like, <laughs> I can't think straight. Carlos, let me put it this way. We're making good progress, but when the game tilts me and pisses me off, I get upset. And sometimes I get very upset, and then I, I act like a, like a child, a, a petulant child. And some people, that turns them off. Some people, they actually like it. They think it's funny. Personally, I just didn't like that boss. He really pissed me off. I'm not even kidding. I was so upset at that fucking stupid boss that my adrenaline was pumping. My body was starting to shake. Everything was like, I was getting real pissy. <laughs> I was getting very angry. It's basically this game is Bloodborne. The plot of the game is Bloodborne. Everything was fine until the, the, the aliens fucked everything up. God damn it! Nothing I can do. People are gonna realize this is just Dark Souls, right? You know that this is the same universe as Dark Souls. The entire game is. It absolutely is. There's no difference. It's exactly the same. It's just a different time period. The controls aren't working right now. I'm serious. I can't do anything. Yeah, what happened? I didn't do any of that. I have no idea what happened. It just it just was completely unresponsive. Delightful. I can't move? What's going on? I can't see? I can't move? I mean, I paid the fucking money for the game. I'd at least like to, uh, to try to figure out the story. Should I go down to the mausoleum area? Should I stay where I am and keep investigating? Should I fucking climb up the trees? I don't know. I'm looking all around. Great gameplay. Wow, that's really skillful gameplay. Like, seriously. That's top tier game design right there. I'm dead again. He did it again. Wow, this is a fun boss, isn't it? It's the same shit over and over, right? This one. Oh, you piece of shit. Ah! I'm trying to find where my, my souls are. I can't actually see what's happening at all. There's insane amounts of effects on the screen. And I it's kind of like fucking with me. I can't even tell. <laughs> He's stun locking me with lightning, and I can't move after it, and then he gets a combo of like two, three hits, and I can't do anything about that. I rolled and still got hit. I mean, I, there's nothing I can do about it. I can't see. Without being able to see the attacks, you'll never dodge them or, or do anything about them. I can't see them. Like, what else are you supposed to do? Nothing. I can't see the fight. So I'm not going to be able to do anything but just dodge randomly through some stuff and jump heavy attacks. That's, that's the whole track. can't see anything else. Yeah, couldn't see the lightning. I knew it was coming, but there was no way to see it. So there's no way to avoid it. Sure. How did I miss the giant dragon in front of me? Attack? It doesn't make any sense. He's standing right in front of me and is just passed through, passed through, passed through the leg. It's annoying I have to see this animation every time. Oh, that's fair. I love it. I can't hit him. He's right in front of me. A ginormous fucking dragon is standing in front of me. I literally can't hit him. All my attacks pass through all of his limbs and body. Like, he has no fucking hitbox. I can't ro I'm stuck in his foot. Hey, you missed, pal. How did I miss? I rolled, doesn't work, delayed. I'm getting close, but again, I get hit by stuff I can't see, and blatant things I should be able to dodge. Okay. I'd love to know how I can't hit him. He's directly in front of me. I dodged, didn't work. I'm rolling, I don't even know what's going on. I press roll and he attack. Yeah, this is fucking terrible. Just hit him. He's right there. Can't hit him. Too difficult. Yeah. They're passing through constantly. Terrible hitboxes. I'm fat rolling, by the way. I just realized it. It took you long enough. Uh, 
I'm doing much better damage, but I'm fat rolling. I gotta take off my pants. No, 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 no. That's not who you are, Phil. Can't do that. I gotta take off my pants. Finally pull the David Carradine. I didn't realize the sword was that much heavier than the spear. What? Oh, whoa! I don't even know what happened. You're already dead. Yeah. Once again, I can't see the attack, so I can't time the dodge. There's no way to do it. And you can't see the fight. And that's why you lose to the enemy. It has nothing to do with the actual attack patterns of the enemies. I rolled to still hit. See, I hate this shit. That time I purposely... I purposely rolled to try to avoid the lightning. Great job from software. You guys are great. How about that? I dodge forward. Doesn't come out. Nothing I can do about that. I guess you just have to be prepared to die. Interrupted with lightning. Now it's light. Nothing I can do about that. You essentially, what you gotta do, you you play him about 40, 50 times. You'll learn all of his attacks. And then you can dodge early for everything. And then you're good. That's pretty much the whole game, though. The game claims you timed it wrong when you did. Uh, can't see what's going on. Get hit by bullshit. There was no way to get out of the way of it. I can't do it. I'm still recovering. I can't dodge any attacks. Dodge this. I'm rolling. I'm pressing the fucking dodge button. The game, it's not working. Wow, what a great fight. The, bo the, I, the fight sucks. The fight was stupid. I didn't like that fight at all. I really didn't. I felt like it was underwhelming. It was supposed to be exciting and epic, and really it didn't feel like that to me because, you know, the boss was shitty. The boss fight was not very satisfying at all. Martin says, don't do this. Go to the Atlas Plateau instead. Darziak says, the gates of shortcut to the capital, but you end up missing some bosses going this way. Okay. Ellipsis says Volcano Manor first. You're supposed to do Atlas Manor, then Volcano Manor. No, Atlas Plateau, Volcano Manor, then the Capital. Martin says you can get an OP spell for your build from Fortis Axe's Remembrance. Check it out. Martin says it's an amazing buff, this Golden Vow spell, and you can stack it with Give Me Strength. It'll be, you know, really good. Wake me up. Wake me up. And I can't wake up. Wake me up and save me. Oh, I can't see. What? Oh, I died because I couldn't see. I had him. I died because I couldn't see. Oh no. Where are my oh here they are. He already knocked me down. I can't even get up! Great. And bad responsiveness of the game. I don't care. Still hit me. Ridiculous hit me. It really is a ridiculous hitbox on that move. I can't, I can't hit the giant enemy in front of me. It's laughably bad. Of course you move. Yeah, the hitbox is terrible. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! It still hit me. Why are they, why in the holy hell are the hitboxes so stupid? I'm so far away, I'm, I'm running completely the other direction, it still hits me. They've already had aliens in Bloodborne, so it makes sense that it's aliens in Elden Ring. Bloop! I can't- what happened? Oh, uh, you saw what happened, right? I got stuck on nothing. I seriously can't move. I got stuck on absolutely nothing. There was nothing in my path, no rocks, and the enemies weren't there, and the horse just stopped walking. Completely stupid. What? You're gonna tell me the dude standing stationary with a torch beat the guy coming forward and jousted. He, look at this. Uh, does From Software understand anything about physics? The stationary dude with a torch beats the person charging straight forward with them with a spear. Okay, FromSoft, whatever you fuckers say. People are, oh, well, this game isn't realistic. There's magic and shit. Okay, I understand that, but yet there's rule sets in the game that are realistic. You have to adhere to them. The game does not. That's what I, I think is so ridiculous about this fucking series is there's all these rules you have to adhere to, but you, but only you. What the fuck are you talking about, you fucking idiot? How could you have done this? How could you have committed suicide? I did not know that that was a fall like that, because I couldn't see, because it was nighttime. Why do we endlessly give them passes for everything? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want a game where they get away with so much bullshit. I just don't. Make it fair. Make the engine make sense. At least make it equivalent. Like, how is this just common sense shit? That could be dramatically improving the game, but they don't care. Because people kiss their fucking ass so hard 
they don't feel like they ever have to improve anything. Like, just stop sucking the FromSoft butt, you know? I don't mind you, you liking the game and being a fanboy about it, but man, when you refuse to acknowledge that there's any room for improvement, that's when th things will never, ever get better. And that's just a terrible way to go through life, in my opinion. The dodge doesn't come out. I press the button. Monster delay. All right, I'm just gonna give up on this. This is obviously stupid. It's really dumb. There's something up there, but you can't reach it unless you come from the entrance and come all the way west. Another optional freaking dungeon. So would you like me to just skip all the content of the game then? Is that what you would like? Skip, skip, skip. Skip, 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 skip. All right, boss time already. This will be a really fucking quick one, huh? I, I don't think I really need the, the souls, though. You know what I mean? Like, Booty says you seem to be so over the game already. I'm not over it. Like, there's good parts about it. I'm definitely enjoying some of the exploration and, and uniqueness of it. But, man, they reuse the same shit so much, it's just getting, you know, ridiculous. Do you really want to redo the same fucking thing a million times? What the, Now, how did that miss? Look at this bullshit. I miss all my attacks. For no good reason. They all just pass through their bodies. And I can't hit anyone. It's completely stupid. The dumbest fucking thing. So I'm just not gonna fight anything. Oh. I'm just gonna run through. It's stupid. It's wasting my time to fight these little idiots. Especially when the hit detection is so poor in the game. That I have to deal with that dumb shit. Again, for some reason, poking weapons miss this particular enemy type. It is so stupid. Again. Of course. <laughs> I'm in danger. There's nothing I can do. The camera's all fucked up. He's invincible to the stab of the CLA. Look. It's so dumb. Wow. What a well designed fucking dungeon, huh? Yeah, really well fucking designed. Fucking idiots. Fuji says, my problem with the playthrough is you did the high level stuff first, because the trolls wanted to see you fail, but now you're too high level for everything else. In truth, this is not correct, Bootsy, just so you know. From what I'm gonna understand, I don't know, because I didn't spoil myself. This game is, this is a problem with the design of the game. Essentially, this game doesn't have a good middle. There's no good middle at all. If you want to do everything in the game, at one point you hit a wall where everything's easy. And at the end of the game, apparently, the game kicks your ass again. So, the beginning can be tough and challenging. Then the middle gets quite easy as you do the open world exploration. You start to do all the stuff in the world. And then the end becomes challenging again. That's what people seem to be telling me. And that, that really, there's no one who had a good middle to play, of the playthrough at all. Everyone who likes to explore and shit just didn't like the middle because it was too easy. Essentially, the middle is padded. The middle has a ton of optional shit to do. So yeah, so the thing is, there's no order to play the game. And most people end up wandering around exploring. Next thing you know, you did stuff that it was probably too high level for you. And now you're overleveled for other stuff. And there really is no way to do it all the content and not be overleveled. For you. Oh, can I please hit the fucker standing in front of me? What a tough guy. See, I, I, I'll be, I'll have very, a very big admittance here. I actually enjoy figuring out the lore. I actually do. Even though a lot of it's unclear and meant to be like guessed, I like the lore of the Elden Ring slash FromSoft, Dark Souls, whatever you want to say, game. Right, right, right. Can't move, I'm gonna die, yep. That, that attack is complete bullshit. There's nothing you can do about it. Once he enables it, you have to get out of his range, or else he just constantly hits you. It's like, wow, you really beat me there. With your amazing amounts of fair challenge. I roll. I can't move. Again, look, I can't even move where I want. The game fucked me against the wall. I can't fucking move. What an elusive enemy. Oh, he's so tough. No, they made an enemy that literally, you can't hit him. His hitbox is tiny, and he stun locks you with his attacks. So how do I fucking fight him then, you dumb shits? Again, everything in the game has to be against you. Every odd is against you. Fucking dumb shit. They're like, dude, what are you talking about? How is this fair? It's not even fun. Just stupidity. Uh, what's going on? I can't attack. I literally can't attack. And again, I enjoy the game. I really do. But I call it out for its bullshit. The game is full of bullshit. That could easily, easily be improved. If they cared, they don't care because they have such an installed fan base of fucking people who are dumb and give them a pass on everything. They're never going to improve this combat engine. It will forever be stupid. 
like this. Like, they purposely try to annoy you like that. Oh! He's impaling me through the wall! I'm not even mad. It's amazing. Uh... What was that? This game is fucking stupid. It's so stupid. It's so fucking dumb. Fuck this. I really don't care. When when the game is set up to be that stupid, you don't care. How about this? Fuck you, FromSoft. No, really, fuck you. You guys are lazy. It's just that's the truth of the matter. You're just lazy. You don't want to make a fair game anymore. You just want to make. Look at this. I can't move at all. I literally can't move. Look, I can't. I can't even move the camera. Look. FromSoft is, has become lazy. Is what it is. They wanted to make a game that was giant. But when they did that, it lost its polish. And now what they've done is they set up all this bullshit to the point where it's not fun to have to deal with it. It's just garbage. It's garbage gameplay. It's not fun. It's not smart. It's not well-designed gameplay in any way, shape, or form. It's lazy gameplay is what it is. Really lazily done things that could have been done way better if they had put more effort in instead of worrying about the giant open world and the 400th optional boring dungeon. They could have put way more effort into unique stuff. And I'm tired of giving these guys a pass for that, you know? They don't deserve the pass. I'm done with this area, that's it. Wow. <laughs> Fucking stupid. No, really, it is stupid. The fall damage is incredibly dumb. It's just so dumb and... and honestly, it doesn't add anything to the game for it to act like that. Because I'm just going to go back and not fall from that distance. Big fucking deal. Very stupid. It's like they purposely made this annoying as shit. As, as annoying as humanly possible. They seriously did. They made it so that, like, everything's foggy. You can't clearly see shit. Attacking required ahead? What? What are they talking about? I don't know. There's a false rock? Jesus Christ. There's a false fucking rock here? No. This is fucking annoying as shit. Why is it so annoying? Yeah, it's in a false rock, all right. Yeah, false rock. This is shit. Just tell me where it is. I'm tired of this already. It's fucking dumb. I want to sit here beating on the fucking wall all day. Like an asshole. Oh, my God. Boy, they, they really, FromSoft really knows how to put you to sleep. I gotcha. You know, can I fucking update my leaderboard, you dumb little shit? Fucking piss me off. This is the dumbest fucking thing. Look at this. Look how dumb this is. Mimicry ahead. Do it. Yeah, this is garbage. There's, oh, here we go. Is this it? Wow. Those messages earlier were really helpful. But this fucking kind of stuff is boring. Yeah, I just want to run in circles looking for invisible rocks to hit. Yeah. That's fun. That's that's FromSoft's fun ideas. Genius. I want to die. Now, wait a minute. I didn't do that. Some genius level stuff right there. Not that I care. It's not a big deal. It's just stupid. Now, I got to go back up to get the fucking souls, too. I can't move. Whoa, oh, the dog is glitched. There's a glitch. There's a dog glitch. I know about this. I saw it online. Oh, God. I gotta get away from here because I don't want to give my dog and die instantly because of the glitches. Fucking totally stupid that that's in the game. The Godskin Apostle is back? Seriously? Hello there. Out of my way, old man. I'm trying to fucking loot the cave. Oh, come on. Arteria Leaf sucks ass. Who wants a fucking Arteria Leaf? 77 hours into the game. Shove your leaf up your fucking ass. Let me play. Get something good. Fucking dick. No, you can't even kidding me! Uh. Oh, what the- Well, excuse me. He's completely off camera. A million miles away and still hit me. Fuck off. Stupid game. Fuck off, you stupid fucking game. Stupid cheesy bullshit. Oh, the tail whip. Nice. Oh, man! How could you have done this? How could you have committed suicide? They all suck. Why do they suck? 
I just don't get it. Let's give you a million spells. They all suck. They're all they're all just a waste of your time. Well, I don't know what Volcano Manor missions are, but I will definitely need your help because I don't know. Like, what? Do the Volcano Manor missions. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Still hit me. Still hit me. I can't dodge it at all. It never dodges it. Dick. Oh my god. But I'll be honest, all I can really taste is salt. I'm st at the gravestones. Dude, are you shitting me? I get killed by the fucking stupid area again and not the boss. And that pisses me off. That is so dumb. Why do I have to die to the fucking stupid gravestones all over the place instead of the boss? I can't- are you serious? I can't roll towards him. I can't dodge. Look, I'm stuck. Can't move. I don't know what's going on. I couldn't move. He apparently never staggered either. You see this? I'm not getting beat by the boss. I'm getting beat by the horseshit level design. Yeah, that's really fair. This is pissing me off now. I'm, an, I'm really, really getting tired of every stupid-ass fucking enemy hitting for 80% damage. It's getting very tiresome. Why the fuck is he hitting for that much fucking damage? I jumped! It didn't jump! It's not jumping now. Yes, every enemy, every fucking enemy will hit me for insane chunks of damage, and then the level design defeats me. I don't even care about the stupid 2,000 fucking rooms there. This is so dumb. Oh. Okay, a homing shot. There's absolutely no way to avoid. There's no way to avoid it. You can't avoid it. What am I supposed to do? You still can't avoid it even when you roll. Jesus fuck. You gotta be kidding me. He has no health. A zero health victory for this piece of shit. He has zero health. Wow. Can't move because the guy in front of me didn't die like he was supposed to. So the game is full of fucking shit. He should have been dead. Why did he survive the second hit? It's not like the first light attack does one set amount of damage and the second light attack does a different amount. They all do the same. That literally made no sense at all. How did he launch two projectiles at once? None of this is making any sense. He launched two projectiles that hit me at exactly the same time. How is that possible? None of this is making sense, and now I gotta redo it again. It's fucking dumb. I guarantee you it's not supposed to happen. I guarantee you he's not supposed to launch two projectiles. It's a glitch. How did the guy with a weak sword outpoison? Oh my god! Are you out of your fucking mind? This guy outpoised me. This guy. So let me get this straight. He can shoot multiple arrows at once that combo into each other for insane damage. He can combo you with a move that's really fast because he uses a rapier. Yet he has poise, so you can't interrupt him either. Like, what the fuck? This is pissing me off. If you can't tell. It's fucking pissing me off. It's not fair challenge. It's stupid. But it is what it is. That's how they made it. So I have to deal with it. Playing the game that Frumsoft made, and now I gotta deal with it. I gotta deal with the bullshit. And I can't find a point of grace anywhere to fucking save. Jesus fuck, dude. Great, a cracked fucking pot. I'm gonna turn into a fucking cracked fucking pot. If you don't show me a point of fucking grace. Why is there no point of grace anywhere in this fucking city? This is insanity. Oh my god, there's one right in front of me. Jesus, dude. Huh? What the? You saw what happened. The camera fucked up and got stuck in the wall. So I couldn't judge the distance of where he was, and I couldn't tell where to roll. It's not my fault, it's the camera's fault. The camera got stuck in the wall, so I couldn't see when to roll. Completely fucking stupid shit. This game is so dumbly broken, man. Seriously dumb. That was hilarious, he did a fucking crazy belly flop move. Why am I attacking the wrong direction exactly? Seems like a thief. There's nothing I can do. The game is full of shit. My guy is locked on and jumping and attacking completely in the wrong direction because the camera gets stuck. And when the camera gets stuck, your your attacks don't go in the correct direction anymore. Completely stupid. Jesus fucking Christ, this is gonna be dumb as hell, isn't it? This is stupid. Are you serious? Like, I can't even fight the enemy head up. They purposely made it so you can't actually fight it with combat. 
You just have to be stupid and hit and run and be a moron. It's definitely what I wanted to do. It's very enjoyable, right? Yeah, a real enjoyable combat and gameplay. Okay. Got me with the delay. The delay always gets me. Hits me every time. Oh, I had it. I dodged there too. I did. I had it. Dodge this. Jeez. I can't, dude. Even when I roll sideways, it still hits every time. Jesus. I can't ever dodge that. I didn't want that. I wanted to. I wanted to go back to two-handing. And it made me do a light attack instead. Even though I pressed the buttons together, it gave me a light attack. All I wanted to do was two-hand. I'm starting to get annoyed by the switching in this game between one-handing and two-handing because in the heat of battle, it doesn't seem to work consistently. Like, I try and I just want to throw a few bolts because I got an opening, and then I want to switch back to two-hand and try to get a hit in. I, I end up getting attacks. Even though I tipped, I pressed the buttons together, I end up getting attacks. It's like you have to cue it. It's really dumb. It's really, really dumb that they did it like that. I wish that they had done it more easily to switch between because I, I do get it accidentally a lot. You may see me flailing about sometimes doing moves I really didn't intend to do. Wow. Sure I didn't dodge the third one. Of course I didn't. Of course I didn't. That was me switching. Oh, it's so annoying. We can see what's hidden behind the golden rune circular gate of bullshit. Or I can glitch it right now. <sighs> yeah. So you can't just run through and have fun. You have to fucking deal with this nonsense, which is so boring. They're incredibly boring. See? Look how boring that was. Very boring. Incredibly boring. Up in the sky! Why do I want to fight you? I'm on a horse, you stupid idiot. I'm not coming near you. What an asshole. I took damage from that. It's so stupid. You're fucking kidding me? I gotta buy prawns to reload the fucking game and come back again? Oh, come on. It's fucking bullshit. All right, now we gotta do this again. Oh, my God. Why does the game fucking make me do this shit a million times? Frustration. What the fuck? What the fuck did he... That's not fair. I don't wanna fight this crab. You gotta be kidding me. <sighs> That's great. I literally never, never summoned you except the beginning of the game. <laughs> This is funny, I never talked to her. I literally never spoke with her the entire game. I just ignored her. I actually enjoy figuring out the lore. I actually do. So I'd like you to undertake a new journey with me to the flame of ruin, far above the clouds, upon the snowy mountain tops of the giants. Uh... Then I can set There's the more. Tree Lots more. Up. I actually do. I do. I, get your hands, your filthy hands off. All right, now fuck off. Don't come back. There's no possible way. I, oh, come on. oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Stupid platforming challenge in this fucking game. <laughs> platforming challenge. The momentum is ridiculous. All I want to do is land, and I keep moving forward in midair. My fat ass propels me too far. I don't know if I'm ever going to make it down here at this point. <laughs> This isn't looking too good for me. I need fully maneuverable air controls like Super Mario Brothers. I can't do this. I'll tell you what, I, I'll be honest with you, now that we're this far into the game, I actually think the open world aspect is the weakest point. I would rather have them do a longer, more curated game. You know, curated content, not just fucking open world shit. I think that's better. I don't really like the open world as much now that I'm this far in. Oh my poor toe, oh, that's shit. not fair. Oh, come on now! His foot hit the wall, and it made him stagger in the middle of his jump. That didn't even happen before. His foot hits the wall. Oh, that's so weird. You are fucking full of shit, dude! That time, his momentum stopped again. I was jumping straight towards the beam, and all of a sudden, he stopped moving in midair, despite the fact I didn't stop holding. 
I don't get it. This is gonna be a pain in the ass. Do you see why I don't like counting deaths and a fucking death counter is worthless here? Death counter is not representative of anything important when you're doing death counter for fucking shit like this. It's so dumb, a waste of time. Just let me fucking do it and beat it. See, that's what happened. My foot stuck on there. Don't slip and slide on this banana. What? Tail. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, I was on it and I passed through it. I was on the edge walking forward and the game clipped me through it. I love it. How do I drop straight down from here? Ah, shit. Looks like that's what you're supposed to do. You go down, down, down. Sure. You can't get anywhere else from here. No, you can't. You have to go down from here. Somehow. How the fuck am I gonna go directly down? You can't change your direction in midair. So you know what? I'm gonna land on this one. If I landed on that one, I think I would've beaten it. But I overshot it. Bullshit. Do you see? Why this doesn't matter to count fucking deaths, it's a waste of your time. It's not representative of anything. Most people probably don't even care about this area and won't do it. So why does it care that I'm dying a million times here, being silly, doing pratfalls? It doesn't matter. But dumbass, oh, Phil had 4,000 deaths in his playthrough. I want to die. Land? No. Oh! Easier to judge. Oh shit. Oh, I thought I didn't make it. Oh, I didn't make it! <laughs> he landed! It's not even worth equipping. Well, that sucks. I actually think I'm doing worse without the weapon. It seems like he's not jumping as far or something. Wolf's Paradox, I hope there's something cool down there. I doubt there's anything down there. How much you want to bet it's some fucking bullshit that I don't need for my build? It's just wasting my time. I almost guarantee it. Like most of this game. Most of this game, you're just fucking around, wasting your time, getting shit you'll never use. I guarantee you this is a waste of my time. I seriously guarantee you this is a complete waste of my time. What the? Oh. What? What? I barely fell. You piece of fucking shit. I barely fell. And it killed me anyway because of fucking bullshit arbitrary calculation. They said, oh, if you just fall here, you die. FromSoft can lick my fucking... Seriously, that is bullshit. I should not have fucking died there. That was nowhere near far enough for me to die on a fall. Complete bullshit. Alright, is there gonna be a good item here, or is this really wasting my time? This is ridiculous at this point. This could be shitty generic runes I don't want. The fuck do I want this for? So now everyone says take all your clothes off, and you can talk to someone. That sounds really stupid. This is really dumb. Oh, uh, this is fucking weird. <laughs> Look at that, your whole body's burned now. Well, that's fucked up. Was there any benefit to doing that? The endings don't matter. Alright, allow me to tell you guys something interesting. The endings don't matter. They don't matter at all. The endings don't, don't mean a, sh a fucking single thing in these Dark Souls games. They don't. It's a complete waste of your time to care about them. I want to see all the content. Here we go. You have inherited the frenzy flame. Oh. You. you are no longer fit. Our journey together ends here. And remember, should you rise as the Lord of Chaos, I will kill you. Huh. As sure as night follows day. <laughs> Great. None of this matters. No, really, none of this matters. I just want to know where to go to get the content out of the game. If you guys can tell me what to do next. I don't care about this. <laughs> I don't care about this at all. I actually enjoy figuring out the lore. I actually do. You know, I wish they could have made it more confusing. The more confusion, the better. Not it. How the fuck do I get through there? This is fucking annoying. I don't know, man. What? No one knows. No one knows anything. A worthless nascent butterfly. Anything else here? I'm gonna be honest with you guys. The further I play this game, something has become very apparent about it. And I want you guys to understand, I'm not trying to shit on the game because I like it. This game is not a great open world game in my opinion. The game is too open and confusing. Like, and the more that I'm playing the open world nature of the game, the more I'm actually disliking it. I'm just, this is just me talking, so please don't be offended. I actually am really starting to wish that they just made it fucking Dark Souls 4 and that all the legacy dungeons were the content of the game and all the open world aspects were taken out. Because at first the open world was cool and now all I'm seeing is that they don't know. From software does not understand how to do open world content. None of the content is scaled properly. I'm in an area, oh there's an optional dungeon under the city. The boss under there is really tough and interesting and unique. He gives you 100,000 room. Oh look, it's the final boss of the city, Morgoth. He's insanely easy, you beat him in five hits. 100,000 rooms. What? That's not even close to being scaled properly. And there's so many problems like this in the game. There's no way to do Volcano Manor. If I did it early, I locked myself out of quest lines. If I do it later because I did the quest lines, you're over leveled for Volcano Manor. So there's no way to do it. You're telling me I have to play your game five fucking times to experience it all. That's bullshit. I don't want to play your game five times. It's too long. I want to play it once and get all the good content out of it. Then maybe later do a run with a different build or whatever. 
Now, there's no way to experience the whole game at a good level the first time. That's bullshit to me. I've been playing this game since it came out in late February. Today is April 7th. I'm still having fun every time I play it, but every time I play it, I see another shortcoming, another way that they should have made it way better, and they really messed it up. I got people in my viewing audience telling me that the playthrough is not that fun anymore because I'm overleveled. So should I have skipped half the game? All I did was do the content that was made available to me. I didn't make the game, you know? I don't know what else to say. You know, I am. I'm just as disappointed as you guys. Do I want a five shot of fucking story boss? Of course I don't. Then why was the the boss I fought right before him an optional boss so much harder and actually scaled to me? It doesn't make it literally doesn't make sense. They fucked it up. It's still a good game. I just don't know how people are saying this is 10 out of 10 best game ever made. I almost feel like if on this map they cut out everything open world. And let's say, for example, let's take a look at Limgrave. Okay, so there should have been Castle Morn. There should have been the actual Stormvale Castle. There should have been the underground well in Kaelin. There should have been the tower dungeon. There should have been the red main castle. That's what I mean. Like, you could have picked the individual dungeons out of each region. And if they were just combined to be Dark Souls 4, I actually think the game would have been better. Because if there was only those dungeons and nothing else, you actually can't overlevel. But because they made it the way they wanted, they wanted, they so desperately wanted to make the game different. Say, it's not Dark Souls, it's Elden Ring. See, it's open world, it's different. No, it's the same. This is this game to me is like is like saying this. So you're gonna say, oh, this is not Dark Souls 4. Okay, it's not. So I'm sitting in a gaming chair, but it's not a gaming chair. This is the Challenger's Throne. And you see there's a cup holder here in the arm of the chair, but that's not a cup holder. That's the Challenger's Chalice Containment Unit. You see what I'm saying? Does that make it not a gaming chair with cup holders? Because I called it something else? No. That's literally what this game is. They took every element from the games they've already made and said it's another game. It's not. It's Dark Souls with a bunch of actually boring open world areas crammed in. And it's just showing that it's disappointing the more I play it. You know what I mean? Because they put so much open world and side content in and did not take the time to scale it like they always do with Dark Souls games, it's now becoming a disappointment to me. I'm just saying, and I'm being honest, I want, I don't want to shit on the game because I'm not, I'm telling you I like the game, but man, it's like they didn't know what they were doing with the open world, they fucked it up. It really feels to me like it's a huge disappointment the further in I'm getting. The fact that I'm going to now go do Volcano Manor and probably steamroll it is fucking super disappointing to me. Martin says, when I played the game myself, there was no guide, no wiki, no one knew anything. I wasn't overleveled, didn't know where to go, and I explored and had fun and I beat it. Yes, and you missed about probably 80% of the content of the game as well, which is the point I'm making is it shouldn't be like that. By making it the way they did, by literally making it open world, you made it inaccessible. It's hilarious because the reviewer said it's the most accessible. It's literally the most inaccessible Souls games there there's ever been. Greetings. In history. Kane says, it's okay you don't understand the story. Most people don't get it. I want I want to get the story. Like, I actually do. I want to understand it. But I just know that it's going to be one of those situations where, like, unless you fucking do hours of research online with people speculating shit, you probably will never figure it out. Oh, really? So why not stop leveling up your character? Because that's stupid. First dual wield of the game. What? Oh, shitty fuck. Necessarily going to eat this entire breakfast. I are you kidding me? I definitely pressed the button and it didn't fucking do anything. I can't hit it! I can't hit it! Are you fucking serious? It wouldn't let me. It would not let me hit it. Those things are stupid as shit. Even even with my build. I, it's a tank. It takes insane damage to kill, even though it's a dumb enemy. Incredibly stupid enemy. Do I usually play games in a completionist style? Depends on the game. If it's a game where I can find all the content and it, it's fun to do, then I try to do as much as I can. But if the game ends up being kind of too lengthy or drawn out or boring, then no. In this case, I really like this game enough that I want to do all the meaningful content. I couldn't see anything. I lost once again to a bad camera. I couldn't see where I was, what I needed to do. The camera was fucked up. He's a chubber. So that's underwhelming. Why was that underwhelming? Because I already fought him. And I've already explained to you guys why I feel that this game is kind of screwed up in that way. Like, why did I already fight him? He's not an interesting boss because I've already fought him. He's cool. I remember fighting him earlier. It was fun because it was actually a fun boss. He was challenging. I had to learn his patterns. This time I steamrolled him because uh, I already fought him. I already know what he is. Oh no! Oh, I'm gonna die now. Watch. The cheese now is actually like a big chunk of piece of cheese. That was excellent. I haven't used a single crafting thing besides the boluses. I doubt I will. 
Listen, I know I could be doing the same thing the whole playthrough. As I've told you guys, I've been watching a few other players and content creators play the game, and some of them just stick with the same build the whole game, and that is super boring. Thank God I couldn't go through the door. So annoying. This isn't the right place, is it? Or is it? Where am I? I have no memory of this place. I think so. Doesn't look too unique. Shit! Ow! Fuck this. I just went backwards, didn't I? Oh my god, this is confusing as shit. That's what I got. <laughs> two bugs. The boss was two bugs. Talk about underwhelming. It's completely underwhelming. This is the boss. Two bugs. Another optional magma worm boss. I didn't block Oh. Insta-kill. Insta-kill move. Flattens me for all my health. Flattens me for all my health. Oh. Can't see. Great. That's really, really fun and fair when you can't see anything because the camera is a piece of dog shit and is blocked by the enemy and the lava. You can't see anything at all, so I don't know where to go. <laughs> Stupid shit. I rolled, didn't come out because it's delayed. Beyond fucking delayed. Oh, really? Have you not noticed that the open world part sucks? Oh, another magma worm boss you already fought. Oh, another random area of shit you've already done. It's not very interesting. It's kind of boring. I'm not gonna lie. How do I know that? Because there was a video about it online. No! That is not what I intended! I had too much momentum and I couldn't stop. God damn it. Fuck, this is boring. Annoying. Black Blade Kindred Rematch! Alright, I don't even know where the fuck I am. Where was I going? Over here? I guess I was going this direction? I don't even know. I've complained about it during the playthrough a lot. That I really felt the hitboxes were not fair. What the fuck? I'm standing right next to him and I can't hit him. Yeah, this is stupid. Here we go again with the bullshit. The fucking impossible hitboxes that make no fucking sense at all. You're right next to the enemy swinging through their body and somehow it passes through. Bullshit. Bad fucking enemy design. Let me hit the enemy standing directly in front of me as I swing through it with my fucking attack. Let it connect. Give me a fucking break. You cheating ass fucking game. A worthless smoldering butterfly. I think they would have at least tried something different. They did not try with this. They really didn't. They did not try with these optional dungeons. At first they did. And then they kind of gave up and just, re you know, regurgitated the same content over. Wow. I think it did enough damage. The same weak ass enemies doing ridiculous damage. You kill them, they still explode. Disgusting. I, okay, this is a major problem. I jumped and I swear to God, I pressed L1 once. He did a follow up attack. I didn't do that. I did not do that. I swear to God, I would admit it if I was mashing it. I just jumped and did this, and the game did a follow-up attack. I don't know why I did it. That actually happened to me earlier when I was fighting one of the uh, ice dudes. I don't know why, why it's doing that. No! Again? Unbelievable. The same fucking boss again. My god. Again, I, I hate to say it. Do I believe it's the game dev's fault? No, it's the managers of the project. Whoever was managing this game gave up. They said, we want an optional dungeon. What boss should we use? Well, out of the 10 bosses that we used 10 times, which one did we use nine? Jesus, fuck, dude. That's terrible. Take a look at Neo. Neo did exactly the same thing, and everyone complained to Neo that the, the enemies were way too reused. This game does it, and no one's saying shit. It's kind of ridiculous, isn't it? As I told you guys, I've been watching other content creators play this game. I was like, oh, shit, I didn't see that. And yeah, this is a game you probably have to play a bunch of times if you really want to make the best of it. Luckily for me, I have an interactive audience that helps me out, and you guys are helping me out. Thank you for that. I'm doing my best in the one run that I'm doing, you know? So, I am pissed, but I don't know what I'm doing or where I'm going. How the fuck do I get there? One hand holding later. No! No! You gotta be kidding me. It's very cheesy. I'll forewarn everyone. 
So in reality, it sucks. If you do the second hit, yeah. If you do the second hit, you leave yourself wide open. What happened? Fucking camera fucked up. Oh, I'm locking onto the the game's locking onto the wrong thing, so I can't hit the giant dude in front of me. Right. Oh shit. What was I supposed to do? I have no idea what the game expected me to do there. It's fucking stupid! Every big boss in this game is fucking stupid. Every big boss in the game is stupid. Every time you try to attack, I'll counterattack and hit through you. Oh, all my moves are monstrously delayed in telegraphs, so you can't dodge them. Come on. Jesus fuck, man. Same shit. Entire game is the same. Look, I dodge, he fights right through my fucking roll as if I never did it. Wow. Well designed. I'll be honest, all it really takes is soul. Yes, just keep fighting right through the roll. Yes, well designed. Why is poison taking all my health? Poison isn't even that bad in this game, but in this fight it is. They changed the rules of the game and makes so it poison does like double damage in this fight. For no good reason. This is why I hate gimmick fights. And now I can't even change my death counter. Here, I'll just say it's 589 because I have no idea. I'm just gonna say 589 because I actually don't care. Cool boss, stupid fight. Roll through it, still get hit. No way to avoid it. <laughs> still through the roll. Bite me through the roll. Yes. I didn't do that. I never did that second hit. I pressed it once. Still hit. I can't do anything. Not react by it. Nothing I can do. Food is more mellow and clean. Well, the other cheese has a, has a salty kick to it. What? I... Yes, I really had a chance to do something there. I really had a chance to do something there. Jesus fuck, man. They can't do a fucking good boss. They seriously can't. No grab, even though you're rolled. Mm -hmm. Stupid as fuck. Oh my god. No, the fight's not tough. It's stupid. It's a gimmick bullshit boss that does bullshit to you that other bosses this doesn't happen. It's full of shit. It just keeps fucking doing dumb shit. Oh, uh, great fight. Yeah. Still grabs you through the roll. So dumb. Like, oh, don't you understand? It's a gimmick fight, so none of the game mechanics of the game apply to this fight. You have to take certain hits. There's nothing you can do about it. You'll roll, he'll grab you through it. You'll have an eye frame, don't care. Oh, really? Tried to roll, doesn't work, delay. It's so dumb. I think he's gonna hit you! Of course. I dodged! I knew the boat was coming, it still hits me anyway. Now a meteor hits me out of the fucking sky. I'm stuck on a wall! I'm gonna die to the wall. I am, I'm gonna die to the fucking wall. I can't see anything. Are you fucking shitting me? <laughs> the entire room is just full of shit. You can't see anywhere you're going or anything you're doing. What a great fight. Oh uh, yeah, one of the most well-designed gimmick fights. You fucking idiots. Dude, it's terrible. The entire fucking room is full of shit. You can't get out of the way of it. What a great gimmick fight. Let's kiss their butts a little more. Fill the whole room with enemy, uh, with, with hits. Everything hits you. There's lava, there's fucking flame skulls. There's fucking snakes. Yeah, it's great. Well, well made. Bill grabs me through the roll. Oh yeah, it's a great game. Kiss its butt. Kiss its butt. Say it's the best game ever made. Go ahead. This completely isn't on lockdown. Dodge doesn't come out. Can't move him against the wall. Can't see the wall because the camera's so. Whoa, can't roll. It's 
not fun. It's not fun because you die to bullshit like the camera. The boss room is just stupid. Look, you can't you roll into piles of shit that get in your way. You die to the boss room, not to the wall. Can't see where I am. Am I against the wall? I don't know. Can't move, so I guess I am. Camera won't tell me because the camera's stuck. It's a piece of shit. I can't do anything because there's a pile of stuff in my way. There's a pile of junk in my way, so I can't dodge the enemy. If you didn't notice, they did it on purpose. There's piles of that shit all in the room. Because they realized that the boss is actually not challenging. It's the room that kills you. Fucking stupid. Not fun in any way, shape, or form. Oh shit, I'm sorry. I dodge it and it doesn't come out because of the delay. I, the, the move is telegraphed and you can't dodge on reaction because of the delay, so... So dumb. Dumb gimmick fight. I don't think you can dodge that attack at all. I haven't dodged it once. He immediately shot poison and immediately did two bites with no delay between the two attacks. So there's no way to get out of the way and then try to heal or do anything. Here we go! Can't do anything about this! Get hit! Just take the hit. Now poison, can't get out of the way of it. Grabs me even though I dodged through it. The boss fight is just fucking stupidity is what it is. It's not fun. Every idiot out there, ah, oh, it's the best gimmick boss fight. Yeah, because you suck the balls. You take Miyazaki's balls into the mouth and you suck the testicles. It's not a good fight. It's stupid. It's fucking terrible. It's so bad. It's so bad! Nah, it doesn't dodge. It's so delayed. I can't dodge a giant sword. No. It's so bad that you can't dodge on reaction in this fucking piece of shit game. Can't dodge anything on reaction, man. Doesn't work. What a waste of time this boss is. A waste of my fucking time. Optional waste of time boss. Gimmick bullshit. Give me a real fight. I give This is so dumb. I want to do it. I just don't want to do it anymore. It's not fun. No way to die. Take insane damage for no reason. It's a very poorly made fight. Meant to be a gimmick. So you sit here and you memorize every input and you predict what he's doing and you do the input absolutely perfectly early to dodge the attack, which isn't fun. It's a gimmick fight with a dumb fucking spear. Just come down here and let me fight you. Instead of being a gimmick. <sighs> I'm taking poison damage even though he's dead. I can't see what's happening at all. I have no idea. How am I supposed to react to this? <laughs> How am I supposed to react to that? Wow, what a- Whoa, the best design boss. Yeah, the best design. Oh, yeah. How am I supposed to react to that? You can't see anything. The whole screen is red. There's skulls, there's lava, there's bullshit flying at you. It's insanely poorly made. Insanely poorly fucking made. What am I supposed to do? I can't move. This small fly is probably constitutes the same amount of food as the cheesy toss. Terrible fight. Absolutely garbage gameplay. Terrible fight, garbage gameplay. Waste of time. No, I'm not gonna upgrade the spear because the spear's worthless outside of this fight. So why am I gonna waste my fucking resources and my zero runes that I have, which I have nothing to upgrade a spear with? It's a complete waste of time, this fight. It shouldn't even be in the fucking game. It should be a real boss. I can't see! I dodged by complete luck, I couldn't see. So the light attacks are the way to go. Just spamming the light attack. What's going on? I don't know. Taking damage, don't know what Can't see. I don't know what's hitting me. I have absolutely no clue. What am I supposed to do now? Turn his face. Look at this. You can't do anything. It's endless amount of flame skulls coming out of the sky hitting you. No way to avoid that at all. I still haven't avoided it once. How the fuck do you avoid that? 
while he's attacking you. How can you guys seriously say this is a good fight? I don't even understand what the fuck you're talking about. Unless, again, there's some mechanic I don't understand I'm supposed to be doing. How the fuck do you stop it once he summons the skulls? It's over. It's literally, the fight is over once the skulls start coming down. I just don't understand it. I really don't get it at all, in any way. How is this good? I promise I can't do the attack now. She's broke the bomb again for now. Now I'm fucked. Here comes the, the skull. What do I do right now? Here we go. I can't do anything about any of the skulls. He bites and attacks and the skulls are coming down on my head. I can't do anything but panic roll. I can't see the fight. The skulls won't stop fucking coming! Look how many fucking skulls there are! Yeah, I see that. What a stupid fight! What an incredibly dumb fucking fight. I hate it. I hate it. Legitimately my least favorite part of the game so far. I'm not even kidding. It looked cool and played like fucking shit. It looked awesome. I love the design of the boss. I Circo. The entire combat of it is a waste of fucking time. It's just a gimmick room where you roll into shit and get stuck and die. You get stuck on the wall, the camera gets stuck, you can't see. All the boss's attacks are insanely giant swooping attacks. They're incredibly hard to dodge. Then at the second phase, he has a fucking ability that fills the whole room with flaming fucking skulls that you can't dodge unless you mash like an asshole. Oh my god, that was bad. I want to throw this spear out into the fucking trash. All right, let's go back to my fucking build. I'm disgusted. Xi Jinping to the dollar fifty says the camera is stuck because you're backed up against the wall. Yes, because you can't see the wall because the camera sucks, just like every other FromSoft game. Correct. Dodge left or right, not backward or into him. You keep dodging backwards and it's pinning you against the arena except that there's these giant piles of bones and bodies that if you dodge left or right you get stuck on those Bill grabs you through the roll Bill grabs you through the roll oh yeah grabs me even though I dodged through it Hence the reason I was trying to go backwards. Why don't you let the boss attack first, then hit him, you're spamming, and then crying. As you saw, I was, however, if he does the poison attack, incredibly hard to get out of the way. If he does the lava attack, invincible to dodge, you can't. And then the second phase is completely different. My lord. Did I watch someone play through this part already? No. I'm doing what the people in the stream chat told me to do. Why am I fighting a random crucible knight? so weird. Martin says, what do you mean random? It's the knight that was next to Tanit the entire game. Yeah, but he didn't look like that. He didn't look like a crucible knight to me. He looked like a unique knight, like a hell knight. But he's actually the crucible knight, which I didn't realize. It's spirit caller cave. I need to call out to some spirits. I need to ask them what the fuck they were thinking with that Riker boss fight. <laughs> hey, spirits! Can you jump the barrier tell FromSoft to not make that fight? Change it up to be a real boss? I'm out of healing! I guess you just have to be prepared to die. I forgot to reassign my flask. Oh, it didn't fucking give me a checkpoint outside of the fight. Oh, that's great. Well, I have to go through the whole cave again, don't I? The game decided in all its wisdom to not have a checkpoint outside of the boss, so I now have to run through the entirety of the fucking cave again. Great. From that distance. Wow, so delayed. Right. The game says, oh, he's going to combo and hit you twice with the roll instead of once. So it does double damage. Oh my god! Again, a stupid multi-hit combo. Again, it's the same shit again. Where he hits me with two hits in one and it does double damage and kills me. That's the second time in a row. First it was the roll, then it was a double stab. Two hit. Watch the step. I'm gonna say, oh shit. Well, that sucked. Because I didn't know I was gonna take that much damage. That really did suck. Son of a bitch. I mean, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Just a little annoying. I had to waste a heal. Oh no, what a nightmare. Oh, slammed my ass. What? 
So that's bullshit. I'm nowhere near him, and I'm against the- Look at this, I can't move. Are you serious? That's complete nonsense right there. The wall fucked me right there. It had nothing to do with him. Rolling out! Stop rolling! Oh my god, he wouldn't stop till he hit me! What a dickhead! This is absolutely ridiculous. I'm gonna fall off a ledge and die. I can't see shit. Oh, fuck, what's that noise? What? Now we know why there was fog, because apparently it was a dragon causing a frozen fog, but it was a shitty dragon. It was exactly the same as all the other dragons. It had no new attacks at all, just ice breath. That was it. That was pretty lame. As I told you guys, I'm just not impressed anymore by the dragon stuff. We've seen it a million times, so it's just not impressive to me. Wow, what a challenging dragon. Boy, they really like reusing assets, huh? A fucking ice lobster? What the fuck is that? So at this point, I just don't care about golden seeds anymore. I have the max flask, I'll never get any more. A little disappointing. Just really, that's a whole collectible you don't need anymore. Oh my god, it's the Kalid dogs. They're back. Only now they're ice dogs. That's lame. They really do reuse every asset in the fucking game, don't they? They literally reuse every asset in the game. That is so lame that they did that, man. Basically, it looks like they kind of redid everything from Kaelid. It looks like Kaelid in ice now, right? It almost looks the same. Kind of disappointing. I wish it was more unique. I don't know why they couldn't think of anything icy here to be unique. It's all the same assets reused, it looks like. Oh, you fucker. Stupid dog stop. This is bullshit. It's the dogs hitting me. Fucking stupid dog. Oh my god. The dog fucked me up. If it wasn't for that dog, all these enemies would be dead. The dog kept running up and hitting me in the middle of my attacks. <laughs> of course, here I am. So close to being able to insta-kill the enemies, but I'm just slightly far away from doing it. All right, fuck this. Now I'm just gonna use my ability. I'm gonna use the fucking slam ability and just use it over and over and hit everything at once. That was incredibly stupid and annoying. Oh my god! I can't use my ability! Thank you! The fucking dog! The fucking dog! The dog! The fucking dog! Another dog! I hate you! I can't hit it! Look at the damage, Jesus. I hate to say it though, doesn't this look empty? Like, look at all this empty space here that's not used. That's kind of disappointing that you would think that the map's gonna be so much larger. It's like tons of empty space. A little disappointing though. Is there really nothing out here? It's just a big empty leg except for the dragon, huh? No items, nothing? Well, that's a disappointment. There's a lobster, and you know the lobsters are a pain in the fucking ass, so I don't really want to fight it. Ice, just a bunch of ice. Nothing special. It's kind of boring. Well, excuse me. There's nothing here but the dragon I already killed and a bunch of lobsters. That's it. That's the whole lake. Lame. Then there's the church. Yeah, that's literally it. Wow. That is an incredibly boring lake. All right, forget it. Wow, that is... Very disappointing. Why is it empty? It almost like they, they forgot to f f put shit there. That doesn't seem right to me. It seems like they usually would put more. That does seem disappointing, man. I like the look. I definitely like an ice area. I like the idea that you got a new area with a new kind of climate. I don't like that everything is reused. Fuck. You're seriously doing that much damage? I am. You're a normal enemy. That was really stupid how much damage he did for no good reason. All right, I guess we gotta be careful here if they're gonna hit me for 80% damage. Be careful here. Like I said, I saw another one. Yeah, another asshole there. They hit for 90% damage. Like, isn't it great to fight those early game enemies? Only to, it's, you know, you're in end game, so now they hit for like 400% more damage for no good reason. For 80% damage, 90% damage. 400% more damage. You're like the same fucking exact enemy. Everyone seems to have a different opinion now, now that I'm playing about what to do. Everyone's like, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. There's this ending, there's that ending. Doesn't seem like there's a, like a consensus. For trouble. Make it double. He split in two. That's unique. And he, wow. 
he split in two and insta-killed me because with, after the one hit, I was unable to move. And it was an insta-kill. That's fair. Well, that's challenging. No, it's not. It's stupid. It shouldn't do that. That's not even fair or fun. That's just, oh, you're just gonna die. Wow, that's great game design. I'm beating the shit out of it. And I can't win because the motherfucker insta-kills me. Fucking pain in my ass. I can't move. I was stun-locked again. He did it again. For some reason, they gave him extra stun, and he's stun-locking me. Every time he hits me once, I can't move. I get completely frozen. That's two in a row where I can't move. It was instant death. No way I could get out of it. Okay, that's really, really high-level challenging gameplay right there. You know, fun f boss fight. Never seen this boss before. Totally unique. Like, jeez. They really ran out of ideas at this point. A hundred percent. That's the third time in a row. Like they won't let me move. You get stunned and you're instantly killed. How do they think this is valid gameplay? It blows my mind. It blows my mind that they think this is valid game. Oh, this is great challenge. No, it's not. You're stupid. Why am I getting insta killed with a combo? It's every time now. Three in a row. Wow, very challenging. Not seeing anything. Looks like nothing at all. Nice glitched, glitched shadows and empty space. Delightful, right? Anything else? I guess not. Like, what's the point of this? You can see down below where you've already been, right? But what's the point of this ledge? It doesn't go anywhere or do anything. It's like they had an idea they were going to put an optional dungeon here. They never populated it. Because there's, there's definitely nothing here. Look. Examine grave? Here lie Aurelia and Aureliette, who never saw the stars. So that's their graves. Well, I guess that's sad. Or something. <laughs> I actually enjoy figuring out the lore. I actually do. Death bird! I don't like this camera. This is bullshit now. It gets cheap hits. What? What the fuck? That didn't make any sense. What exactly did they expect me to do? I didn't want to do that. Oh my god. That sucks. Oh yeah, that's fair. It has a 100% damage area of effect. I was supposed to know that somehow, right? I had him beat, and then he says, Oh, I have a 100% damage area of effect that I'll hit you with. Oh, that's fair gameplay, right? It seems like the end game is very, very consistent with you can outplay the bosses, but they'll just do 100% damage moves to you, and there's nothing you can do about it. So you're just going to die, and you just have to deal with it. Completely stupid and unfair. Why does he hit me for so much damage and stun lock? What am I? I can't get out of the way. There's no way to get out of the way of that. He's not attacking! What is hitting me? There's no attack out! Nice fucking hitbox, you dumb piece of shit! I can't see. The camera rotated, can't see anything. This is so dumb. It's a terrible fight. Once again, you want to fight a big enemy, but you can't see anything. Can't dodge. Try to dodge forward, doesn't work. Yeah, it's dumb. I like real challenge. I really would. I'd like a really challenging boss again. We haven't fought one since, like, Mo. All the bosses are shit. They're all just giant bosses. They move the camera around so you can't see where to go or how to dodge. Here we go again. One poke. Look at my life. What? Huh? The, the second hit wasn't even a second hit. You could blatantly see there was no hit, no attack there. With a second stabbing that shouldn't have ever hit. They all have insanely huge hitboxes for no good reason, and they all hit you for like 80 to 90% damage, so there's nothing you can do about it when they do hit you. They're like, oh, now I gotta fucking magically try to heal myself because you took my entire life bar with one fucking hit. I got, I tried to get away, he fucking tracked and landed on my head. What do you want me to do? Look how far away I am, what? One hit insta-kills the horde. Now I can't get out of the way. You see a problem with this. Gee, I have 100% life and he instantly killed me. Wow, what great challenge that FromSoft put into the game. A 100% stun lock instant kill move. Totally not what I said is the problem with this part of the game or anything, right? No, 100% insta-kill move. Wow. 
even see what's going on. Where is he? I'm right up here, above you. He went up? He went up? Now how am I supposed to fight him up there? What? A giant skeleton killed me. The saddest part about it is it's not even anything original. We've already seen it. Give me an original boss here that's challenging and fun. Don't give me a boss that insta-kills you, stun-locks you, and has a bad place to fight it, and you've already seen it already. There's like four, four things against it. And now I don't even know where I am. Where did it teleport me? What the fuck? I'm not even where it was anymore. We gotta be in some kind of sunspot or something. There's no signal getting out. Oh my god. Terrible! Won't let me get my runes. I'm right on top of them. I can't grab them. They won't let me grab them. Grab the fucking runes, you idiot. Ice cold. What the fuck is hitting me? He's not attacking. <laughs> He's not attacking. Wow. We got milk and cheese. Remarkably bad gameplay. I'm dead. I pressed triangle. It didn't pick up my fucking rims. Oh my god. Remarkably bad. Oh my fucking god. Where did my health go? You're fucking kidding me. My whole health bar. One hit! Why have a health bar? Why not make it like an NES game where everything just insta-kills you? Why not just have- you get touched by something, you're just dead. My whole health bar's gone one hit! Are you out of your fucking mind? Oh my god. Why can't I hit him? The answer is, yeah, they're out of their fucking minds with this bullshit at this point. I'm getting tired of it. It's so dumb. Nowhere near him. What a challenging boss. Wow, that was really tough. Wow, yeah. Oh, man, he really got me with those high-level tactics of that boss. Really just quick kicked my ass. And, man, there. Wow. Totally not the same boss from before, only with way, 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 way more damage output, right? Right. Terrible. I'm gonna be honest, I really haven't been impressed by anything in the game besides Moog. Like, Moog was the last thing in the game that was interesting. Everything here is pretty shitty. We beat it. No big deal. Shitty boss. Same fucking thing you fought ten times. Just cheese it, cheese it, cheese it, cheese it. Cheese it, cheese it, cheese it, cheese it. Dodged. Fuck you. He dodged again! Someone tried to hit me with a projectile. I guess they did. Okay. Gotta get sighted. You fuck. What is going on? I have no idea what's happening. What the fuck? Alright, these explosions are getting a little ridiculous, okay? I'm getting a little out of control with this bullshit. What? Dude, what? I'm fully behind cover, and the explosion takes 80% of my health bar. 80% of my health bar. I I'm starting to have enough of the bullshit now. Really. I'm starting to get fed up now. Yes, officially. Ridiculous nonsense. A firebomb he's throwing from his hand is doing 80% of my health bar. The fuck are you talking about? Right back at ya, buddy. It's not even like a fair scaling. It's just like, yeah, let's completely fuck the player. Now imagine, now people are saying, you know, I'm over level. Can you imagine if I didn't have as much health as I had? That would be instant death every firebomb. Like literally every firebomb would just be, you're done. Start over. Oh, that's fair. Fair and fun gameplay. Can I heal? I guess not. They're not gonna let me hit it. It's literally never coming near me. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my God. I don't even know. Now, where was I coming out? I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay. Totally gay. Time to sneak and get a nice backstab on this shit. You fuckface. You son of a dick. That was completely a trap. And I don't like you. You fucking idiot. Should have kept your mouth shut. Oh shit. Whoa. He should have kept his mouth shut. He would have been stayed alive. What the fuck is the second guy? What the hell is this? 
complete bullshit. At least I got one, but damn, that was unfair. Commander Nile. Oh, it's the same guy from the swamp. You're kidding me. The same fucking enemy? Annoying that I've already fought him. At least, I, I, you know, when I previously fought him, I fought him on the horse. But why is it the same fucking boss I already fought? I already fought him in the swamp. Annoying, it's the same boss. What do you mean it wasn't the same? Yes, it was. He was exactly the same. He was summoning the guys. I already fought him. Why is it the same boss again? It's supposed to be a story boss. Another reused fucking boss. Holy shit. See you! <laughs> I saw him in the corner of my eye. A few moments later. Fuck, I did a lot of damage. I gotta run. No, roll, 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 roll your bow! Ah, shitty ass. Oh no! You retrieved zero runes. I did it again! There's not much I can do about that one. That one was pretty unavoidable. What is it? I, I don't want to do this again. Oh! It's you! I don't want to fucking fight this guy again. Oh no! Why might not work? What? I have no MP. fight him again. I don't. He's an incredibly frustrating boss because he does way too much damage. His fucking sword uh, hitbox is not where the sword is on the screen. It's bullshit. I don't want to fight him again. Yeah, that mimic sucked. It didn't do shit. You tried to hit me with the ability missed. Fuck, just kill me. I don't even care. Oh, no, I'm dead anyway. Whatever. Fuck this. If you remember in the capital city... I would hit him a lot and he would still fucking have poise. Why'd you have to do that? I really didn't have interest in fighting these guys. Oh no! Oh, fuck me. I gotcha! No, I'm stuck on these fucking trees! What did you say? Ow! Oh. Wait, what? Ah! Oh. People will enjoy seeing me suffer and die, which is what a lot of people are here for, let's be honest. Oh, hi, Johnny. Looks I didn't know it was you. Oh, God, look at this. Oh, you fuckface. He threw rocks at me. Let's be honest. We're in the end game now. The game's just gonna get tougher and more ridiculously unfair. Little enemies are, like, farting on me for 80% damage. I'm gonna get angry. I might need to bring back the halberd, quite frankly. Wow, I might need to bring back the halberd. Well, I... Right, again, I can't see the attack. Wow! By the way, I lost my, uh, my souls. I don't even care. It was like 30,000 at this point. I don't even give a shit. Can't hit him. He's dodging. His damage output is so tremendous, I can't not heal. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's doing my entire health bar each hit. Yeah, I'm gonna try to fight the other end here that has some cheese. Oh! Oh, it's the grab attack. He didn't use it yet. Now I'm dead. Yep, I'm dead now. Nothing I could do there because I'm trying to heal. I can't heal. He won't let me. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Yeah, this sucks. Still hit me in my ass. I don't like that it's two hits. It's a swipe and then an explosion after. You got milk. Oh, shoes. I didn't know. I didn't know he was gonna do it. He didn't do it. See, he's changing his pattern. See, the problem is there's nothing to hit. Nothing I can do to any of this. I couldn't get away. Nope. Couldn't do it. The cheese now is actually like a big chunk of piece of cheese now. Is actually this is gonna be a pain in the ass. It really is. I'm gonna have to get lucky. He's gonna have to very rarely do that grab attack, and I'm gonna have to try to get a bunch of hits. And if I stagger him, I'll probably win because of my damage output is decent. But yeesh, he is hitting for so much that every hit I have to heal, I can't not heal or the fight's over, and that's a big problem. That's a ginormous problem. For you. I tried to roll, nothing. Can't see because the camera's in my fucking dick. 
Can't hit him. See, it's so lame that I can't hit him. What even? Oh, come on. Can't even see that. Oh, uh, what? Come on. I can't see. Annoying as fuck. If I can't hit him half the time, I'm not going to kill him. I need to be able to hit the motherfucker, and I can't hit his ass. It's pissing me off. I don't care if chat wants to see Halbert or not. I need to do more damage output on this guy, and I need weapons that are going to hit him. My problem is the sword's too short range. I'm missing. Literally can't dodge anything. God damn it. You have to get to the boss to hit the boss. And this next fight is definitely going to have everything in it. Oh, fucking bullshit. I couldn't see him. There was no way to see him. Instant dead. Well, I got a lot closer that time. I rolled. I swear to God, I rolled. There was no way to see him. He appeared above me, and there was no way to see his movement with his body to dodge it. Stupid. Just bad luck. I couldn't see him because of the positioning of where he teleported above me. I couldn't dodge properly, and that was the end of that. The sword was just sucking ass. Can't see because the camera is fucking stupid. I tried to roll, couldn't do it. Oh, that's probably dead. Look at this. I never even seen that before. I didn't even know he had that. Well, we're getting there. Just again, more bad luck and instant kill attack. I didn't know he had and couldn't get out of the way. I tried to roll. I fucking tried to roll. I can't, dude, I can't roll now. I can't dodge anything. Yeah. What happened, for some reason, sometimes my timing is just off. And then I can't realign my timing at all. I'm completely off. And then sometimes my timing is like dead on. I don't know. It's like a clock, a clock that's mistimed. I'm just sucking. Are you here again? The meteor insta killed me. Even though I was running straight towards him, there's no other way to avoid it. It still hit me and insta killed me. Problem is you can't roll through it. If you do, you have no stamina. My problem right now seems to be stamina. I'm running out of stamina. It's, it's recovering a lot more slowly than I would like. If I run to him, I have no stamina to do anything. I couldn't, they wouldn't let me get up. After the stupid fucking slam, it wouldn't let me get up so I could heal. He was so slow, and then he immediately did a follow-up attack. I couldn't dodge. Jump A2, jump A2. I haven't done it once, you idiots. I didn't do that at all. I never did that. I only jumped and pressed L1 twice. It did a third attack follow-up. I never did. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Before we do anything, I'm gonna taste this move oh. and see what it tastes like. Well, he did it early in the fight, which he hasn't done, before, you know, very rarely. So I wasn't ready for it. I thought he was gonna teleport away. It's got a mild <clears throat> taste to it, but it is cheesy, too. Right. Meteor again. He's gonna do it again. It did it again. There's nothing you can do there. You have to run and just hope it doesn't hit you. It's RNG. That's the second time in a row. It beats me with RNG. That's not... What do you want me to do about that exactly? Fucking RNG. And there's no way to roll through it or anything. It's too fast. Oh, I couldn't see. This is kind of mushy. I saw him up there. And I'm like, okay, he's going to try to grab me. And the next thing you know, he's already in the grab animation. I couldn't see his body because of the camera. That shit is so cheap. It really is. You can't fucking see anything. How's the salt? I'm actually not salty at this fight at all. Sure, Jan. Nothing I can do. I'm too close. Get up! I'm about to end this man's whole career. I couldn't roll. He's in the way. His body was in the way and stopped me from rolling away from the explosion. His body prevented it. Damn. I'm actually not salty at this fight at all. They're not gonna... I was gonna say you're not gonna hit me and then they did bullshit and hit me. Fucking assholes. I'm getting hit. I can't move. Look at this. Oh, yeah. I'm stuck on a tiny rock. I couldn't move because there was a rock. They wouldn't allow me to move in any fucking direction. You stupid fucking game. Incredibly dumb. Boring. As I've said, these my opinion on these open world segments has gone pretty far down. Only because they're just the same shit now. The same exact shit over and over. They just really didn't try too hard to do much of anything original at this point in the game. It's like they kind of gave up on originality. Why am I not getting health from that? I'm supposed to get health every time I kill an enemy. I didn't get any back. Or did I? I don't know. That's stupid bullshit. His cartwheel hits me multiple hits? How does that even make sense? The answer is it fucking doesn't. It's stupid. Okay. This is really dumb. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Rolls up behind me from off camera. 
Right. How stupid. Fucking completely dumb. Dumb shit. Yes, I'm just gonna roll up directly behind you where you can't see and hit you several times with this thing. So essentially what it is, these Albinorix are the wheel skeletons. That's exactly what they are. They're the wheel skeletons of this game. They, at any time, they can just roll up behind you and combo you for no good reason. There's no way to avoid it or get out of the way because they roll incredibly long distance. That's just this fucking dumb as shit. That's fair. An Albinora comes up behind me and hits me with an unstoppable cartwheel. Fun. I'll fight him here. Oh, that's really fair. Yay. <laughs> Nothing I can do. I can't get away. Nothing you can do. I can't get away. You know, there's no way, no opportunity to get away from either of them. Just trying to make distance. Can't make any distance because there's no horse. What a great setup. Setup for disaster. God, I don't even care. Stupid. Well. Lands on me. Blood, oh, shitty blood rose, really? If only you could see anything in the fucking room! Darcy says if you actually have a torch in your hand, you can see better. I don't know if I want to. Anything down here? Yes! This is how you get the fucking item here. No, wait! Oh, no! Oh, come on! And now I can't fast travel. I gotta go through there again? No, I don't. I'm gonna kill myself. Fuck this. I only got 2,000 runes. I'm gonna kill myself right now. DSP. Fucking door won't open. Oh! He killed himself. There we go. That's better. All right, Mogi. Boss room is huge. I already forgot about that. Should have rolled sideways. My fault. That was a bad time to use that. Oh. Yep, I fucked up. I expected to die. Oh, instant blood. Lo oh, is mine. Oh, I have no idea how you dodge it because the whole screen goes red and there's no actual effect on the screen to show something hitting you. On top of t hitting me twice and taking all my health, he got health back. Here it comes. It hit three times. It hit three times. Roll there. He's doing it. Shackle. Absolutely not. Shackle did nothing. Damn. Dude, I just think he did enough damage that hit right there. It's kind of lame. There's no way to avoid it. Whoa, he charges. I can't see. I'm stuck. I can't move. He's locked me in the corner. I can't move. You look what he did! Look at this! That is really stupid. That is incredibly fucking dumb. There was no way out! Go ahead, tell me the game's totally fair. I love it. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. That was a good one. No, I didn't walk into the corner. He gored me into it with his fucking spear, you blind idiot. Whoa, Charlie. He did not- I didn't walk into the fucking corner. He pushed me in, stupid. I love people who want to blame me for that shit. Get the fuck out of my face. What a dumb thing to say. I put myself in the corner. Fucking FromSoft apologists are at hand tonight. I promise I'm missing. You see that? He's right in front of me. Both of my halberds are going through not only his entire body, but clipping through the wings. And the game is telling me that it's not connecting. It's from the worst hitboxes I've ever fucking seen. That is so dumb. That is incredibly stupid. I don't even know what to do. I, I'm, I'm, tra I'm trying to hit him. You know what I could do? I'll use the shackle. When he goes to form two, I'll try the shackle. That's not how it works. Maybe I can get some free hits in in form two. I don't need it in form one. In form two, it's, it'll be useful though. I do think it's probably the cheapest boss fight in the game because he gets guaranteed blood and there's nothing you can do. Guaranteed bleeding. There's no, there's no answer for it. You have to lose like all your health for no good fucking reason. It's annoying. I just don't understand why, again, giant boss, huge wings. I'm swinging directly through all of his body. It, it says, oh, you didn't hit him. No, I dodged it, piece of shit. Sorry, I dodged. I already got cheated out of fucking so much healing. It's stupid. I rolled right there. I totally rolled. And it says it's two hits instead. Bullshit. Roll! I didn't do the second attack. Sometimes when I do jump L1, he's doing a second L1 that I'm never pressing. I don't know why. 
like there's some kind of a command for an auto follow-up. I'm not intending it, but it's coming out. Couldn't get healing out in time. I, again, it did it. I didn't do it. I only pressed it once. I have no clue why that happened. There's some weird mechanic where there's an auto follow up, and I'm not trying to do it. But the game's fucking me over doing it regardless. It's getting crazy, stupid extra hits, and I don't want. I did it again. That wasn't me. That was not me. Yeah, it's, ha it's happened a few times to me now. I'm just ju just jump L1. That's all I want. Jump L1, which is the double slam. And sometimes he does a follow up attack. I'm not pressing it again. It's odd. I don't know if it has something to do with touching the thumbstick during the animation or something. I have no clue. But it, it's it's weird that it's happening. I rolled. It was doing a follow up attack. I never did. Dude, this sucks. Stop doing the things I'm not doing. I'm not fucking doing that follow-up attack. He's doing it of his own fucking free will. Which he's not supposed to fucking have. He's a video game character. How does he have free will? Ah! Oh, I didn't do this! I didn't do that! I rolled. Nothing. The shackle doesn't work at all on the second form. A few moments later. <sighs> you gotta love that they specifically give you an item that doesn't do anything. The shackles they claim is gonna work, it doesn't do anything. No I dashed forward, nothing. So the shackle literally is worthless. I don't know why you even have it. What are you supposed to do? Maybe it does work in the first stage of the fight? I'll try one more time. I'm just curious if it works in the first stage of the fight, because it doesn't work in the second at all. We're already in phase two. Well then, if we found a fair way to do the fight, fuck the first phase. Oh, I didn't know there was an explosion. Suspicious. I dodged through it, still hit me anyway. Wow, I'm using jump attacks. Why not enhance my jump attack? I didn't attack at all. What the fuck? I never pressed L1. This is pr there's something wrong with this controller. It's actually attacking when I'm not tapping L1. That's really fucking bad. I'm an end game and this shit is happening to me. That's terrible. Couldn't roll, he stun locked me. He stun locked me in the blood. Because once the blood started hitting, I was unable to roll. I figured he was going to swing or do the swipe. And I tried to roll and it just kept hitting me. My controller kept vibrating. And I couldn't get away. Not again. Fuck. I didn't jump that second time. That was queued up from before. What in God's holy name are you blathering about? I have no fucking idea. Do you guys want me to do this quick? You guys have been bothering me about this the entire playthrough. I'll just go fucking do it so you stop bothering me. Let's just fucking do this so people stop bothering me. Here it is. This is what people have been bugging me about the entire time. Great Jar Arsenal. I've never even used the cracked pots. Not once. You're not into the pots. You're not using them. I mean, you're never. this is a completely worthless place, I guess. Where am I? I'm here. Oh, no. It's over this way. He's supposedly like right here. I don't know. I think Altus Plateau is the worst part of the game. It's boring. The only cool thing here is the dragon fight. Everything else is pretty shitty. Well, excuse me. Fuck. Shit, I went the wrong way. I gotta go on the top of this bridge. I like that gold mask is just some idiot pointing with a fucking gold mask on his face. He's obviously dead. He's just fucking sitting there staring, pointing at the fucking Erd tree, you idiot. Objection! He's not doing anything. I actually enjoy figuring out the lore. I actually do. What the hell is he pointing at now? So he's not pointing at the Erd tree? What's going on? He's like posing. He's doing a weird pose. So he's kind of pointing, but then he also has this weird pose he's doing. Ha! <laughs> fucking weirdo. Push him in. Say, fuck off. Get your... <laughs> Go take the plunge. So I have to respec to do this, which is really dumb. So we actually have to go respec, as stupid as this sounds. Why does that one require intelligence for an incantation? That is odd. Of course, now I'm gonna be fucking heavy roll. No, I'm not heavy rolling. Holy shit. All right, anyway. Hmm, suspicious. I guess I gotta go back this way. Yeah, I don't I don't remember where to go. God, I need help. How do I get to this stupid thing you do the incantation at? So this is it.
It worked! It changed the statue. The statue changed forms. It looks different now. I don't know exactly how, but it's definitely looking different. I'm gay! Radagon is Merica. What? What the fuck does that mean? Anyway, this doesn't make any sense at all. How could they be the same person? How do you marry yourself? None of this makes any sense. I don't understand at all. I'm completely confused. Yeah, I see that. Tell him that Radagon is America. What did he give me? He didn't give me anything. He didn't hand me a damn thing. I have no idea. I always said I would use a guide for NPC quest lines that I can't figure out. I want to do them, so this is all lore of the game we would have missed if I didn't know it existed. So it's kind of cool, but honestly, it kind of looks like every other great sword. I thought it was going to look more unique. It doesn't really. It's kind of a little disappointing, honestly. They're both frost damage swords, too, I just realized. The ghost flame adds magic damage to attacks and has a bitter, bitterly cold bite. Mine scales better. And you know what? Mine has frost build up too. I didn't even realize that. All right, so supposedly they're on the bridge. I don't see them though. Uh... Oh, I'm on the wrong bridge. They're over here on this bridge. I'm on the wrong bridge. No wonder they're not there. There they are. How in the hell would you know to find them here, right? As he looks at the Erd tree, he does that now. What about the actual girl whose name, I forget, was it Was it Millennia, Milena, Marina, Mar Marica? Whatever her name was, the girl who was originally sitting with you at these points of grace. I don't care about this. <laughs> I'm telling you, take me to the Erd Tree. I don't care about this at all. She wants you to burn the Erd Tree. She says you have to find a way to burn the Erd Tree to remove the thorns so you can become Elden Lord. Haha. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Like, this is fucking annoying. Seriously. Stop that. Stop spewing that nonsense. It's dumb. I don't know what to do. I mean, I don't know how to... I don't know. You must solve the puzzle to enter. Wait a minute. Okay. They're auto-regenerating, which means there's a symbol or something I gotta do. Where could the symbol be? Sorry, I, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. I don't think it's up here. It'd be nice if I could see. I can't see a goddamn thing anywhere here. How am I gonna find the hidden symbol that I needed to do? This is really stupid. Oh, really? What? This? I don't get it. I don't know what you're talking about. Ugh. What am I doing? Okay, just tell me. Seriously, just fucking tell me so I won't waste any more time today. Oh my god. Where is this merchant that I never found? Why is this game like this? Holy shit, how are you supposed to know this is here? How the fuck are you supposed to know that he's here? The game is so effing cryptic. It's, it's out of control how cryptic this game is. You stupid, stupid game. Oh my god. Wasted my time. What a waste of my time. No, you piece of shit. Ah! Fuck this. I'm done with this. Liquid hot smack him up. Oh, what the? That's bullshit. Look where I'm standing. The magma wasn't even under my fucking foot. That was stupid. It wasn't even under me. The hitbox somehow hit me when I wasn't on it. You stupid game. Come on, man. That is so stupid. That is stupid as fuck. So the stagger killed me. Literally the stagger mechanic of the game killed me. Fucking gah. Oh, big boy. Oh no, they're comboing me! Come on! That's bullshit. They combo you and there's a wall and you can't get out of the fucking way. That is bullshit. Wow. El Cheapo. This is baloney. I gotta go get my fucking runes. It's bullshit. I swear to God, this better not be a fucking putrid tree spirit. I swear to God, if it is a putrid tree spirit down here, I'm just gonna quit the game. <laughs> not kidding. I, I quit. I don't wanna play anymore. If it's a fucking putrid tree spirit after this shit, I'm not- I'm not playing it anymore. I give up. And you can blame FromSoft. Jesus fucking Christ! I roll. Or... Jesus fuck! Wow, this boss is a fucking pain in the ass. You need to beat the game three times for the Platinum, you do? Well, I don't want to beat the entire game three times. Fuck that. Alright, this is dumb. You and your stupid sword. Yes, this is stupid. It's official. It's really stupid. Are you, dude, this is insane. Really, I'm rocking him with a combo. He just says, oh, I don't care. I just hit right through what you're doing, and I'll just fucking, you know, insta-kill you. Fuck you, you piece of dog shit. Poorly designed fucking piece of garbage. I'm gonna make him fucking eat my ass.
just now. Fucking dumb ass. Stupid. It's just dumb game design. It really is. Completely stupidity. Why, if I'm rocking him with combos, can he just attack right through what I'm doing and kill me instantly? Because the game is fucking shit. That is stupid. God damn. Completely dumb. Oh, we're gonna give you a horse, but let's actually design enemies that just can insta kill you when you use the horse. Ah! Oh, shit! Probably a boss. Probably another fucking infected, stupid tree monster thing. It's gonna be so dumb. He rots, huh? He's a rotter. Oh, God. Of course I died because the fucking game doesn't roll when I tell it to. It's a piece of fucking shit. I wouldn't have lost any health if it would have rolled, but it doesn't fucking roll. I rolled! Fucking roll! God damn this game! Look, again! It won't roll on command and it pisses me off. Just fucking roll through it so I can hit him. Instead I get hit and I lose half my health and I can't heal. It's pissing me off that it doesn't fucking work. One more time it happens, I'm gonna fucking punch... No, I'm not gonna punch anyone. I'm just being angry. I'm just upset. It was a boring boss who I killed 4,000 times already. He's still killing me because the fucking controls don't work. I roll. I fucking roll. I come on now. I'm stuck on the tree. Look, I can't move. Low IQ individual. Again? Come on, man. These guys are too easy. <laughs> fucking what? This is fucking bugs, dude. This is annoying because they did it on purpose. They put you in an area where you keep getting stuck against the shit in the area. So unlike the other fights where there was an open area in front of him to fight him, they purposely made it annoying as shit so you get stuck on the tree pieces. So you can't just straight up fight him. You can't. Instead, you're going to get stuck on everything around you. Fucking dickheads. And of course, they made it so again, everything two shots you in the game now for no good reason. There's no legitimate explanation why every enemy that you've already killed 4,000 times does 17 million percent more damage. It's just bad game design because it was fucking, I'll be honest, it's lazy game design. It's, oh, just do the same exact shit at the end of the game that you did the whole game already and don't actually try anything original, just make it hit for more damage. It's terrible game design and they've done it the whole game at this point. Of course, people don't want to hear that. They want to hear that their game is perfect, right? Nah. Look at the damage output! Are you fucking stupid? God damn, it's dumb! <laughs> and then there's a shockwave that hits me after, yes, of course. Not hard at all, just need my moves to come out and not get stuck on a wall. Oh, there's an invisible uh, bug dude! Oh my god, this is a major pain because this one doesn't go in a set, like a set circle. Instead, he like stops and staggers. Uh, is you think this is even worth it to do it? I wonder what you get for it. Probably junk. Ash of War White Shadows Lure. Yeah, it wasn't worth it. So what is this gonna be down here at the end of the river? Hopefully something good. I hope it's not something I've fought 17 times already. You, I mean, who am I kidding? We know it's going to be. We know it's not gonna be anything interesting. Death Right Bird? Oh, come on. I fought this guy a ton of times already. What about me? Where did Again, FromSoft bullshit. If it's gonna hit me for 100% damage, it should be hitting the boss, too. Be fair about it, right? At least have us both be hit by it. That's complete nonsense. And FromSoft knows it, and they don't care. Because they have your money, and they laugh at you. <laughs> what happened? Now, wait a minute. He didn't even touch me. Wow, that was great. He didn't even fucking touch me. I, I get destroyed. Shit. Again with this nonsense. Look how much damage it does. Out of your fucking mind. Like I said, this game has no concept of scaling. It really doesn't. Get a load of this. 
Now that's fucking bullshit. I couldn't move. That's bullshit. I'm stun locked. Fuck you, FromSoft. No, really, fuck you. No, I didn't get beat. I got stun locked by a fucking arrow four million miles away, and I couldn't move because of it. Completely stupid. First of all, how the fuck does an enemy from that far away hit me with an arrow perfectly when I'm riding on a horse at full speed? Bullshit. And then you fucking cheese my ass with that fucking combo bullshit. Suck my d Bullshit. That is bullshit. Pisses me off when shit like that happens. I wasn't outplayed. I wasn't beaten by the boss. I was beaten by the fucking stupid game setup. Complete nonsense. Now fuck these archer bitches. I might as well kill them, right? Because they're going to fucking attack me. So I better kill them now. There you go. This is bullshit. I can't control the horse. Go where I tell you. Actually, I'm pretty confused right now. Look at this nonsense. Ellipsian says you could use your horse here. Thank you, Ellipsian. I didn't realize that. Obviously. Crystal darts. Completely worthless. Light the four figures in the Ever Jail. Oh, hi. Invisible enemies? Yeah. But remember I found a torch earlier in the game that said it would reveal them? What torch was it? Ah, here it is. Oh, yeah, I can see him perfectly. There he is. Roll! What the fuck? These things are ridiculous. Can't hit it! How do I have no stamina right now? I can't- I have no st This is ridiculous. I can't heal. I have no opportunity to heal because he can teleport all over the place and come and close the distance. If I go two-handed, I can't see him. So I'm kind of fucked. Who the fuck are you? It's an Albinoric. You gotta be fucking kidding me. This is stupid. It's a town of trolls, basically. They, again, set it up to annoy the fuck out of you. Dodge this. Oh my fucking god. The arrows are homing arrows. You saw that, right? As I ran, they curved in midair and hit me. They also psychically know where I am. See that? Two Albinorics with homing arrows. Jesus. Yeah, that's really fun and fair when, you know, the enemy's fucking ammo curves around corners to hit you. That is pretty ridiculous, man. Oh, it's a fucking piece of shit. Yeah, it's a piece of shit pissing me off. How is that difficult? It's not. That's called bullshit. It's called lazy design of the of the endgame content. It really is. Pissing me the fuck off. They lazied out. They said that's that's acceptable. Just be lazy. Don't do anything unique or interesting. Just have lazy game development for the end of the game. Everything hits you for insane damage for no good reason. That is stupid. Skyrim does the same thing? No, it doesn't. Skyrim scales. Sky Skyrim is a scaling game. I mean, you can argue Skyrim's kind of easy, but everything in Skyrim scales to you. By the way, I get what rid of the stuff. What the fuck now. was that? And they reused all the enemies. Now we got hands, dogs, birds, all the same shit we already fought. Why in the, in the end of the game would they do anything original at this point, right? I mean, they already kind of gave up. So just reuse everything for the millionth time. You know, nothing interesting. A giant fighting... Oh, God. So would you like me to just skip all the content of the game, then? Is that what you would like? These enemies are all identical. Stop trying to defend their reuse of the same assets over and over. It ain't gonna work. The area looks cool. It's just so deflating when you get to these new areas and it's the same shit you've done a million times. It should be totally be new stuff. They just didn't care. It was so cool until halfway through the game and then it just became use the same asset over a million times. And, I mean, essentially, where are you? You're in frozen Kaelid right now. It just looks exactly like Kaelid with snow. No difference. Just so stupid, yeah. I don't even care. Uh, could they have some consistency in the fall damage? I've fallen way further than that before and not died. That is so stupid. I definitely have fallen that far before and didn't instantly die. What a waste of my time. Wow, what a big fall that was that I died from, huh? Stupidity. Thought I was doing all the content? I mean, honestly, these, these grindy optional dungeons are kind of boring. They're not very interesting. 
This is stupid. It's a really stupid dungeon. Incredibly annoying. Ugh. This is why I totally didn't want to do this. This is chalice dungeon content, is what it is. It's insanely grindy chalice dungeon-like shit from Bloodborne that's boring as shit. I get it, it's extra content, but that's kind of why I was skipping it, because I knew it sucked. And it does. I wasn't wrong. It sucks. It's boring. Thank you guys for telling me that. How the fuck would you know this? This is insanely bad. It's so dumb. You know, like, the rest of the game where every puzzle was like this, right? Do you get my point? Is it resonating yet? No, really. Is it resonating yet? I think I made my point. What was the point of being here? Anyway... I'm starting to get pissed off. There's no time- Guys, stop being fucking idiots. They're all screaming to play a fight a boss. There's no time to go fight any boss. It's stupid people, man. You really- You really show your intelligence level when you spam the chat with nonsense. Go fight a boss! What boss, you fucking idiots? It's the end of the stream! Spamming idiocy in my fucking chat to be annoying. Shut up! What's hilarious, the idiots are all spoiling the game, too. They're literally all sitting here spoiling the game. Well, you're just gonna get banned then. Fuck you. I'm gonna ban all of you. Every idiot spo spoiling the game for me and everyone else. Because you're a bunch of fucking entitled greedy fucks who just like, Oh, just do fight a boss, fight a boss. We don't even know what the bosses are. And you're spoiling what they are, where they are. What the fuck's your problem, man? Grow the fuck up or shut the fuck up. Jeez, people are such assholes. No, I didn't spoil the game. I don't even know what you guys are talking about. People are saying fire giant, fire giant. I don't even know what that is. I literally don't know what the fuck that is. And the idiots keep spamming it. And now I know that there's a fire giant in the game, apparently. Maybe a boss, I don't know. But they're dickheads spo spoiling it like crazy. No. Annoying idiots. God, I'm getting lost. Which way? It's too dark. Not this way. It's gotta be this way. It's so foggy and dark, I can't see where to go. But I seem to be at a loss for words now. That's not it. That's a ledge you could jump down to. Can't see. It's so fucking dark. Damn, this sucks, actually. I keep missing the ladder. See, there's people saying there's a ladder. It's so dark, I can't see it. This sucks that I did this at night. This is a bad idea. I gotta find the ladder. Oh my god, look at that. How are you supposed to see that at night? Damn, that's hard to see. Oh shit! I don't spoil myself on game. I don't know what's in the tower. There could be a memory stone. There could be something really good. If they're forcing you to do a whole emo motion to do this, do you think that maybe there's something better in there than just a freaking memory stone? Maybe not? How are you supposed to get over there? I genuinely don't know how to get up there. And there's an item I missed. This is like a really hard way to do it. Now I can go back to the academy to resume my study of glintstone sorceries. I also need a helmet called the Carolos Glintstone Crown. Where do you get that? Do I have it? I have a ton of glintstone crowns. I don't know if I have that particular one. I don't have it. Come on. How do I get it? Pretty sure any stone head will work. So now I believe what happens, just so you guys know, because I've seen someone else do this. Oh. He goes back to the academy. All you do is you go up the lift again. I don't spoil myself on game. Then he's sitting there dead. He got killed. I don't spoil myself on game. I think you earn like a spell or something, something stupid. I want to die. Am I supposed to continue her plot? <laughs> I could find the maiden, but I don't know if there's a point. I don't know where she would be. You guys said she was on the road, but... At those ruins north of the Lyurnia Highway. Where is the Lyurnia Highway? This? So this right here? Purified ruins? Right here? I don't know about this. This is a camp. This can't be it. Wrong ruins. What ruins? This is what I mean about this fucking game. She's close to the water. How the fuck are you supposed to know to do this shit? These NPC quest lines are stupid as hell, man. She's not here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, oops. Apparently, that's the truth of everything, is that all, all this, the shit everyone tells you in the game is complete bullshit. It's just everyone's out for themselves. They got their own little, oh, I made a religion, and order, this and that, and it's all bullshit. That the whole world's corrupted. Just bring it all down and have it start over. Cause it's all fucked up. Someone had just suggested that, that the Erd tree itself is just a, a parasite on the planet. That the Erd tree is actually not good in any way. So the Erd tree wasn't supposed to be here. It was a corruption. Fire giant. He's unique! A unique fucking boss in the game! Oh shit, you dick! Oh, you fuckface! I didn't know he was gonna do that. What a silly boss, he rolls around. It was unique, so I liked it. But I mean, that was a silly boss just rolling all over the place. And I beat him with the stupid swords that aren't very good. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. I got him, but he didn't die? 
He didn't die. Yeah, I agree. So that was that was a pretty easy boss. Like, even if I just gone in with like a, a prerequisite knowledge of what he was, I obviously would have just attacked the right foot, killed him right away. And that second form is piss easy. You just run right past everything, and keep hitting him. So yeah, that was pretty damned easy, in my opinion. Pretty easy boss. There's no lock to the end game. Just because you guys are yelling go to Halley Tree doesn't mean that that's correct and what I want to do. You guys just want to see me suffer, which I understand. I'm going to suffer eventually. So I could do Halley Tree after. There's no clear answer. Some people are like, it doesn't matter. Other people are like, oh yeah, it'll lock you in, so don't do it. And then some people are just like, Halley Tree, 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 Halley Like a bunch of idiots. So it's hard to determine what I, I really should do here or if there's a, a way that makes sense. People don't listen. <laughs> they really don't. <laughs> Halley tree, motherfuckers! Oh shit, I almost missed! Oh no, I swear to God! Hey! Alright, so you can't approach the Halley tree like that. You actually have to be careful. Fuck this. Ah! No, I slipped the drift! Oh, this is bad. I can't even move. I gotta run. I don't know where I fell before. I'm looking around, I don't even see it now, so I think I'm past it. I don't think I'm getting those souls back. Some people dream of success while you're gonna wake up and work hard at it. Yeah, I don't even know where I fell from, so I have no clue what to do. What the fuck? Why did I lose all my health? What the hell was that? I literally lost 80% of my health bar and nothing even happened. What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? They spray blood, and the blood does insane damage, I'm being told? Great. Because that was ridiculous, my whole bar. Like, what the hell? Hey, you missed, pal. Bullshit. Where did I fall before? Who spewed that rot? Was it the fucking flower? I think, oh yeah, look. Shit. Shit! I drank twice by accident. I didn't mean to do that. Already been here. Shit. Fucking butterfly. That's what the assholes gave me. Why do I care about preserving bolus? These are crappy. It sucks because there's some good items mixed in with really shit items. Well, excuse me. And there's the flower shit over there, and you don't know if that's good. So do I bother fighting it with one healing, you know? That's not... What the fuck? Why is he not switching swords like I'm telling him to? Dumb. Okay. Well, I have no healing now. That's right, this is what you get! Right, no more laser! There's one item I missed over there that was purple. Unless you guys tell me it's something good, I'm not going back for it. I don't know what it is, but it's too annoying, that area. I'm still short, aren't I? I'm short by like, just enough to do one. It's so fucking stupid. Watch, I'm gonna be short by like 100, because the game is fucking wants to, wants to piss me off. See? The game wants to piss me off. Be careful not to make a sound. Oh shit! Oh, you fucking piece of shit. It's very cheesy. I'll forewarn everyone. Again? Ooh, it's more mellow. Yeah, it's stupid bullshit. I lost 128,000. I don't fucking know. 
fucking game. I'm right in front of the guy, I can't hit him. I can't swing a second time for no explicable reason, and then I get stun locked with one magic attack. Fucking dumb game. Like I care. I should have just ran by it, like everything. Why did I even bother fighting it? Just fuck this. Fuck this dumb shit. This is what I should have done. By the way, I hate to say it, I've never met a bigger bunch of pussies than some of these people in the stream chat. Like, just leave. You just run away. Fight them later. Go do other stuff. Come back later. Why? I know, I don't need the runes. It's not a big deal. It's not like I needed the level. Oh no, I'm really hurting now, right? It's not the case. It's just stupid. <laughs> it's just fucking stupid that that happened. How did I miss? Wait a minute! I went right through the body. That was the fourth hit that would have stunned. And that went right through the body for no reason. Completely stupid. I hit you four times in a row with jumping attacks. That was the stun hit. And the swords passed through the body and didn't hit it. Fucking dumb shit, man. So dumb. Yes. The fourth hit, the critical one, passed magically through. Yes. It is more challenging, though. With for no reason. Combo. It's stun lock. Can't do anything. I can't make the game work. You know what I mean? I can't make my character swing in the correct direction. If the enemy's right in front of me and I swing, and then my character swings left instead of straight where the enemy is, I can't help that. But if you haven't noticed, many times during the playthrough, the enemies all change their direction. If you move, they will adjust to you and still hit you. But God forbid in the game that you have to change direction mid-swing, your character will never do it. Like literally, they're right in front of me. So swing and hit. There's a giant fucking horse there. It's very hard to miss. No, I'm gonna swing left. Okay, I can't fix that. I can't make the game have tracking with its attacks. All I can do is hope that the attacks will hit when I actually swing them out there at the enemy that's standing directly in front of me. And if it doesn't, I get stun locked for two hits and I lose. Stun locked. That's a two hit combo. You can't get away from it. You hit by one, you get hit by the second. That hit me? How? I was a way, a way, a way away from it, actually. Okay. You saw what happened at the end. It had no health. So I'm like, oh, I need like one or two more hits. So I start doing light attacks to do quick attacks to kill it. It's greed. Greed is massively strong. All of a sudden, it goes into a flurry of fast attacks that it never used before. So I guess what the game did, it gave it like a desperation flurry. So if it's about to die, it can just swing a ton and hope that it out DPSs you so it still wins, which is exactly what happened. Okay. There's the two hit combo. You can't avoid it. Once the first hit hits, it's a guaranteed second hit. I rolled forward, didn't work. Look, the rolls are delayed. Won't come out when I tap it. You're too slow. Roll back, still hits me out of my eye frame. Great. I have no stamina. Can't dodge. I, I rolled. I roll. The dude's not even strong. He's a weakling. The jump attack doesn't help against millennia. I don't think anything's gonna help against millennia from what people have told me. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. Pretty much one of the baddest ass bosses ever in any video game ever made. So yeah, I'm probably gonna lose several billion times. So I could go on that ledge, but after that, I'm not gonna survive that fall. That looks too far. Then again, who knows? Darzyx says you can use rainbow stones to check. We're far past doing stuff like that. I'm just gonna either jump or not. I mean, we're, I mean, over a hundred hours into the game. I, I think I'm tired of tiptoeing around. I'm either just gonna jump in like an asshole or I'm just gonna fucking say, fuck this, you know? No! Oh, fuck. Why can't I hit the fucking guy? Again, do I go up or down? Let me, okay, let me ask this question to the audience, if anyone knows. Ultimately, are we looking to go up or down? Down. I rolled, it didn't work at all. It didn't, it completely dropped my roll. Unbelievable. Doubtful. I hate that fucking thing. It's one of the most annoying enemies in the game. Thank God I got it. There's another one right in front of it. Yeah. 
So, I got that far. And why did I die? Because the poison stun locked me. What happens is when the poison hits you, you start to hear your controller, it starts going like this. And what that means is that it interrupts your attacks. So I'm in the middle of hitting him and I should have been able to keep going and I couldn't move at all. My body was stuck in place because of the stupid poison. It's not a huge deal losing souls at the end of the game for me because I'm already high ass level. It's not a huge deal, but it's very annoying. Jeez, this whole area is a complete fucking maze. Also, there is the 150,000 runes that I left behind. I could just leave them behind. I don't need to get them. Oh my god, something hit me. I don't even know what it was. That was me. What hit me? What is hitting me? There's another knight? Who the fuck is that? I'm fucked. I could... Wow. There was another knight that was completely invisible. Who the fuck was that? Well, I'm not getting my 150,000 back. That sucked. Sucks to be you. What a serious dickhead. I tried to roll, it didn't work. Let me get out of here. This is so dumb. Death counter should be 689. Fine. I don't even care. Fine. Here. I'll make it say 1,689 if you want. I, the death counter means nothing to me. Is that enough? Watch it be just short. I'm, I guarantee you it's going to be just short. Ready? Ah! This game has done this to me at every turn. Every fucking time I want to level up, I'm short by like a couple hundred. I'm not even mad. That's amazing. Absolutely fucking ridiculous. In this ending, everything becomes vile and cursed, like all the monsters and shit that he defiled. These are not happy endings. These are terrible. If it's not good, I'm not, I'm not, I don't care. Now I'm really confused. I don't even know where I am right now. I just, I, lo I got lost. I was headed down. Now I'm in a bug area. How did I even end up here? It went around the fucking tree. It did. It turned around the tree perfectly. It hit me. There's the follow-up that I didn't do. I only ever press it once when I jump. But somehow it gives me extra attacks that I'm not doing. Somehow I better call an exorcist. What? I didn't do that swing. Come on, man. I did not do it. Now the gravestone interrupted my attack. The gravestone blocked my sword. It's so stupid. And now curves. Oh my god, these guys are so annoying. Okay. I didn't do that one. I only pressed it twice. It's crazy that it does extra swing when I'm not doing it. That's it. We cleared the whole area. That's all that's over here. Nothing special. Of course. Do all that work. Not even a hidden item. God damn it. Wow, that was a real waste of time. I wonder why they even put that area in the game. Who the hell needs those items? Not me. This. You gotta be kidding. I missed. Sure I did. It's so dark. This sucks because I can't see anything. I wish I knew where I was going. I can't see shit. I could go up there and I don't know where that'll take me. Is that where I started? I don't know. I kind of feel like this is where we started. Hmm, suspicious. Where'd he go? He fell. I said jump. What the hell? Oh, uh, that was made no fucking sense at all. What the fuck? What was that? That made no fucking sense in any way. All of a sudden, I was pushed by nothing. Nothing was hitting me, but my body, like, lost its balance and rolled and fell off the ledge. And now I can't get anything in that room. That didn't make any fucking sense, man. This is such a pain in the ass. They made this so difficult with enemies up there to snipe you. How did I miss? Right. All right, let's go get my ass kicked for the first time. You know this is going to be a, a fucking thorough ass whooping. All right, here it is. Everyone wanted this. Your first sight of millennia, I guess. I've been waiting for this. And then we'll have a whole a whole hour of trying to beat her, which probably ain't going to happen. I am millennia. Millennia. Blade of Mikola, And I have never known it. And you're not going to know it now either. Shit, there goes all the hell. She gets it all back. That combo's the worst. Because then she gets all her health back. Yeah. You can't defeat a protagonist! Now I kind of understand why she's so tough. Who is the fuck else? Yeah. I blew it totally. Jesus! Alright, fuck it. I'm just gonna pop the flask. Wow, it did absolutely nothing. It, it only absorbed like the very fine, tiny first hit. 
worthless. Watch. Told ya. Not even worth it. I knew it. As soon as I go to heal, this game is all about reading your heal and just counter hitting you right through it. Just dodge it. See, I can't get her health. I can't get her health down. Because every time it looks like I'm gonna get her health down, she does that flurry. Told ya. What did I say? Wow, I was totally rolling. She was like, no, how dare you? See, she moves, and then all of a sudden, you can't jump at her anymore. You try, and the game makes you jump backwards and shit. That's so dumb. J keep jumping towards her. Why jump in the wrong direction? That's bullshit. Why? She's right there. Dude, see what I mean? It's complete nonsense. She's right fucking there and I can't hit her. I'm getting her down to the point where she's about to stagger and then she does that move that you're done. You need like full stamina to dodge that and the problem is I don't think she ever uses it unless it's in retaliation for you doing a ton of attacks. I can't recall her ever doing that once when I wasn't or when I had full stamina. It's like she's waiting for your stamina bar to be nearly empty to do that move and then you just can't get away from it. Now you notice something. She tracks me, and as I'm moving around, she can still hit me with these combos. Even when she's doing that jumping floaty move, she still comes down and hits me. But if I do my jump attack, my tracking doesn't work. It's bullshit, and that's how exactly how the game is, and that's how every fucking FromSoft game is. Every enemy has every advantage. You have every fucking possible disadvantage. It's completely unfair. Oh, what happened? It completely dropped my input. She's not letting me heal now, see? Nope, she won't let me heal. I guess you just have to be prepared to die. And I can't track what she does. There's no point to this. I don't know what to do. Do I go forward, try to run through her? Do I try to go backward? God. I tried to roll. At least she did it before she had, I hit her. Is that way she doesn't get any health back? I absolutely had tried to roll there. He just had, didn't want to have anything to do with it. Look. Wow. Tanked it. She's, it's weird how certain attacks she has give her like 100% poise. When she does the spin kick, when she does that stand up move, whenever she's flipping. Now, what happened there? How did I miss exactly? I don't even understand how I missed the attack. I slammed directly into her body and he whipped. Wow, I did hit her. But then she impaled me. She tanked it completely. I definitely rolled. Complete bullshit. Doubtful. Roll. I just wanted two rolls. I wanted a second roll after the first. Wouldn't give it to me. And there's nothing you can do because she reacted to my roll with the grab. So there's nothing I can do to get out of the way. I jumped. Pretty dumb. I'm jumping and it's coming out so late that it can't be effective. Yep, now here we go. Every time she does a sidestep, it's completely nothing I can do about it. Roll! I did it! As soon as I saw her body start moving, I rolled. The game's so sluggishly bad. It won't let me dodge it. Stupidly bad, man. Stupidly slow. The truth of the matter here is the tough part is her fucking her flurry attack. If she didn't have that attack, it wouldn't be so bad. You could probably like wear her down, whittle her down. It wouldn't be a big deal. But that flurry attack is what's getting you, man. I tried to roll, nothing. Roll! It still won't roll! But the eighth missed roll this one. He keeps not tracking her. It's so stupid. Somehow with. Why? Why are you attacking left? She's right there. If I were there in real life, I would be able to hit her. What the fuck were you expecting from me with that display? The lock-on system is so dumb, he swings the wrong way. It's too hard to turn and swing in an adjusted direction. Dodge this next attack if you can. It's 
guy sucks. He's a terrible warrior. You have to roll so early for it to come out there. It's pretty dumb how early you have to roll. What the heck? I couldn't even... The camera spun twice around her as she jumped. What the fuck? How am I supposed to tell what to do? The camera can't even decide which way to point. <laughs> Yay! Gee, I wonder how I lost. The same thing again. Since everyone seems to complain that my death counter is always off, I'm just gonna add an arbitrary 15 additional deaths to the death counter. Because I don't know how much I actually died in this playthrough, nor do I care. But there's people who actually bitch about it. So I'm just gonna add 15 deaths just for the hell of it. I tried to dodge it and it fucking just hits right through what you're doing. It's so dumb. I press dodge and the game's so delayed it won't let me dodge the fucking move. Roll, please. Now I can't roll. Huh. Roll forward. What happened? That one move is all that beats me. That's it. If she didn't have that move, she would be deader than dead. It's that one stupid fucking move. And I'm trying different strategies. I'm trying roll forward, roll back, roll back, roll forward. I'm trying different stuff. She tracks you with it. If you stagger her and she does it right after, you can get away by running. But outside of that, like, it's ridiculous, man. It's the one move. It's literally the one move. It's a one move fight at this point. I can beat everything else she does effectively. I can't beat the one stupid overpowered move. I couldn't do it because I was against the wall. I couldn't dodge the triple stab. Yeah, she won't let me heal. She won't let me heal at all. I got away from the attack that time, but then what she did, she just kept doing the dash triple stab, dash triple stab over and over. So I could never recover from it. What you could do, you can stagger it. I should have jump attacked it. The second time she did it, I should have said, oh, fuck this. And I should have just jump attacked it to stagger her and reset her. So then I would have been able to heal when she backed away. What? What happened? That's never happened before. She's never grounded me with that move. I've been able to jump and hit it. They added a jump mechanic, which is very powerful, and then a camera lock-on system that is shit. So you always whiff if she moves when you're jumping. You can't just turn and hit. Like in real life, if I jumped at someone to hit them, and I didn't swing yet, and they move, am I committed to swinging in that direction? Of course not. It's actually easier to attack someone in real life than it is in this game. All you've proven is that you're brain dead. I'm not even fucking kidding. Fuck off. If someone was actually walking around me in real life, I'd be able to hit them easier than in this game with the lock-on system. You know, <clears throat> the bottom line is, again, I can be good at games if I want to. If I actually want to take a minute to try to be serious with it, I can do it. It sucks so bad. When you play the game, you see shortcomings of the combat engine during the gameplay, but you kind of let them slide because you're still progressing. You're having fun, even though the fights are kind of one-sided towards the enemy. If you use the tools given to you, you can pretty much persevere, whether it's by leveling, whether it's by finding a, a move like the jump attack that I found incredibly useful during this playthrough. But in this fight, all the shortcomings of the combat engine are exposed. The tracking that doesn't work, the unresponsive roll, the lagging, the input cues, all the things that FromSoft had opportunity to fix over the years, and they didn't bother because people kissed their fucking ass constantly. The things that all other games have moved past, games like Neo and other FromSoft style Souls games don't do that shit anymore. Only this game retains the old style shit. Oh, what? Well, the good news is she takes lots of damage. The bad news is I don't know any of her attacks. So there's nothing I can do about it. I have to keep toughing through the first form to finally get to the second, which is going to be a pain in the ass. And here's why. Because in a game like this, the first form is harder than the second form. I've actually been saying this the entirety of my run in this game. Here's the problem, though. The first form is such a pain in the fucking ass that I don't know if I'm going to be able to consistently beat it. It may end up being that I just lose a million times to the first form and every once in a while I get to the second, but then I can't learn the pattern because because I don't get to fight it enough. This is actually a problem with old school NES games where enemies would have like second or third form bosses, but the first form was so hard, you would never get an opportunity to really get to it and learn what you were supposed to be doing. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. That didn't work. She did it again. She 
She has it in the second form too. The same waterfall bullshit. She has it, man. I got ya. Even running full speed across the screen, she caught up with me. Running full speed away from her. It's really a one move fight. It absolutely is. If she did not have that one move, this would be a pretty reasonable boss. Why am I? It even makes sense. She's not doing a. That was not a poise attack. I mean. Why even fight? Look where they put me. Look where the fuck I am. I'm stuck in a nub of the tree in the wall. Look, I can't move at all. Of course, I go to heal some stabs. I have no health to, to take the hits. Another one. Bro. Here's something that people don't think about. Imagine if the AI actually was 100% reactive to what you did. Imagine if the AI could read what you were doing and immediately do a move in response all the time. unbeatable because every boss fight the bosses have abilities that are just so overpowered compared to your abilities just think about this every time she sees you try to roll she does that grab on command just boop done it comes out so quick she'll grab your roll every time and insta kill you it's pretty pretty scary to think about that thank god that, that it's it kind of an rng selection of moves and the bosses and jumps off can you imagine if they were that smart and they could just select exactly what was the right move in every situation now i can't roll i tried to roll come on give me the fucking move that i've done a million times before Stop dropping my inputs and shit. Fucking laggy ass controls. I rolled! I totally rolled in reaction. It's so fucking delayed. You're already dead. Now she does this. Now how cheap is that? She does the grab, you're getting up, and now she's gonna do the she knows you can't get away from. You see? That was perfect. They seriously should move away from this, but they won't, because now they've sold insane amounts of copies of this game. So, the most popular version of this style of game will be unreactive sluggish control, which is fucking stupid. When you've got other franchises doing it better, Neo has reactive controls. This does not, it just fucking doesn't respond. Aww. It's so in input delayed. Look at the damage output. Insane. I'm never gonna get damage on her. Look! Oh, come on! Stop reading the fucking inputs, you fucking bitch! Three times in a row! Three times she read the heal! Are you serious? Insanity is doing the exact same fucking thing over and over again. Oh, shit. Expecting shit to change. Wow! Three times she read the heal! Oh my god! I'm trying- I'm still trying to learn. Can't roll, I'm trying to roll. It wouldn't roll once that whole sequence. How dumb was that? The entire sequence I couldn't roll. Oh really? Now I'm done. Yeah, look at that. Complete ridiculousness right there. She fucking did it right in the middle. She never does it then either. She never does it then, and she decided to do it. It's time for us to go back to a spec that makes sense. Higher DPS, higher stagger, smash the shit out of her. I want to be able to do the dual halberds build. I want to make sure that both halberds are plus tens. My problem is I'm now rusty because I haven't fought her in like 40 minutes. So now, actually about 30 minutes. I'm coming to get you. Lipsian says run away before you use the flash. You have plenty of time to buff so it doesn't track. That, that attack doesn't track at all. I thought it did. Okay, let us... Get to the halberds, and where the frig are they now? Because I haven't used them in a, in a while, actually. Oh, uh, I have to find them. I passed them, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I did. The fuck are the halberds? Okay, gargoyle black halberd plus ten. Oh wait, I already maxed them. Oh, wait, it goes up another level. 
Oh, no, I'm so stupid. This is how you make it plus 10. So now we need to respec. So, uh... Where's the golden halberd? There it is, I'm blind. Oh, shit. I gotta equip my freaking stupid, my dumb thing to cast incantations to buff. Ugh. That's gonna put me on heavy load for sure. What do people say is a good vigor rating? 60? 35 strength? Do I need 35 strength? Let me also look at what I took a picture of before I respect to the intelligence build. I was only at 44 vigor. That was one of my major problems. My vigor was very low. 21 mine gets you 104 MP. Nah, I don't think I need it though. I'm only gonna be using it for buff spells. I'm not gonna use offensive spells right now. I'm trying to overwhelm her because I have better poise and damage output. But she's fucking reading my stuff and doing the right move to stop it. I don't want to play it so, like, afraid and casual. I want to, like, start comboing her and staggering the shit out of her to make the, the first... I want to make the first form easier so that way it doesn't become, oh my god, it takes so long to get to the second form. It's such a chore. I... What was that? I pressed back and circle? She started doing some animation. I didn't even know what it was. I don't know why, what that was and why I got hit. I have no clue. Why did that whip? You saw that? Sometimes, roll. Something's going on. It's absolutely something's going on. That's not doing what I'm telling you. Something's going on. It's not time. -free. It's so weird. It's like the timing started starting to be off in the middle of the fight. Also, I don't like that I'm missing. Did you notice that? Sometimes I'm doing jump attacks and it's showing the halberds actually passing through her body, but there's no hit. What the fuck, man? It's really starting to piss me off now. Their bullshit hitbox is the fucking game. I put up to it for a certain amount, but it's the fucking hardest boss. Can the hitboxes please fucking work? Boys. Always end it with the fucking bullshit boys. Oh, what's going on? I couldn't roll. I tried to roll those two hits and he wouldn't do anything. Hey, you missed, pal. Jump, I can't move. I keep getting locked in place and I don't know why. That's just, it's happening. I think the halberds lock you in, in an animation or something that I'm not doing. He won't move after the moves. With the swords, I was able to move right away. With the halberds, I'm getting like, locked in place and I can't get out of my animation. I'm getting locked into animations I don't want. And I don't know why it's doing that. Wow! She went insanely far. I thought I was far enough away it was gonna stop in front of me and I was gonna be able to roll through the second part. No. Nope. Wow, again! Seriously. That was not good. I don't like this, you did twice. It's fucking annoying bullshit. I'm done. She decided to do it a third time. So RNG not favoring me right now. Now I didn't get greedy. I need to do that. I need to overwhelm her so she staggers. That's what I'm trying to do. I have to overwhelm her to stagger her. That way she can't keep doing that bullshit. If I had hit her one to two more times, she absolutely would have staggered. What the fuck? You see my point? So that blatantly went through her and the game claims it didn't hit. It went right through her fucking body. How can I fight a super boss when my attacks that are blatantly going into her body miss? I'm, I'm getting spun around attacking backwards for no reason. It's like I told you guys, when you fight a super boss like this, the combat engine's problems get exposed. You can blatantly see bullshit happening. Like, come on. Just hit. She's right fucking in front of me. No. Pass through the body and no connection. Okay. Right. Yeah, that's top tier combat engine right there. It's actually not, I hate to say it. If they had refined it for this game and made it better, I would have been very pleased. They didn't try at all. It's the same fucking Dark Souls combat engine with a jump attack. It's fucking broken, man. Whoa, I didn't do that. He does the follow-up by himself. I swear to God, I didn't do it. The game does the follow-up by itself. And I get fucked. That's bullshit. I'm not, that's, he keeps doing it over and over. I don't know what it is that causes him to do it. Because I jump and I only tap L1 once. I don't mash or double tap. I jump and just tash L, just like this. That's all I'm doing. So what is causing him to do the follow-up when I'm not tapping it easy? 
I don't know. We're gonna dodge for some reason. Inexplicably. What the fuck? Why is he... He's rolling so fucking late. I'm not rolling then. There. Oh my god, I'm dead. That attack is ridiculous. It tracks no matter where you go. You have to dodge the di the dip the dive perfectly. Then you have to roll a second time to dodge the explosion. Then you can actually fight her. But do you see the problem? It takes so long to get to the second form, you can't learn the second form shit. You have to get lucky. It's fucking stupid. She's too fast for heavy weapons and jump attacks. No, she's not. I'm staggering her. I'm hitting her and staggering her. Look at this, we both missed. He missed again! <laughs> How ludicrous! What's the point of a lock-on system where your guy jumps the wrong direction repeatedly? Why have a lock-on then? Very annoying that we- it, it, the tracking is so bad that I just- I get behind her and I can't hit her. She's wide open, I'm behind her, and I just can't hit her. It whiffs over and over and he continuously jumps to the wrong direction. Continuously. I'm with come why why did that go through her body now I'm dead just, just put it down why she's right there it shows both halberds coming down into her body and it doesn't connect dude this is fucked up the swords were hitting better even though the swords have less range the swords were actually hitting her better the fucking hitboxes are terrible how dumb it hits it's not staggering now why not I couldn't even see it. I couldn't even see it. We know what to do. As soon as you get to form two, you wait. Then you roll away. You wait for the flower to go away. You dash up and you get a good amount of damage in on her and hopefully a lot of stagger. Why am I attacking the wrong direction? Why does he not turn and attack the right direction? Why does he continuously swing the wrong way? Why am I missing? God damn, this fucking engine sucks. Just fucking hit the bitch who's in front of you. Stop swinging left, right, and all around. Fucking spinning idiot. Are you dizzy? Is there fucking beer in that Estes flask or wine? You can't fucking see straight, you dumb shit. Hit her! She's right in front of you. Hit the bitch. Again, wrong direction. What are you doing? <laughs> I pressed jump when she attacked me. He jumps that late. You think so? Why is he jumping? I, <laughs> I fuck this. Why is he jumping? I don't have enough healing to win this now. Just kill me, you stupid idiot. He keeps jumping so late. He's jumping so fucking late. It's queued so early, and it comes out like a half a second or more later after I've already been hit and interrupted. Stop fucking doing things so late. God damn this game. I'm just angry at the combat engine right now because it fucking sucks. I'm tired of the delay. I just want the game to fucking do it when I press the button. I want the move. Not two, three seconds fucking later. Dog shit. Of course, Ultimate Toys attack is so fast. You can't read it. Right, I can't hit, she's right in front of me, but I can't hit her, because he jumps and attacks right instead of straight into her body. That's not me, that's the game engine. The game engine needs to be improved. I rolled and it doesn't come out. I, look how late it came out, you saw that shit? 
It did roll insanely late. When you see the roll come out that late, you know it's bullshit. I pressed it at the right time, the game delays it, and then you fucking get it super late. They're out of their minds. Wow, I couldn't see. The camera went into my body. So there was no way to see where she was so I could dodge her. Right. What a great placing for the camera, huh? Can't see? That's... The sword trapped better. The sword would trap better. If she did that, I could hit her. I can't hit her with these. They go... They're slow to trap. So if she whiffs, I get screwed because I can't punish her after. Yeah, I can't do anything about it. It sucks. The jumping attack is better, but the ground attack is worthless. And on top of that, I, it looks like it doesn't track as well as the swords. It's just weird that the swords would turn when she jumped and these don't. How does that make any fucking sense? The answer is, it does it. It makes no fucking sense at all. Zero. Just like the game. See? What do I do there? I have no idea what to do to that. She get all her health back with that. See? Halberds just stop. Yeah, this sucks. The halberds are getting into, like, not coming down and hitting her from above. The swords were. This is really confusing because the halberds are supposed to have more sta more poison stagger and they don't apparently. She read me. She read my move and decided to punish my heal. There's really no point in continuing. She has all her health back now. It's a waste of time. Again! Yeah, see? This is bullshit. When I had the swords, the attack still came out. When I jump, okay, and I attack with these halibuts, if she hits me during the jump, my attack interrupts and I don't get it. When I was jumping with the, sword, with the swords, the attack came out anyway. So what's the difference here? That sucks. Because I was doing so well with the magic swords. Of course, I felt like I wanted more damage output, which is why I went to these. And these are doing more damage, but if I'm missing half the time, what's the point? It's a waste of time. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Finish her. You think that was enough damage? Do you think she does enough damage? I don't know the moves. I don't know what to do because I don't know the moves yet. I can't see! Her wings block everything! Look out! Dash, I knew she was going to do it. I couldn't move. Well, let me. Stuck in the wall here. I want to die. Just so much damage. I'm trying to read the attacks. I learned the dive, it dives, and then she thrusts. I know that. That's about all I know. Because her attacks are blocked by the stupid fucking wing, so I can't see her body animations to react to it. I'm learning pattern, like, fight one, I feel, unless I really fuck it up or she keeps doing the stupid waterfall thing, I can get to phase two. That's bullshit. That she could do the kick and then the poise move? Because it's two ultimate poise moves back to back and you can't do anything about it. I'm rolling right now and it never came out, so she got health back she didn't earn. Bullshit. Okay. I tried to roll, I swear I tried to roll. Get a load of this. Well that was fair, she immediately did the waterfall dance. <laughs> immediately, giving me no chance to do anything. I can't even roll, fucking stupid. Laggy fucking control. No, then I, I might as well just to let her kill me now. Just kill me. Go ahead. There's no point in continuing. She uses every poise attack through what I'm doing. I can't hit her with the regular attacks I can usually use. She uses a poise attack in the middle of me attacking, so she's going to get a free hit. Just kill me. I'm not even going to continue.
I can't hit her now. It won't attack. Ever. Right, she just keeps interrupting. I rolled back, he rolled forward instead. I was holding back and he rolled forward. Does it make sense? I rolled. I swear to God, I rolled. It won't come out when I do it, and it's pissing me the fuck off. Oh, oh, she attacked through it, as if I'd never done it. Wow. But not for me. Oh, that's waterfall? Oh, I'm done. I didn't know that was waterfall dance. I didn't even know, because the animation looks different. Really? People are saying if you run towards the attack, it might work better. Oh, I'll have to try that. If you run towards that attack rather than away and try to dodge. Okay. I did the wrong one, didn't I? Yeah, I keep doing flame cleanse me, I think. By accident. Bullshit, I can't, now I can't dodge. Yeah, I can't dodge out of the way. He won't even, tra look, he won't even track her. The camera hasn't focused on her yet. You notice that? The camera wouldn't focus on her even though I was locked on. Bullshit. I shouldn't have gotten hit there. Bullshit again. Here we go. Now I'm stuck in the corner. Look where they put me. They put me against a fucking tree stump. Come on. Get out of there, you stupid bitch. Roll! Why is he jumping? I tried to fucking roll, he jumped. Wow. <laughs> the controls are so delayed, I can't even get what I want to come out. I'm serious. It's like I'm doing a move, and the next move that comes out is the move I did a second ago. So I'm like, I'm already into the next thing I want to do, and I, the other move that I did a second ago is coming out. So I'm so delayed at everything that I'm trying to do in the fight, it's like a fucking insane lag. Like, I feel like I'm playing an, a minute in the past, trying to get stuff to come out. It's fucking dumb as shit. I couldn't, I couldn't run. The game wouldn't let me run. You saw how slow he was? I was holding circle and the game refused to let me run after the attacks. Fuck this. I'm gonna use flame attacks. Wow. Even that far away. Roll. Where's my roll? I attack the wrong direction. I get hit. Fuck this fucking bullshit. Attack the wrong direction. Now I wonder why I get hit. Because he doesn't track the fucking lock on his shit. You can't get out of the way of waterfall dancing point, point blank, so just give up. Can't roll now because I'm against the wall. There's nothing I can do. Yep. She does a dash forward fast move I'm against the wall, so I can't get out of the way because I'm rolling back into the wall. Nothing I can do. Again, this fight is serious RNG. You have to absolutely get lucky and hope she doesn't hit you with the fastest moves and the fucking waterfall over and over. Stun locker. She's being cheap as fuck. Now I'm done. Wow. You want to talk about cheap? She does two of the healing triple slash flurries in a row. Then I can't do anything about it because she does fucking waterfall. That's insane cheapness right there. Look who's talking. I'm doing good because if you get the good RNG, you, I know how to avoid all the other attacks. It's the fucking, the triple dash slash. If she does it twice, you can't avoid it. There's not enough stamina to do it. And if she does waterfall at up close, you're fucked. She literally did two things you cannot avoid if she does them back to back. You're gonna lose all your health. If you jump towards her to do anything or you're walking towards her and she does waterfall, it's over. Just give up on the fight. There's no point complete waste of time. What am I going to do? Dodge a me a hundred times, lose all my life anyway. She gets all her life back. I use all my flash. Why am I playing it? I just got to get good RNG where she doesn't do it repeatedly. It worked. Running under it works. Awesome. Thank you guys for that. I'm fucking out. I read the script and I know we get past it. Just a matter of time. I 
can't heal. I can't learn her new attacks because she does so much damage output in the second form that I can't learn the attacks. I'm trying to learn what's safe, what's not. Most of it is not safe. And those broken attacks are fucking crazy. That clone move is stupid. You gotta be so far away. If you can get way far away, then it's good because then she dashes forward and is open. But man, that's a pain in the ass. Come on, commit to a move that's not the waterfall. Hey, guess what? Nope, waterfall. I couldn't roll! Did you see that? He, like, got stunlocked in a, in a run animation and couldn't stop. What was that? I've never even seen that happen. It's getting to the point where I think what I should do is just fucking seriously just keep doing the fucking flame attack over and over. There's nothing I can do because I can't get my bearings to start the fight. She just keeps doing the high chasing boys attacks. I can never get back to square one and now she has all her health back. Roll. Oh, she slashes through the roll. Of course she does. Roll! Why can't I roll on reaction? Just keep getting hit. A roll still hits me. Like, come on. Fucking do it. Roll! Dumb fuck. I can't move right now. I got locked into a move I never did. I never did that attack. Not again. I seriously never did. The game just gave it to me. <laughs> right, you know what? Here we go with the bull. She gets all her health back and I can't get out of it. <laughs> Millennia is 110 against zero for the jumping strategy. Okay, good for you. 806? All right, how about this? Here we go. 825. We're at 825 deaths now. Here we go. We're getting there. We're getting to the thousand. That's how much I care about the fucking death counter. I'm taking on the most challenging FromSoft boss ever. Oh, I care about the death counter right now. Sure. Yeah, if I was an asshole, maybe. Scratch. Ran out. Oh, I didn't know that's what she was doing. I don't know the animation. Suspicious. It looks it looks totally different in the second form. Wow, she said no heal for you. I'm on my ass. I can't get up. Did you see that? I got knocked down somehow, and I couldn't get out of the way. Yeah, I see that. I I got knocked down, and he wouldn't get off the ground, and she got three to four free hits. What the hell was that? I've never seen that before. She comboed me when I was on the ground as if I were riding my horse, and the horse got taken out, and then you get stun locked on the ground for a while. That's literally what happened to him. He couldn't move. This one guy left a comment on my video. He goes, oh, I beat her in like an hour by summoning, by using this stun locking spell because she was distracted, and then I did this, and, that, and and someone's like, damn, I mean, it's, it's legit, but if you're actually trying to beat the game's head up like Dark Souls, <laughs> it didn't work at all. I tried. It didn't even knock her down, right? I think it maybe knocked her down for half a set, and it didn't work anymore. Yeah, bullshit. I try a new strategy that worked one time when I tried, but I had no FP. This time I have unlimited FP, and she gets up through it. And now it's like, why did I even bother? It's already over. Can't get away. She waits for me to have no stamina to do that. She reads it. She looks at your stamina bar, and she's like, oh, you can't, there's no way you can adjust to the three hit attack. So I'll just do it. Okay? Fuck that. Just kill me. I'm so tired of it now. Just so tired of it now. 
Oh no. He read the fucking chug. I can't tell what she's doing. It's a new attack. I don't even know what it was. Sure. I you know what the fuck. Dude, I have no chance. All her moves in the second form have super armor. So I never have an opening. Even the moves that she used to do in the first form. She does the charge slash and she goes slow slash, slow slash. She used to be open after it. Now she has a follow-up explosion afterward that I was behind her and my sword touched the explosion and it stopped my attack. Like there's nothing you can do to, start to even interrupt her moves. And there's no opportunity to punish them. She's always got fucking stuff that you can't do anything about. I just don't know, man. And I kept thinking she was doing the waterfall because it looks like it's waterfall and it's not. All the animations look the same in that mode because she just hovers and has the wings out. Every fucking attack in that mode looks the same. Here we go, the bullshit. Yeah. Reads my jump, does a fucking poise attack that I can't avoid. Reads my heal, does a poise attack I can't avoid. Then my roll comes out insanely late after the poise attack. Of course. Just kill me, I don't care. I'll do one more attempt and then we'll go on break. It says I hit twice, dude. It's hilarious. It says I hit twice, even though I fucking roll. Now, now I can't get away from it. I can't get away from the triple. I need a break, is what it is. I can't get away from the triple dash or the triple slash, even though I've dodged it a million times. I don't have the build to do a new strategy, nor do I have the skill. I haven't focused on anything else but what I'm doing throughout the playthrough. I'm not going to relearn the entire game on the fly and beat the fucking hardest boss. That's stupidity to even say that. It really is the dumbest thing you could say is go just relearn the whole game now from the start, you know. Just immediately come up with something. Like, no. It's gonna be basically I learn her moves, and I do my absolute best to not fuck up and get good RNG. Like most tough bosses in FromSoft, that's what it always is. You dodge the easily broadcast moves, you get lucky that they don't spam the tough ones, and, you know, you get a good combination of attacks. I think that there's something to the flame attack. I think you can possibly hit the boss three to four times in the second form. The problem is I need to know the timing, and I don't. So I'm doing it, and I'm, I'm doing it late, and I'm not stun-locking the boss. It looks like you keep knocking them down, knocking them down. What's hilarious is that everyone who's talking about beating this boss is literally telling me about a different technique. You gotta use the Bloodhound step. You gotta, you know, do this, do that. And it's all, essentially, everyone would call it cheese, you know? Oh, you cheesed it by doing that or that. No, the truth is the boss is a boss you can't really fight straightforward because it has every advantage, every possible advantage against you. Every odd is so impossibly against you. Your cheese, extraordinary. The mark of a true cheese seeker. Wow. That was complete luck, by the way. I will 100% admit that was luck. If you didn't notice, she didn't use any of the ridiculous attacks. She did not use the fucking waterfall in the second form at all. She wasn't using any, really, any of the super armor attacks. And then I lucked out. I was able to get her to the side of the arena so that I was hammering her with the flame attack. She couldn't get out of the way. And it basically got two to three in a row, and that was it. I got lucky. So I'm happy that I beat her legit. No summons. But man, I got lucky. I will 100% never say I 100% head up destroyed her. There's no way I would ever say that. The, exactly. A win is a win. At least I didn't summon to do it. But my God, that was luck. I don't think anyone's going to watch that and say that wasn't lucky. I mean, there's people who probably have a way harder time that getting her locked on the wall there was like supremely lucky. Well, that will definitely stand in history for now as the toughest boss I ever fought, I think in any game and definitely in FromSoft history. That was the most deaths. That was, I think, over 100 deaths. You can talk as much shit as you want about that, but I really didn't want to do any summons. I didn't want to do summoned. I think that would have made it way too easy. I definitely went through the ropes to get to this point to beat her. Look how, how many times I had to try to fucking beat her. It was 125 deaths. Is that what it really was? So probably about five to five and a half hours to beat her. Gotta figure out what ending I want. I don't really know if it matters. And some people have said what I should do is cheese the end of the game and do a cloud save so I can do all the different endings and get the platinum. Oh my God. Ashes are meant to be used throughout the game. People need to stop talking like it's a cheese tactic. Oh, I know. Thomas, listen. I really don't care 
Barbarian, I absolutely positively would use Ashes if I wanted to, but I feel like I want to challenge myself. Mm. How do you fuck yourself and have become pregnant and have a daughter? I don't know. This is weird. Radagon and Merica fused together at some point. They were not originally the same person, says Axolator. How the fuck? And what did they become? What happened? Each time the Scarlet Flower blooms, Melania's rot advances. It has bloomed twice already. With the third bloom, she will become a true goddess. Well, now she's dead, so that's not gonna happen. I killed her ass. I don't know anything about it. what's about to happen in here. If there's a boss in here, I don't know. I'm gonna fall. What the fuck? I'm gonna die. It's not like I don't know these games. Of course you die when you step in there. So there must be something else I need to do. I don't really see anything. I don't see a way to go down. I'm a, I wonder if this is because I have the frenzied flame that I'm able to withstand the fire like this. Okay then. So in a way, is this a way to get the best ending? Be wary of a dragon and lightning. Where is he? It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. Oh, hi, Mark. Yeah! It's party time! You fucking dragon bitch! I want to lock on. I'm locking on myself. I wasn't trying to do that. Oh, shit. You're going to roll up the side? That's not good. Fucking she's moving. Stay still. How about you? I can't even tell if I'm hitting him now. Now, you think it comes back? It does not respawn, people are saying. I need oh so slightly more damage output here. Oh shit! Whoa! See? I need like two more damage and these guys will die. There's an enemy standing right there. Do you think we can just walk right by them if we do stealth? By the way, I never actually checked to see what I can craft with that new craft book that I had grabbed. There's nothing here. We came all the way down here. I don't think there's anything here. A bunch of shit items and crappy enemies. There's nothing here. I don't know. This area seems like a waste of my time. I don't see anything here at all. Well, excuse me. No good items here either. It really does feel like a waste. I've explored most of it. This is a dead end. Oh, shit. I kill all these fucking things. I die to death perception. God damn it. Thanks. Oh shit, look. I didn't notice this. The Erd tree is on fire. Whoa. Yeah. I don't know. Weird. Stone sword key. Why the fuck would I want that at the end of the game? What? Pretty worthless. Oh shit. Uh, oh. Okay. I wasn't exactly expecting a boss right away. Got him. Is that it? This stupid glaive thing keeps coming back and hitting me. It did hit me in my ass. There's another one too. Oh, you dick. There's a guy over there. There's no way to reach him from here. Oh, you fucking cheap fucker. What a dick face. He's still hitting me. Okay. Oh, I don't have any? Holy shit. I don't have a stone sword key? Really? Stone sword key? Pretty worthless. That sucks ass. Aha. Patches had one. I do not hate this game at all. We know you hate this game. I don't hate the game. Do you think I would have played it this much if I hated it? I actually really like it. There's some things about it I wish were better. That doesn't mean that I hate it. I don't understand why people have this really weird black and white view of the world. If you absolutely positively love every aspect of a game or you hate it outright. Like, no. That's not the case at all in life. Just so you know. Another shitty item I'm not going to use. I just don't want to fight the dragon. I'm bored. I already caught, killed two of them here. It take too long. Ancient Dragon Apostle Cookbook. Worthless, I'm sure. Now, anywhere else to go. So I don't know why you'd even want to be up here. It seems worse. Worthless. There's nothing below us right now. Wait a minute. Oh shit, there was an item over there. Oh, come on. Can I still get it? No. It was up there. You fucker. Look where they put it. Oh shit, I'm sorry. You sons of bitches. Hopefully that's not an important item. And here I think we're gonna fall off. It looks like maybe you, you could go up there onto the bridge, but I don't think so. I think you'll fall. And then you'll take damage from the height of the fall there. Wake me up. Wake me up. See? Wake like that. You know, maybe I should have spent my runes, which was what I said I was going to do, and I forgot. Now I don't know where to go to get them back. I mean, I really don't need the runes, but still. It's upsetting. I earned those runes. I earned them the hard way. All right, fuck this. I don't know. Oh, seriously? Is this it? No, of course not.
so okay where am i going now don't tell me I came all the way down here and there's nothing here. Dude, I think it's a dead end. This sucks. What am I supposed to do? I'm walking backwards to a spot I haven't reached yet? What? Oh, you fucking son of a bitch. I gotcha. That's not what I wanted to do. I didn't mean to do this. So time is now fucked up? What is this? What does this have to do with anything? When has time manipulation been a part of the game? The needle is unfinished, can only be used in the heart of the storm beyond time, said to be found in Phyrum Azula. That's where we are. It took you long enough. Well, hello there. It's a two-headed dragon? Oh, shit. I don't know what ending I want. The Ronnie ending is the best and most unique one. The Dragon Lord Placidusax. He's... He, uh... He's slow, but his attacks are actually fast. I like him. He's cool. Something unique. Where the fuck am I? What is this? What the fuck? Where am I, man? Oh, come on. It didn't give me a, re a, a resume point? I don't know where I am. I'm completely lost. Oh, this is the area where I was? Oh, oh this is gonna suck. You have to run back every time you die? That sucks ass. Oh, this really blows. I'm not gonna do this every time. This is terrible. Wow, I'm past the arm. The arm's the dicks. I have to fight these guys every time I die to this boss. And this boss is a pain in the butt. This is where it's going to start to get annoying. Like, the boss is cool, but why do I have to waste my fucking time doing this every time? Just have a fucking revive point outside the boss, stupid idiots. God, that's dumb. This is really stupid. Oh, man, I don't like this at all. I'm upset. And I gotta see the fucking cutscene again, too? I do. Right. There. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, that was fair. An instant death attack. You've never seen it before. You don't know the timing to dodge it. I tried. This is going to be a pain in the ass. I don't want to walk back every time. This is really badly designed. You should not have to fucking walk back every time. Completely stupid. Completely fucking stupid. You know, they instituted the checkpoints in this game for a reason. Why not have them at a, at a crazy, awesome, optional boss fight? Because fuck you, that's why. No, we don't need them. No, no checkpoints at a part of the game where it makes perfect sense to have them. No, waste your time. Thanks for fucking nothing. You're welcome. It's for nothing. <laughs> the annoying part is at the ender, he purposely go gets away from you, and you gotta get through all that shit to get the final hit. That's annoying, man. This is completely unfair. I can't do anything about these attacks. I can't get to him now, he won't let me. He keeps knocking me back, he's all my healing. What was I supposed to do? Come on! Now I have no healing and I'm angry. This is bullshit. He didn't do this last time. I can't, I can't fight him now. I guess you just have to be prepared to die. This is bullshit. That's totally not fair. Pissing me off. That's not fair. It's not fair at all. Come on. Fucking cheap bullshit. Roll. Didn't work. It didn't roll. I pressed it. And this is why I didn't want to have to fucking walk back a million times. It's stupid. It's wasting my time. It's wasting everyone's time. Your time. My time. Why do we have to waste our time walking back? Just fucking let you resume there like all the other bosses in the fucking game. No. They make you do an annoying walk of shame like you did something wrong. Because the boss decided this time during RNG it's just going to teleport endlessly. And you can't hit it. Yeah. Wow. Greatly designed. Stupid. The game decided to throw all that away and say, fuck you, Phil. You lose, try again from the beginning. What the fuck were they thinking? They just want to piss me off at the end of the game. I think he's gonna hit you. There's nothing you can fucking do to that, man. Come on. Look at this. I don't want to do this stupid fight forever. I don't. It's boring. It's a fun dragon until you realize the reason you die is because it has stupid attacks. Yes, I can endlessly teleport. Yes, I can shoot beams that are insanely fast. You'll never dodge them on reaction. Oh my god. I completely agree. The backtracking is worse than the fight. Having to waste your time walking back endlessly is a fucking pain in the dick. Why the fuck do you have to do it in 2022 in their new fucking game 
Why do you have to walk back? There's a checkpoint system they forgot about and don't use in this fight for no fucking reason. There's zero actual justification for them to not use a fucking checkpoint here. If you tried rolling through the laser, it's too fast. The laser moves by your body too fast for you to roll through it. You have to get lucky, basically. Just be like rolling like an asshole, panic rolling to get through that. There's no other way you're gonna do it. How did I get hit? Fuck you, you son of a bitch. And Ronnie ending is the best ending plays are Ronnie Queen. I don't know where where we are. Like we're I don't know what the what waypoint we're going to here. Say what? I'll play him for real now and kick his ass. Almost died because I was fucking around again. Oh, look who it is! I can't believe you committed suicide. A ton of damage. First of all, what the fuck happened in that boss fight? I don't understand at all. Why did he stagger like that with one hit? I don't understand. So definitely he turned from the Beast Man into the Malekith. Are you saying that when he turned into Malekith, he retained the stagger from all the hits I had done up to that point? It didn't reset his stagger? Why not? That's kind of stupid. I actually wish it did reset his stagger. That's ridiculous. Malekith always staggers if you hit him right after he turns and he's super weak to fade. So I just, I lucked out is what you're saying. If you explore 100% of the game like you did, you absolutely will be over leveled for most of the bosses, unfortunately, without even grinding. The game's made to be played partially multiple times, but not in one single go. So you think that basically I'm gonna steamroll everything is what you're saying. Uh, what was that? What was that? I have no idea. Was that supposed to be a tough boss? People are, are freaking out in the chat right now. Uh. Huh? It's a time loop? But if that's the case, you could have killed him and then Malekith never would have existed. I don't get it. I'm so confused. Yeah, I see that. Farmazula is outside of time, I'm being told. So this is Malekith right here. <laughs> I don't get it. This doesn't make any sense. If you kill him, wouldn't that ruin the game then? Because that ruins the sequence, breaks the game. I don't know what to do. It doesn't really matter. Oh, really? Saves come, get to the ending choice, cloud save, do frenzy, reload, cure frenzy, get the other endings. It takes too long. I just want to beat the game. <laughs> I just want to beat the fucking game. I don't want to see 400 endings and have to reload and do it again and again. Seriously. I just want to get one ending and say, fuck this. So here we go. We're just going to do it. I don't care. I actually just don't care. I'll be honest, like... A very big admittance here. I actually enjoy figuring out the lore. I actually do. I played the game for 120 hours. I don't need to sit here and get 100 fucking endings. Tame the flame of frenzy. Wow, that was so exciting. They show a tiny tree insignia on your body and then it's just done. Wow. No enemies even to fight here. It's kind of lame. I wish there was at least some enemies, but I guess the game gives you a little bit of a reprieve. Where is he over here? No, I don't see him. The bottom area. What? I'm so confused. Do I get any reward for getting the final legendary item? Because if I do, then I'll do it. But if not, if there's no reward, then I'm not going to bother with it. There is a trophy? Oh, come on. All right, how do I do it? I want the trophy. Down there? Pain in the ass. It really is. That's exactly where I landed before and I didn't die. I landed exactly on the same fucking spot and the game killed me this time. What the fuck? All right, where the hell is the stupid putrid tree spirit to kill? What was a pain in the ass? Come on, it's pissing me off. I just want to finish this. I can't find the fucking guy now. Why is he even gotta piss me off? He stood out earlier and now he doesn't stand out anymore. I seriously can't fucking find him. <laughs> I'm seriously about to say fuck this and just go beat the game. This is stupid. I can't even find the fucking NPCs now. Fuck me! I give up. Fuck this. I don't care. I don't care. I'm I I'm like, I'm tired of this. It's so stupid. They can't even put the fucking NPC in a notable spot where I could find him. And he has no icon either. Look. Oh, he's over here. What the fuck? I don't really know the safe way to drop down there. Is there a safe way to drop down here? Maybe right here. But I seem to be at a loss for words now. 
I can't do this now and I'm pissed. I don't want to fucking waste my time. Such a waste of time. And I already made the fall once. Doing exactly the same fucking thing. I don't know. I'm about to say just fuck this and never do it. Seriously, it's just dumb. Am I missing the Devourer Receptor? I can't get it because I killed Patches. I didn't get his mask. Oh, come on. The mask is on the opposite side of the bridge where you first found him. I'm not gonna- I don't care. I don't care. This sucks. So where am I going here? Ah! Got it. There. Yikes, he was tough. Erd Tree Heal. How nice of them to give you a spell at the end of the fucking game that you'll never get to use. Long and hard didst thou fight. I am returned. Where the fuck have you been? <laughs> so wasn't he murdered by the Black Blades? And now he's back, huh? I think you got the wrong guy. Ow, he's kicking my ass. Jesus. He's got long range, man. He's got crazy range! Whoa! Oh! Second four, great. Oh, fuck. Oh, he ripped his fucking head off. Oh my god. That's fucked up! So I learned his attacks, I'm gonna get fucked up for a while. I can't roll through any of it. I tried to roll, everything hit me. Oh, Godwin was the one who got killed by the Black Knives. So this is Godfrey? What's the difference? Who the fuck is that him then? Who is this guy? Oh no. Stuck in the wall. I can't move! I'm dead. Look what he look where he put me. He was dead and he put me in the wall. All I needed was like one more solid hit and I couldn't move because he put me in the fucking wall. All right, I'm definitely not using that room. This room sucks. I had him until I got stuck in the fucking stupid corner. So dumb. He was definitely dead. Wow, I could, there was nothing I could do with three, three direct straight hits. Right into my body. No way to get away from them. Yep, nothing to do there. Nothing could be done. Wow, I can't see anything. That's a fun boss. I like that one. He's completely unique. Nothing like any other boss in the game so far. So that was actually really cool. I like that. Got him. Darn it. Whatever. I've been playing the game for 120 fucking hours. I still don't know what's going on. That's the great room, right? It's a person's body? What the fuck? Is that Marika? Yes! Wow. Her body's all destroyed. I never even realized the whole game that that was a body. I had no idea. I've seen this symbol a million times. I never knew what it was. So America's been imprisoned here the whole time? Radagon is America. That's right, America is Radagon. We know that from the Gold Mask plotline. I don't understand it, but okay. Radagon of the Golden Order. Next. Everything has an area of effect explosion. Look out! Oh my god! He tr every move tracks, every move has an area of effect explosion. No moves can be effectively dodged. Wow. I'm trying to dodge everything. Every move hits me anyway, even though I'm trying to dodge it. Every single fucking move connects. I'm in danger! I 
are you supposed to dodge any of these? I'm at a loss. I roll, still get hit anyway. I can't, dude, I seriously can't dodge any, any attacks. I can't, I can't dodge any of them. Every one of them is, is a giant swinging attack with an area of effect that you can't dodge. Look, you dodge the attack, the explosion still hits you. Another explosion. Dead. It's like I just have to tank it. I can't dodge anything. Every attack I try to dodge, there's a second hit after the first hit that hits you with an area of effect. So I can't dodge a single attack of his. Maybe I just gotta go roll forward and hit him from behind. Because nothing is effective. The dodging at all doesn't work. I roll. As soon as I saw the arm glowing and he goes like this, I roll. But nothing happens. Oh, he wouldn't roll. <laughs> he wouldn't roll. I did it. It comes out so late. You can't roll on reaction. It's pathetic. It doesn't roll. That's the fourth time in a row. That's the fourth time in a row he does that attack. I haven't dodged it once because the roll comes out so late. Four times in a row it doesn't come out. It's not the controller, it's the fucking game. Just admit the game has insane input lag and always has. It's fucking dumb. Every time I want to do something on reaction, I have to do it early. Every time in the playthrough, it's always been like that. You can't do anything on reaction in this game. You have to predict or guess and do it early. Here we go, this is what I should have been doing the whole time. Look, just jump attack. You gotta be kidding me. The jump attacks go past everything. Mamma mia. Jesus, spammer. Oh, but it's not over. Uh, the jump attack beats beats all his stuff. All you gotta keep doing is keep doing jump attack, and it beats everything. It's fucking pathetic how easy it is when you just use that one attack in this game. It beats everything, man. Fuck oh, this. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh my god. It's an ami a giant amoeba alien. It does look like an alien, right? It looks similar to Astol with all the wings. And it's got stars, the power of stars. It's, al it's an alien creature. Great. How the fuck do I hit this? Oh, what the? Oh, that was great. I couldn't even see what happened. What hit me? I have no idea. What a great fight. Wow, I get hit by something you can't see on the screen. Oh, amazing gameplay. Can't roll. I roll. Doesn't work. It comes out so fucking late. You can't dodge anything. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Okay, well, this is a fun boss fight where I can't see it. I can't fucking roll and dodge it. Fucking stupid game. Really? Fuck this nonsense. Yes, it's fu so much fun. Now redo the whole boss fight again because there's an attack that hits you 5,000 times and you can't get out of the way. Fucking dumb. Boring. Yes, it's boring to have to redo the first boss fight over and over. Yes, it really is. It's a waste of fucking time. Waste of time. I roll. Doesn't work. What the fuck? Another area of effect. Just fucking die, man. He won't die. He refuses to die. He refuses to die. 
<laughs> he refuses to die. He literally does 10 attacks in a row you can't hit because he's completely invincible during all of them. What a pain in the ass and a waste of fucking time. I already beat you. This is boring. I just want to fight the second bo boss now, you piece of shit. Waste of my time. Can't roll. I did it. It doesn't roll. Doubtful. Piece of shit. Can't roll. <laughs> it still doesn't roll. This is so stupid. It really is. A bunch of giant attacks you've never seen before. There's no chance to run away or dodge them and they all chone on you and hit you for your whole health bar. Stupid. Stupid. What do you want me to do there? Wow. Well then. Of course. Of fucking course. Do the attack I can't dodge. Of course. And again, I don't know what to do to it because I can't, I've only seen it twice and there's no opportunity to figure it out because you're just dead. You're literally just dead. What a waste of time. It really is a waste of time. That boss is done. I already beat it. It fucking does a stupid attack you can't dodge at the end of the fight. RNG. Yes, RNG bullshit. Garbage game. I rolled and it didn't roll. I did it. As soon as he was slamming, I did it, and the game is so delayed, it doesn't roll. So dumb. Waste of time again. Waste my fucking time over and over. Wasting time. You know, I'm gonna die someday. One day, I'm gonna want this time back for the fucking bosses I already killed and have to re-kill in this fucking game. And every fucking FromSoft game. Shit. I don't know how to dodge Tank it. I don't know how to dodge that shit. I'm not surprised. I can't see. I couldn't see him. Yeah, super annoying. If he keeps running and doing magic, there's nothing you can do. You have to wait for him to stop running and doing magic to actually hit him. So you just have to wait for RNG. You have to wait for the attacks to stop so you can actually lay into him. Heal time! Oh. Okay. Gee, I don't think there's enough delay between when he swings and when the ground blows up under your feet. Why don't they wait another two minutes? I'm right up here, above you. I can't see. How was I supposed to see anything there? I rolled forward, it didn't work. I'm dead. I rolled forward again, it doesn't work on reaction. You see the attack, you need to time the roll to get through the explosion. It just doesn't come out. It comes out so late, you can't ever time it. You just have to mash and guess. No actual timing allowed in this fucking game. I didn't, he did a second follow-up attack I never did. I just did one jump R1, or L1. He did a second attack I never pressed. Delightful. Oh, really? It hit me for a combo, I couldn't move, it just kept hitting me non-stop. I couldn't do anything about it. So I was doing fine until he did a follow-up attack I never pressed, which happens in this game. All I did was one jump L1, and he did a second swipe I never did, and it killed me. That was the end of it after that. Completely stupid. Trust me, I'm not spamming, I can't. You cannot spam in this game. You just can't, you get fucking too many extra things you're not doing. Oh shit! Oh no! I didn't want to roll, I wanted to run. I wanted to run as soon as I stopped coming down, I started holding circle and he rolled instead of running. Dude, that one attack is the biggest bullshit. Because if he does it, you can't see it coming out and you have to do a full sprint to evade it. It's complete bullshit. Complete bullshit. Why the fuck can't you see it? Why can't you see the attack so you know to dodge? No, of course not. Can't hit him. I 
tried to jump. It didn't work at all. No jump. Guys, we did it. Okay. Summon Ronnie. I heard someone signed it's the best ending. You went through that much hassle for the ending. None of this makes any sense. Dong Eater. Curse that defined our age. Wow, that's a shit ending. They're all shit endings. <laughs> I know they are. There's never been a good ending. Damn, that Radagon boss fight music is still in my head. Seriously. It's still stuck in my head. I, I want to listen to it again. I love that song.